And we are live. All right. Hyped to be streaming another one of these Edison tournaments. On the screen here, we have the bracket, which, let me just refresh it one last time. Things aren't finalized yet. Um, oops. And we are live. Oh, shit, I'm hearing myself. All right, there we go. We got 92 players, I think. I don't know if registration's still open. It's a little bit fewer than I would have expected. Slightly bigger than Peak of the Beak. But it kind of makes sense because, um... They didn't, like, announce this thing until last night or something. Or they announced it, but it was, like, branded as just a regular tournament. And then yesterday, they just, like, said, Yeah, this is a World Championship qualifier now, and it's for invites. Which I guess it makes sense that FL's doing their own thing now. It just kind of came out of left field. So... People didn't have time to, to plan or set aside time, I suppose. What is what is happening here? FL's doing their own, or Format Library's doing their own um, Edison Format World Championship now. Which is, I guess, I'm personally, I'm probably going to stick to playing in the RBETs. But, you know, whenever there's a big tournament going on, I'll always, always be there to cover it because it's fun to watch, good content, all of that. But... I don't want to keep track of, like, two different series, and I've got to get in invites to both worlds. <laughs> that sounds like a kind of a pain for me, to be honest. But I guess some people have the have the capacity for that. Not me, though. Not me. Anyway, we got some, we got some good players in this. Is registration still open? It might be. For, like, two more minutes. You should probably... Oh! I think Snack might actually be coming on. I, I was planning to have her come on, but she didn't respond, but now she's messaging me. So that's neat. We're going to have a co-commentator co on here. For those of you who don't know, Snack from Crow's Nest is a uh, fellow fellow Edison Yugi tuber. Here, I'll, I'll get her on this ASAP here. We're going to call her. All right. Let's make sure that the people can hear you. Snack, All right. speak. Is Snack loud enough for everybody? Hello, stream. Can you hear me? Is this an optimal volume? Someone in the chat needs to tell me. They're not saying I'm anything. speaking. Uh, these are words that are coming out of my mouth. Sounds approximately right to me. I was going to reluctantly play, but then I thought saw you were streaming, and I still have some post-bubble loss burnout. Right. Man. <laughs> I've bubbled a couple times. It's painful. I'm just gonna chill today. Yeah, well, a lot of people are probably chilling today. They kind of came out of nowhere with this world championship qualifier thing. I didn't know. I agreed to stream it like last weekend, but it was just called like the Edison Cup or something. <laughs> so I didn't. I think they changed it yesterday and said, "Yeah, this is for invites now." We're gonna hit a hundred people. It looks like we're at ninety-eight. Well, there's only, like, one minute left, so I don't know. Those were some good words. All right, I'm going to assume that means that the volume is appropriate. Um, we should be starting pretty soon. It's supposed to start at 12, and it's 11.59. So, but they always start a little late because something goes wrong. It's 12 for me. <laughs> oh, wait, you know what? It's 12 here, too, now. Hmm. Well, let's see what's going on. Is the bracket going to get, like shuffled up i don't know there's not really seating is there seating i guess it's there's still think... seating in swiss right yeah it's, it's just completely irrelevant but yes there is seating <laughs> i don't know if it does anything but it's there oh wait gia's in here i didn't even know didn't even know she still played edison well, i guess she's in the war league uh, i didn't see that wait we're down to 96 did i did i like misread the number earlier whatever it's gonna be like a hundred person tournament about we got a bunch of names that I recognize in this bracket, though. There's Zerus, a true hero, Ooh. Lord Voldemort, Fen, even yeah, it looks like we got Silches. Some, you got a lot of uh, goat players who are, I think are getting into... Wow, a true hero versus Hydro Pump? I was, I was if, if only that was an actual rapper, matchup. <laughs> that would be a pretty epic matchup. Um, um, but yeah, there's a lot of goat players, like uh, Pro-8, uh, AGT... Coco is here. Alscare is in there. How many how many teammates do the Crow's Nest have playing in here? So we have Alscare, Dimitri, Fen, I think, and Fen is, Fen is definitely there. 
So we only got four of us. Obviously, we can't play because the people need to hear our commentary. So, so oh wait, true. is Gia not a crow anymore? Did she leave? What happened? Eh, she's she's still a crow in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, counter is half a crow. Fair. All right, are the, are the pairings? I think they're starting right now. So let, let me. I guess I can refresh this one more time just to be absolutely completely sure. All right, who do we want to watch? Who do uh, we want to watch? Are the pairings final now? I think they are. <laughs> people are like messaging each other in FL to play. So I'm gonna take this to mean that the pairings are fine. Let me check the bracket real quick because I don't have it on mine. Hmm. Well, that's patron battle royale. Yeah, that's not what I'm uh, looking for. A true hero versus, is, is a true hero versus Hydra pump real? Is that what's happening? Because that would be, that'd be pretty insane. Well, they haven't started yet. Oh, true hero is facing Gaibu. Well, then what's on my screen is just wrong. Is it right now? Oh, never mind. It just shuffled again. <laughs> they can't keep shuffling it like this. People are getting confused. Lord Voldemort versus Yep. That's a fun one. Mm -hmm. Might want to watch that one. Yep. I don't know what Yep <laughs> plays. Okay, it looks yep, like... Yep was playing Light Sworn a while ago. Oh, Dimitri versus Spooner Boy. Mm. That's a good matchup right there. Didn't Spinner Boy get like second at the RBET? I don't know. He did. And obviously Dimitri is very, very good. Yes, naturally Dimitri is a absolute gamer. Um <laughs> We could watch I guess no one's quite started yet. Let's see. Poke Raptor versus Ludo is a match that's happening. Yeah, there's lots of like Goat versus Edison players. <laughs> like um, Hydro Pump versus Godot or Godot. Poke Raptor, um, like one. Yeah, Poke Raptor versus Ludo. Um, oh shoot! Hold on, I gotta like put an Edison deck as my default, or it's not gonna let me. Fen versus John Wick is another Addison versus Goat. I mean, Addison. Goat is getting in. Oh, MMF is playing? Oh, MMF's playing. They've always got really cool decks. Should we watch them? I think they started. Whoops. MMF. Nope. In that case, we can watch... Where did they go? the hell? Alright, whatever, let's just do it from here. Hold on, what? They haven't started either. Oh, no one started. Okay, wait. You know, we could save MMF for later. Let's watch. Oh, Corinna versus Anthony Alvarado. That's insane. <laughs> let's watch Yep versus Lord Voldemort, actually. Let's just do the original plan. Since they started mm -hmm. first, they get to be watched first. Simple. All right, everyone that's in here needs to like the stream. By the way, gotta get, gotta get that sweet boost in the algorithm. It definitely, definitely helps. So, yep, is I'm like kind of covering up his life points right now, aren't I? Let's let's move. I need to move myself. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, border. Looks like, looks like uh, Lord Voldemort is still pondering the rest of their turn <laughs> all right i'll go where should i put myself all right we can still read the chat if i'm here right uh i can't see your stream right now so i don't know yet <laughs> it's because it's still behind i know we can totally see his life points actually what am i talking about i'm so I was like fine where i was value we'll just leave it so i can see and read their name and run into a spirit reaper classic 10 foot card yeah, I feel like here's fine. Maybe we should be able to see their name, actually. Alright, wait. So, if Yep doesn't have, uh... Okay, I'm done with the doesn't have some kind of, uh, protection, then this Reaper might rip a card. I hate this Reaper card, man. <laughs> it's so annoying every time you run into it in this format. Yeah, you, like, uh... 
he catches a lot of people off guard where they're expecting it's like a Raiko or something. Because like you run a value into it, like okay, I'll just get, make oh okay, but well, that's basically but, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you just get to force a card that's like not even that amazing. You are not judgmenting a book of moon on your reaper. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. a fake think. That's not a real thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you could possibly be thinking in that situation. Well, first match we clicked on it had to be the freaking Bayou Mirror. God, I well, hate it. Well, it could be Blackwing. It could be a worse and... mirror, but I still hate mirrors. <laughs> it could still be Bayou versus Blackwing, but we don't know. Oh, God. My face is going off the screen. Hold on. Maybe if I shrink myself. There we go. <laughs> no, but activate I, shrink on yourself. Can I shrink both myself and the border at the same time? So it doesn't look weird. Well, Yep's in a bad spot because of that Reaper, actually. I had to, like, go neg one to stop it. I also wonder... Maybe I can just move them both down here. It kind of suggests that he might not have, like, any kind of other battle traps, because yeah. if you run Vayu into Reaper, and then you set Book behind it, that kind of says, like, I don't have Deep Prison, I don't have Mirror Force. Yeah. I don't know. What was his set was a Vayu, yeah. I Because, like, you know, you're no, you know it's going to get run over by anything, basically. And it's actually probably unlikely that he even has a bottomless because you might have said that too hmm what would he have then yeah i don't know <laughs> could be like a dust tornado i don't know well running out of greffer is going to priority it looks like pitching a value that's pretty good yeah with plague already in there too now you dropped out. <laughs> Man, that would suck. <laughs> Just dropped out right here. Judgment, whatever the back row is. Wait, we don't know there's judgment. We can pretend. <laughs> Someone's giving me OBS tips in the chat. Thank you very much. I, in fact, know very little about OBS. I was only able to get this stream set up because... The Yugi, okay, so the Yugi here, here Boomer help me out. Wing. So he's going for the arm wing. Is he gonna stack for plague too? Probably. He doesn't have lethal. He does not. But I could just go like dark end and okay. he is going to stack. He's gonna do it. He knows. I feel like your face down has to be Judgment of, or Starlight Road. Is he yeah, there's there's no way that he doesn't have some kind of protection. It's either that or he had the same kind of read that I had, and he just thinks the back row is completely fake, but that'd be a pretty gutsy... Does he play Starlight Road even? I don't think so. Maybe? Into Stardust. He wouldn't be going for Stardust if he had the, the Judgment. Does he have Burial? If he has burial, then he might have something big. Maybe. Maybe he's actually just insane, though. <laughs> just, like, presses Oh, all. judgment on the Stardust. That's pretty... okay. Now burial would be lethal. <laughs> uh, Potentially. Assuming that's not, like, a hamster or something. If it's a set burial, or... It's gotta be hamster Raikou. Well, who would have set the hamster Raikou if he had it, though? What could it be, though? It is a Raikou. Right, yeah. All right, so not going to lose a card to Spirit Reaper. All right, now just need to mill Soroko Vayu. Oh! Oh! So this, it is a Vayu Mirror with Return. I'm not a fan of Return in this deck. I don't think. It's like okay, I guess. Yeah, Judgment makes sense as the backer that you would set there, because you wouldn't want to set Judgment behind the Vayu on turn one. Yeah, I can see it. 
Well, the viewers are starting to pour in, which means we got to remind them once again to press the like button. So true. So, yep, definitely is. Yep, is down, on the, but on not the down back. has an armed wing ready to go. They're actually even on card advantage now. Yeah. Or, you know, Yep is down a half of a card. Oh, right? well, now he's, he's up a card. Because <laughs> he just milled Sirocco by you. <laughs> Wait, am I lagging out? What's happening? Oh, okay, there we go. He milled his Sonata! <laughs> yeah, so he just, he just got a whole free card off of that mill. That's so stupid. <laughs> what a dumb, stupid deck. Everyone, mill decks are for people who, <laughs> who just want to, like, get pluses for no reason. It's a fact. I mean, if there's free pluses, you might as well take them. <laughs> you should play the wolf, too. Play, like, the randage version. Okay, so bottomless. Alright, bottomless is gonna trade one for one, but there's just another armed wing. Uh, does not feel like Yep should have should have been able to come back like this. But These are some filthy mills. Just got mills some, right like, here. filthy mills. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Hmm. I wonder what that other back row is for... The thing is, like, the fact that Yep didn't have much back row, I wonder what it says hand. It could just be a bunch of normal summons, because Vayu does sometimes have that problem, where you get, like, your hand is all normal summons, but it yeah, could also be gas in the form of, like, burial, or... It could also be, like... It's, it's a... probably not Dark Arm Dragon, because he would not be Dark Arm. Either. It could be Sork. Okay, special in Gale. And... Yeah, Sork would make sense. Okay. Runs into Vaya or uh, oppression. That means, yeah, that's pretty good for for Mister Voldemort here because he already did his plague play. Yeah, I was thinking that too. You already get your plague play off. So then again, Yep hasn't normal summon. Right, there could be. There's probably not a Caius either. Or you would think he would have done that already, especially if the oppression gets flipped. So. Yeah, I think he's probably mm. just got a handful of set monsters. Might or just something. prefer to set the hamster or whatever. All right, setting a. It was a Raikou. He's gonna get rid of the Armonite. This is a oh, and a Necro Mill too. I'm not this sure. This is a pretty bad situation for a ten foot. I don't know if he should have gotten rid of the Armonite there. Well, I guess maybe he just wants to leave the oppression so he doesn't get sacked by Dad or something off the top. But... I think he was hoping that ten foot didn't have another monster and was just trying to apply pressure. But. Mm. But you can just like hit over the Armonite. Because once once ten foot can get a Vayu in grave, he has something that can test the Arndwing. If he had the Sork in hand, he'd have killed the oppression. So maybe he just doesn't care about the oppression with his current hand. His hand is just a bunch of cards that don't care. I can see Do you it. send Plague here? You're under oppression. Not... No, no, no. You yeah, send yeah, more yeah, Vayu. Right. Right. Yeah, so you just set this up for if the Arndwing gets killed. Yep has gotten like five good mills this game. Two Sirocco, two Bayou, and the Gardena. Just, like, randomly. For free. Meanwhile, um, Lord Voldemort yeah. milling MST Judgment guys. Yeah, not getting great <laughs> mills over there. Hmm. This, is, this is the tale of two... What a dumbass mirror matched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's, like... That's, this feels so bad. You hit that armor arm and it just kind of comes right back. Ryan Eyed reports that Corinna made Mistworm for lethal in her match. Based? PSA, play Mistworm, folks. Mistworm is so good. I swear I make it so much. People people sleep on that card. It's like, oh, it never comes up except occasionally when it does. But no. I always be someone in Mistworm. Mistworm is a great card. All right, what's the set monster? The second Spirit Reaper. <laughs> All right, let's see if he can get some mills. Nope. <laughs> oh, my God. These mills oh, are man. Awful. Must suck to be on the uh, on this end of the mill luck while your opponent is just milling like a god. Well, the good thing for 10-foot is that Yep has kind of run out of gas when it comes to value plays. Unless you can find burial. Miracle dig. 
my god, I should make a value build that plays a miracle day. So if if Ten Foot can just kind of stall and buy some time, he should have the longer grind game. All the value stuff is on the bottom of his deck, though. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's right. good. Yep, can protect this with Gardna. He they can. But going but to not just, You might just summon Sirocco here. No, he doesn't have... Is he a lot of Sirocco's too? No, he's got one left. He's got one left. And a Greffer? I feel like you should just... Yeah, you only have Greffers left, actually. I'm gonna summon Greffer. Pryo? No Pryo. So he doesn't have any thing he wants to pitch right now. But... Alright, gonna use a bottomless. Okay, so if, if Tenfoot can find anything with 400 damage, like summon, normal summon hamster, attack for game. <laughs> There's still a Necro Garden us, so he won't die. True, true. Gonna deprison the Gale. Really? That's why. Does not want to spend that. Alright, burial for a game? That would be dumb. That would be like the the cherry on top of the, the Sackery that has been Yep's performance this game. <laughs> so they each have one Kaios gone too. Everyone just plays two of this, right? Yeah, usually it's just two. Sometimes they'll play a greedy or build a three, but I think it does get bricky. Kai is a pretty good card. Very good. Yep needs to draw like Storm. Storm has not been milled somehow. Oh, there's Ooh, the. <laughs> that is so huge. Alright. You better have it. I don't know. There's there's nothing that really feels good for for poor Mr. Voldemort in this situation. I'm gonna be using a Vayu. What is that set card? Uh, could be Mirror. No, I'm talking about uh, on Yep's side of the field. What is that monster? Hamster. I says hamster. Okay. That would make sense. Is this really all he can do? Can he but not like, go for game? The torrential's already milled. Like, he maybe he I guess didn't he check on Air Force, but maybe he didn't check. <laughs> no, oh my okay, God. well, he's got Necro Guard. Is... It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> Whew. dodged a bullet there. Yep, Storm. Now draw Storm. It would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it would be absolutely perfect. Another deep prison. There are still all of the deep prisons. Yeah, yeah. He plays. He plays like triple deep prison or something crazy. So, is a very high likelihood that one of those is deep prison. Hmm. And suddenly the game is pretty even once again. What is your set monster? Yep. Let's see what's what is here? it? Is it so your no spirit reaper? <laughs> you do have to worry about bottomless if you're ten foot, but. A Kaius would be huge here. I hope someone top decks brain control for a game. Mind control would also be insane if you're main decking that. <laughs> There's no way. People yeah, are you don't you don't main that in Bayou. You don't have enough tuners. Just the plague and the gale. Yeah, that's That is not a card that we main deck in Bayou Turbo. Alright, just gonna pass. Oh, you know what? If it, it probably is hamster because he's not flipping it because there's an oppression on the field. Makes a lot of sense. So you're waiting for it to, to attack in so you can get the right go. Also, there's like hamsters left. And there's only one. Right We're left. getting close to a point where players can't even use oppression. Someone needs to deck out this game, actually. Because like if if Yep can like force an oppression then the next one's free. Like, it just gets to go through. Oh, he drew the storm! 
I knew it was gonna happen. Now, now brain con. <laughs> Storm brain con, yes. Storm brain con. Oh, the other oppression. And he then, had the oh brain con. God. Set brain con. All right, now your brain con. Wait, oh, there, right. there's okay, a guy so down we here. Need this, we need oh, this is just game over. Word. If it's hamster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You silver wind and just flip hamster here. And this is why you have to play this card. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's, that's game it. over. Yep, pulled out all the stops on his luck that game. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh. But he made it. After a tough beginning, he made it with the power of milling. All of his value stuff. <sighs> well, we're up to 60 viewers. It's pretty good. What's not good is the amount of likes that are on the stream is nowhere near 60, I think. I assume. So please, smash that like button. While we wait he for these two to decide. He did pretty aggressive on that second turn. He's saying Stardust was greedy. Stardust was greedy. I think... I think he's just saying, like, stacking for play go yes. and all that. Because you didn't even have a set judgment there. Yeah, we were, we were both thinking that he must have some kind of, like, crazy protection, but he, it was just, uh, bottomless and oppression. I think committing the plague was definitely probably too much. Maybe he just wanted to do it, though, so he could flip the oppression next turn. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. It's like, get my plague out of the way so that my oppression, like, really locks things down. But yeah, if it would have been torrential, he would have lost the duel right there. It would have been really bad. Yeah, but I think you would have set, like, if you go Vayu hit into Reaper, you wouldn't set book. You'd probably set torrential behind it. Well, maybe so he I top think he had three the torrential. Bench, not torrential there. Maybe he just top decked it. That's true. You could have just top decked the torrential and. Well, no, no, it wouldn't have been any that. more ridiculous than anything oh, else. Yeah, he yes, did that game. Next turn, yeah, <laughs> that would have been pretty hilarious. We saw a surprisingly few number of dead cards in that game. I was expecting some people to have like a dead dad or something no, like that, but they only draw dad when it's when it's good. They don't draw it when it's bad. So true. That's like that's what it means to be skilled. That's what it means to be a good value player. You mill like yep, and you only draw dad when you have exactly three dice. Truly. No, yep. You did not mill godlike. You deserved that W. In every sense. <laughs> <laughs> Never admit to sacking. Never. <laughs> Alright. Allure is not pot. Allure is graceful. Clearly. Allure, chain, imperial iron wall. That's pot. I should try well, that in a deck. Except you do have to spend the iron wall, but yeah, or sort of spend it. That's not that's not spending. That's flipping a floodgate. You have to commit it. You have to commit it. It's a two card combo, and one of them is limited. Yeah, the the allure being limited is a major issue there. Main decking iron wall wouldn't be that tough though. Could probably probably do something with that. Also, like, if you have an established iron wall, then you draw a lord, you're like, <laughs> amazing. Okay. okay, that just wait for. <laughs> just never flip. Just the don't iron flip wall. it until you have a lord. Problem solved. Easy peasy. Then you've got your pot of greed right there. You don't even need and to also... play. You don't even need to play dark monsters in the deck. <laughs> you know I mean? True. That's true. You can just not. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how that would work with rulings, but you're probably right. No, it's it's fine. You can just a lower flip iron wall. Because it says if you do not have any in your hand, <laughs> send your entire hand to the grave. Well, it doesn't say if you can't banish one. I'm pretty sure you don't have to like. I someone correct me on this. I think. I think it'd be if very you, funny if even though you wouldn't have banished anyway, it still makes you discard your entire hand. Even if it did, even if it did work that way, right? How could your opponent know? You could just, like, Infernity player them. There's no way you have to show your hand in that situation, right? Right? I don't think you just have to reveal your hand if you activate a Lord Chain Iron Wall. 
I have no idea. But... <clears throat> yeah, we didn't see a dead dust shoot. That doesn't sound right there. No, no, no. Only dust shoot in opening hand. Never dust shoot any other time. <laughs> I'll often side out dust shoot against uh, Vayu, but going first, it might still be worth keeping in. Damn, Yep had the trooper, too. That feels bad. Trooper's like the best going second normal summon in the game. Did Yep shuffle? I didn't see Yep shuffle that deck. Did he do it? I wasn't paying attention. But presumably. Swear, if he summons already. a card trooper. <laughs> yeah, summon card trooper. <laughs> okay, okay. It's all good. <laughs> they both opened a lore. That's pretty good. A lore is a pretty good card, it turns out. I think um, 10 foot does side deck compost, which is really, really good in this matchup. Mm. I think he does. It is good. Like, go sending the Vayu synchros to the extra deck is better than banishing them, even. That's why I play Grand Mole decks. The pesky boys. One of my favorite cards of all time. Alright, we're just hitting in with Greffer. It's never Hamster. It will never be Hamster. It's Raikou. Are they both just like mind gaming, setting the Vayu first and then setting the Raikou? What's going on? Anyway. Plague gets milled, but so does Storm. It's not a great feeling. <laughs> Mill Storm, opponent sets to... Probably an end phase Dust Tornado here. Or he's just I not gonna... He, I know that he used to be maining like multiple Dust Tornado. I remember when he was playing three Dust Tornado. I was like, what? Yeah, I think he said that uh, frogs are too prominent now. POV, you be... play against frogs and you're maining three Dust Tornado. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was so terrible. Excited. You can hit their T-Roar, I guess, Copium. What is this burial? What? Oh, it's just it's a dark arm dad, dragon, right? right? That is like, the most telegraphed dad. <laughs> if you're gonna do this, you gotta, at least, you gotta at least put back his Sirocco for him, right? <laughs> ah, jerk. That, it feels like that has to be his only play. No prio? Are you... Why? He has some kind <laughs> of... He has, like, judgment or something, right? Why would you not prio target Greffer? Maybe he just wants my, to pop... My body is a shield? <laughs> no, no shot. Zero percent chance. <laughs> I think he wanted to kill both the back row. Oh. oh, that's actually pretty sick. You know what? It was actually the Compulse tech. That would be why he didn't pry out. That is actually pretty sick. <laughs> now you can summon the dad again. <laughs> exactly. Holy that's base. So nasty. That is so nasty. No! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. That is absolutely disgusting. All right, that was yep. so sick. Okay. <laughs> That's so dumb. I love it. Yeah, because like, the compost is going to trade for Volume. a bottomless or a torrential. The only thing that hurts is if he solemns it, but even then he's paying 4000 for it, so it's not the worst thing in the world. That was absolutely insane. That was insane. Yeah, I think this is pretty over now for Yep. What could the face down even be? Book book would be like the only thing that would help there, even a little bit. That's All right, that's just over. Like... Yep. Wow, that was really well played. <laughs> I don't know. Yep, you gotta turn those mills back on in game three. <laughs> it's funny. I mentioned the compost. I never. I didn't even consider that use case. Yeah, you can just put <laughs> back just the dad. Bounce the dad back to your hand, summon it again. Hmm. Yeah, that was rough for Yep. Lost his Gale, too. Could have maybe done something. But no. And he top decked into a useless bottom once after the dad had been dropped. 
Ryanides calling Mr. Voldemort a bully. <laughs> I true. mean, sounds accurate. Yeah, that was bullying, 100%. You can't just compulse your own dad. That's <laughs> completely rude. All right, Yep gets to start, though, this time. Which is pretty good in Vayu because you play all those set guys. And if you set your set guy first, then you are at quite an advantage. All right, I'm gonna go for a Rota. Is it gonna be Greffer into Armed Wing? Nope, Trooper. I guess he rotted this in his deck of one bad mill, but still doesn't mill anything of value. It's a good trade with the Rika, though. Definitely, that's what you want to see. We haven't seen a single hamster yet. Where are these people's hamsters? That's kind of the weird thing about hamster, is you play like less hamster than you play Raikou, even though hamster is the better one. At least the better one to set turn one. Yep, has got a Rota for Armonite. What's he gonna send? Probably the Vayu here to complete the, the Vayu Sirocco duo. I don't know that you commit the Vayu here, though. You probably just hit. Makes sense to just hit, I think. If it's Torrential or Mirror, it would be really bad. Alright, he's actually going to Space Typhoon and go for it. Do we know if there's a Gores? In either of these decks. It's like not common to play Gores in Bayou, but it's not that rare either. It's like a a 60-40 kind of thing. Given that he was was on oppression main, I think he probably doesn't have it. As you can see, he's just like Spawning a token to scare the crap out of Yep, though. Another bully move from... From Mr. Voldemort here. Well, six cards in hand, there's a number of things that... Could potentially be done to answer this board. We know there's a Greffer. Could go... Greffer, pitch... Uh, yeah. There's special summoning here. He is special in the Greffer, yeah, that's wild. Alright, just going Varian in this situation. I'm gonna send a second. So you can just go crash, hit over, I guess. And then spend your normal summon on like a set monster. He had a really good hand for that Greffer. I see why he just searched it straight away. Yeah, you wonder if they're. They actually do have to play around Crevos in these post board games, so. It does help with that, too. Though we haven't seen one yet. We haven't. Crow has definitely been getting a little bit less popular. Yeah, I'm a Crow supporter. I kind of have to, because it's our team mascot. <laughs> I just like it because it's better versus friggin', like... FTK nonsense, which you will yeah. you will play against sometime. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely better versus like avarice, debris, plague. Well. Yeah, I think it's still worth playing versus Vayu. Um, I play it versus Vayu zombies and quick draw for sure. Zombies, yeah, for sure. It's I think it's kind of needed if only just for zombies. I play for Hero because, Frog too, actually. Yeah, I'll play for like if it's like junk and miracles, then it's like then the crow is definitely good there. Um, 
But yeah, against zombies, I feel like zombies have such an easy time playing around both bottomless and deep prison. So you need chainable stuff like Crow and Book or Compulse. There's an Edison World Championship who's hosting it. There's like two different ones. It's complicated. Because <laughs> there's like the RBTs and there's rulers and then apparently I guess FL is now doing their own. Oh, he can uh, he can go yo take Arma, send his own Sirocco. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. I wonder if he's gonna go for that. There's no way he doesn't. That's gotta be a play. What do you mean think? Stop thinking. Do it. It's it's correct. Never think. Only sm only smash buttons. Let's see what Tony sends. He's still thinking. <laughs> Please stop thinking. No, you can you can keep thinking, but stop spamming the think emote. Oh my gosh! He's what? I mean, he can he can bring back the plague later, and if he wants to make two. So we're going just, double yeah. synchro here. Because he can actually, yeah. Because what he can do is he can he can use this one with the Bayou to make arm armor master. But they no, because then the Sirocco doesn't. I feel like need you anything. didn't need to stack. Oh, is there some lethal line you're going for? Can you stack, drop? Does he have dad again? No, no, no shot. No. Well, actually, if he brings out plague now, he can drop dad. Yeah, but did he draw that again? That would that would be rough to be yep in that situation. That's very interesting. Not back to main one. <laughs> what do you Did he like go to battle phase? What happened? Yeah, for a second. I'm so confused by this play. I would have just crashed and made Goyo take Armonite. Yep is typing. He says, no, Yep is not going to allow this going back in phases. Hmm. How long did he enter the battle phase for? I can't see the log, so I don't know, but it seemed like two seconds, maybe? It's a little bit sharky in nature, I think. <laughs> not going to lie. So I guess there will be a judge called on this. I guess we'll just have to honor what the judge says if that's the case. I'm going to check in the Discord and see if there's a judge being called or something. I don't know. Hasn't said no. anything. Is there a lethal line without dad? I'm not seeing it exactly. All right, typing something. All right, looks like we are going to ask a judge. It was nine seconds. That's kind of, that's a lot longer than I realized. Nine seconds is pretty long. Yeah. I remember in Ribbit 1, someone entered battle phase for like a full minute and then tried to, to go back to main phase <laughs> 1. And I didn't yeah. let them do that. <laughs> so. Also, I was going to lose the game if they made the right play. <laughs> but like they, they literally sat there and thought about it for a long ass time in battle phase. And then tried to go back to the main one. <laughs> Nine seconds is a little bit borderline, though. It's not like a, a flicker phase situation, or <laughs> in battle phase, out of battle phase. Is Cam a judge? Um, I, is he playing in this? No, I think he hosted this, or was involved in organizing it. Because I know he was talking the other day about how, like, Part of the reason he liked, I like co-hosting this with Guybu is that like 
He could Hold on. Them Did we just say Gaibu? Is that what is? Is that how it's said? I've heard people call it Gaibu. <laughs> GYBU, you know, it is what it is. My my worldview has been shattered if that's how it's actually pronounced. I mean... <laughs> okay, so Cameron is saying that he's in the battle phase. Remains in battle phase? Okay. I mean, this is not the end of the world. It's still probably fine for 10 foot. I need to know where the line is. Is it like five seconds or... It's probably mm -hmm. going to be like two or three, I would think. Two or three? That seems kind of low. I feel like five seconds would be a good number. Cam is a good judge. Most judges are good quick, judges. Quick on the mouse if you misclick. <laughs> oh yeah, we're unstacking the plague. Well, you could still hit over everything, I guess. Yeah, you could just crash over everything and just... What do you... Hold on. Yep, thinks it was yeah. two seconds, not nine? What? <laughs> Yeah. It, I, see, I thought it was like around two seconds. I was surprised when it said it was nine the, seconds. The log it. doesn't lie, usually. The yep could be lagging. Well, that's kind of suboptimal for... They're still even on cards. And after, after yep takes a draw, this is still I'm even, favor. but... I mean, I think the ten, Goyo ten. play would have been... Yeah, I, I thought the Goyo play made sense, but that doesn't get the... I don't see why you would ever stack. Well, if you stack, then you get to go Goyo and... Yeah, that's what... I think it's GYBU as well. That's how I've always <laughs> read it. Too, but people always... keep saying Gaibu, so... Who is saying you know, Gaibu? <laughs> I think Karina said it. Name... Current, of course. <laughs> Of Tenfoot course, definitely this game has to worry about getting reversal tears. There's like a brain con. There's He's like got no defense. There's like anything I mean, here. He's, he's in trouble. Potentially, if Tenfoot has a crow in hand. Hopefully, you bricked Nal him out. Well. Uh oh. That's not good. That is bad news. Burial. Yeah, this is uh, bad news <laughs> for Tenfoot. Burial should make you put back three. See, <laughs> so you have to put back. You gotta, put, you gotta put back layers too. It's got to be a little more fair. It wouldn't be limited then. Yeah, honestly, that'd be a, that'd be kind of interesting. I wonder what the card would. It be would like. actually be quite course, balanced. Vi is like the only deck that plays burial to begin with, though. Like, yeah, as I was saying, I thought there might be a brain, brain well, and burial. That is, um, this is this is like over. Yep. This is actually over unless there's a gores. I don't think there's gores when the, in the deck that mains oppression. Probably not. Banish plague and Vayu. He tried to like fake out Scarin with gores token earlier, but didn't. yeah, and you're keeping the dark end pop too. That is rough. No, no, no. The play was <laughs> the play was Goyo take the Arma and then send your own uh, like Vayu piece or whatever. Right. And is it the crash last match the, from round one? Crash the Sibayu Secrets. That's the end of the match. Is it the last one? I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's still any still going. It's They got an hour, and we're 44 Chico minutes in. is still playing. AJT is still playing. Someone's got to be going. Xeris is still playing. Hold on, did you say Chico? Yeah, X-I-C-O. My worldview is being shattered again. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How is it? Xeris or Chico. Those are some really good players. Uh, I told Fen I wouldn't watch her. We don't watch yeah, her. I was thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crush. I watched her last Sweden. time and she had to play against Gladiator Beast and it was just painful. <laughs> Alright, so... Is it Chico or Ace of Spades? Which one do I... Same one. They're the same person, but Ace of Spades is I know, the, but which the, one should I the, call them? Ace of Spades. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> anyway, playing against Black Wings... Brought in a lot of hate on fairies. Fairies yeah, was I've seen, seen Chico on fairies a lot lately. Fairies is a base deck. so I, I think I actually ran into Ace of Spades on DB. Kind of got to be recently. rooting for, for Mr. Ace of Spades here. It's a good matchup for him. Oh, Cyber Dragon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You are not playing this Cyber Dragon art. What are you doing, Ace of Spades? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so wrong. Cursed. What? 
We're crashing. You got to get, four, you to get the ah, fairy. There's a Christia in hand. You can actually search out a consecrated here too if he plays another one. But then you can't fortress him. That's true. That's true. It's hilariously true. <laughs> Do you feel that I should have let him go back? Uh, I don't know. If it's nine seconds, it's a bit borderline. If Cam says nine seconds is too long, then I'm going to say it's too long. Yeah, I think Cam is pretty consistent with his rulings. I think like under five, maybe you let him go back. That's where I'm at on the the question of Chico switching phases. Chico with the Kelbeck sleeves. What on earth? <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself some better sleeves, dude. What is this? Get yourself some See, better this... sleeves and the correct Cyber Dragon art, please. This is these sleeves. A person that plays these sleeves is always going to lose to you in finals. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he played different sleeves when he played them, I think. He did, he did. Well, I don't remember where they were. What was the sleeves? In Add the... back Consecrated. I gotta go watch back that match again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I sure what you know. Played. Was it regular sleeves? Regular sleeves are pretty based. Hey, Joy Boy. Welcome to the chat, Joy Boy. What's up, guys? What's up is we are still in round one. But that's okay, because fairies are about to demolish Blackwings as they rightfully Wait. should. Is this the, uh, is this the, the new Kelbeck, or is this the old Kelbeck? This, I actually This cannot... looks like the new one to me. I think it is the new one. I think the old one, I remember, sort of, kind of. I don't know. It's some... That makes it a lot less based. Yeah. What what does Kelbeck even do? In the old the old Kelbeck bounces to hand he, anything that battles with it. He pretty much has to search Kalut here, right? Cuz um, this there's a Christia on the board. Yeah, I would say I would say that's accurate. Old Kelbeck is like, definitely just, looks different from this. You just add back the Christia, right? <laughs> search is a sure to the top of the deck, you know. It will go to the top, but he can't resummon it right away, I guess. So he's going to collude over the crystal. So he just already has collude. I guess the chain honest here would be pretty... Well, he has... We know it's consecrated in hand. Oh, we do? How do we know that? He added it back with Christia. Oh. Interesting. Man, there's just a now bunch he... of cards in the fairy deck that says no summon guy. Yeah, he can just... <laughs> You can just DD Warrior Lady into the Sirocco and then Normal Summon Consecrate it and he's back in control. This is a game three. New Kelbeck triggers in hand whenever cars sent. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I'm learning about new Kelbeck. Thank you, chat. But I need to know about old Kelbeck. I had that card when I was, like, seven. Old Kelbeck just bounces to hand, I'm telling you. It's just 1800 defense, rock fairy, or earth fairy. Rock fairy? Oh, my God. Earth fairy. <laughs> and it, uh, anytime something battles with it at the end of the damage step, it bounces it to the hand or something. It's 1500 attack, 1800 defense. Good to know. Four stars. If rock fairy was a deck, I'd be playing that. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> It'd be like, this card is also treated as it's, a rock monster. <laughs> it's like like an Armor Aches deck or something. It's like a 2400 Light Rock, you know? You can play it, use it with Honest, use it with Dark Gaia, problem solved. Wait, no, then you'd have to be playing Fiends, too. I don't know. So, it does not feel good to have to use your Icarus on a non-consecrated Light card. And now you are back under Consecrated Light. Have fun. Because <laughs> Icarus and Death Dev are like some of your only outs to Consecrated. So having to spend it on two cards that aren't Consecrated Light is not great. Is Shizu tier best format? That's a bad opinion. What the hell? <laughs> a lot of people really liked it. A lot of MBT but... viewers. <laughs> it's that, uh, it's, this goes back to your chess opinion. If you like a tier one or a tier zero format, just play chess. If you like a tier zero form, I'd go play a different game, 100%. Chat, 
chess is the best tier zero format and always will be. <laughs> the only tier zero format I have much experience in is Teladad. Did, did, did Ace of Spades just lose in time? Are these only... Wait a moment, what? Wait, 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 wait. Did they not have turns? Don't they have turns? I am so confused. What the hell is going on? Whoa, don't they have turns? Well, either way, he left the duel, so... End of your second turn? Don't they get, like, five turns? What's going on? What is yeah, that? I could have sworn it was... Zero, one, two, three, four, also, five. Also, I thought they had an hour till time was called. They were all... Well, it's almost an hour. When did time get called? I... This is... Okay, time got called four minutes ago. It feels like there should be more turns, though. Playing time with fairies has to be, feel really bad. I guess this deck so. just like this deck just gives away life points so fast. When I played, I never even got close to time happening though. Yeah, um, but our our rounds were. How many minutes. turns? How many turns are they given? I didn't read the time rules. Whatever. It's they're only giving them two turns or something. Or four. Time was five minutes ago. Time was at twelve forty eight for some reason, even though they're supposed to be one hour rounds, I thought. Yeah, I, th I thought they said it, the rounds were gonna be an hour long, but Are they forty eight minute rounds? What's <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird number. Oh, 45 minutes per round. I swear they changed I, that. That's has been... I, I, I <laughs> saw that been they said doctored. 45, but then I saw also that they said 60, so I wasn't sure. I thought they changed it from 45 to 45 60. 45 is a little bit short, I think. I feel like an hour is more reasonable. 45 is what it is now in a current format, but... Current format know, can eat shit. I, <laughs> I know Cameron was saying that, like, people playing at a reasonable uh, pace should be able to finish in 45 minutes, but... I mean, maybe... I just like, prefer things not being decided by time. I feel like you could get at least, like, dangerously close even playing at a reason. Like, matches can go long as hell, in, especially in Edison. There can be, like, a, a duel that's just 30 turns long or something. There's definitely also just matchups that are going to take a long time, like uh, yeah. Frog Mirrors or something. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, you, if you're in a Frog Mirror and you lose the time, that just feels bad. <laughs> I guess everyone just needs to play Black Wings. Then it won't be an issue. All right, All right. next round. Next I guess, round right? should start. Let me look at the bracket, see if everything is up to date here. It looks like there's three. If that one was that just aren't... decided in time, then like you'd think there wouldn't be many going on still. Maybe things one, just two, have to be three. recorded still. There's four that aren't wrapped up yet, but they should be because they're in time. And have been in time for a while. I don't know. Some people have been known to take like two to three minutes per turn for a long period of time. <laughs> Which would explain why they got into time. <laughs> yes, it would. Okay, AJT still going. Oh wait, they just finished game one. Fen says her match went into time. Her opponent took two minutes to use charge set Raiko. Yeah, see, <laughs> not even a frog player, and they're taking two minutes on their turn. Okay, so this, I don't know if AJT is playing a different nice. game, or if this is the match that is still going on. AJT is just playing goat versus somebody. Okay. <laughs> no, I made that up, I actually... <laughs> well, it is, it's only zero to one, so I would hope that this is not the actual Edison tournament match. Wait, where is, I can't even find AJT BLS. Oh, there they are. Why couldn't I find them there? Are they actually playing? We'll find out soon This enough cannot possibly. Go, go They're only Edison. one game in. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. This cannot be an Edison. Is it the fairy mirror? <laughs> That's okay, a, I just go. see a duo. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we, don't, we don't play toxic cards like that. We just play dust shoot. <laughs> so true, so true. Which is arguably more toxic than duo and goat, but anyway... Well, there are three of it in Goat. There are three of it in Goat, but it's much worse in Goat. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's nearly as strong. Because there's... <clears throat> cards in Goat are more... 
are a lot less you, you like, can't, synergistic. You they're, can't they're dust really shoot. stand on their own merit. You can't more. dust shoot their Trinity piece either. You <laughs> That's true. You can't put back Graceful. Having like good starter monsters is so much more important than Essen. And the format's way faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the information runs out too. If like your turn one play gets screwed up by Dust Shoot, you're just like snowball okay, out of control. So Zool has to be in time, right? I'm watching the Zool match. I'm gonna watch the it looks like Quick Draw Volcanic versus Zombie. All right, I guess we're just watching this. Zombie here. Uh, this is a pretty favorable matchup for Quick Draw. It's like Welladad, I guess. Oh, you're right. Or it's right. like Wella it's Zombie. Like a hero. Wella Zombie. Well, that, with... that makes sense. Yeah, it's like a tel maybe like a Teladad kind of thing. You could probably put Prodigy in Welladad if you played more Caius. I can see that. Because, like, normal Welladad? Oh my god, did he just lose in time because of that? Because of Android? <laughs> you know what? He didn't even need to attack. He could have just gone end phase in game six and won in time. This is a uh, current format. <laughs> this is so right bad. Why? <laughs> that, that was a current format play right there. All right, we've seen a second match get decided by stupid, dumb time rules. Ah, uh, well. Necessary evil, oh, I really? guess. You think is Zul just on some other kind of volcanic deck? Zul's not, not even on Quick Draw. It might be the, the volcanic garden deck. That would explain why it went to time as well. Yeah, it definitely would. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the volcanic garden control thing. There's like I've so many it very powerful. But... So many better floodgates you could play. If you want to play some dumb stun strategy. Also, Dawn's Elude is a really bad card. Alright, we got two okay. matches that need to be decided. This still have to be reported. AJT's play AJT dope, so... has to be done, right? <laughs> that game is over. <laughs> He's not just, like, forgotten the Edison ban list and brought Duo into his game, right? That doesn't sound quite right to me. He has to attack because the first one to take damage loses? How the hell does time work in this in this tournament? Whatever. Everyone be sure to, to like that stream before we get into round two here. We only got, what, like two guys that need to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, AJT is done. Why hasn't this been reported? Yeah. <laughs> what is That's a good question. Who even are these two people? Ghost Rider says, I'm never playing two tournaments at the same time again. I couldn't focus. <laughs> Excuse me? You were doing what? <laughs> I think there's a Go tournament going on at the same time as this you one. You can't play two tournaments. It's not even possible. What do you... Do you got, like, one monitor for the Go tournament and one monitor for the for the Edison? What is... I guess there is a Go tournament. What's the Go tournament? Actually, who cares? Bad form. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. We only talk about good formats here. I know Sunny despises Goat. He talks okay, about it a Okay, AJT says Chai T won, so only the other one to worry about. All right, who the hell are <laughs> these Team Lax and Roxas. Person I've never heard of versus other person I've never heard of. Let's go. I think I've heard of Hakeem Lax. I've seen them around. What's, uh, what's they're, their they're DB? They're on the book. What is, what is their DB name? Hakeem Lax. How's that spelled? H a k i m. -A I can't. I don't. -E. I don't see any any game going on. Oh, look at their profile instead, maybe. Nope, they're not in a game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like everything's over then. People just need to report, figure figure that out. Hello. AJT says whack format. <sighs> Average game. Bingo player. Bongo. <laughs> of course, Ryko Dad. Whack format. I just saw you activating duo on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was somebody else. That was a, that was being activated against him, so No 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 no. That was him. I'm sure it was him. Hold on. I need to go check to make sure Where where was this? 
Okay, maybe it was. Never mind. He was getting duoed. Same same difference, really, if you think about it. Yeah, it's it's all the same. <laughs> it's all whatever. <sighs> Edison has, has spoiled me. I used to think GOAT was tolerable, but now now I'm just like, nah, Edison format. Edison is the only format. I used to think HAT was tolerable. Only Edison now. So, are you not hmm. a HAT fan? I know that uh, Dimitri and Fitz have been getting into HAT lately. No, I don't like HAT. I don't like... Uh, I feel like... Maxi is way too good at that point, and also Soul Charge shouldn't be in the game. And also, there's like three Soul Charge, right? There's three Soul Charge, and like Heavy's banned, but it kind of has to be banned. But the fact that it's banned is weird too, because it just makes I don't know. Games are super weird. There's a lot of toxic there's decks a, like Infernity. There's a random format. I think it might be Meadowlands, but there's like a random format around that time. Or no, it might be Providence, where Heavy's banned. No, no, no. <laughs> Providence is like way earlier but heavy is banned for some reason but they have true nade i think okay so we which, have... which just makes like it double toxic because true nade's just it's yeah, not, true nade does not balance the game not in any way it's okay always... so round two pairings are up they are okay we have poke rapper versus solchus that's a pretty good one all right i'm gonna watch that one that's some some good players no way, let's watch Fen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're... Neither one is hosting. Did they start? No. Well, I don't think they've started yet. I'm waiting for these two. I want to see Poke Rapper versus Silchus. That sounds like fun. Corinna facing another... Vegas format legend. greater than Hat. <laughs> I've not played Vegas format, but I assume it's greater than Hat because at least there's no soul charge. Corinna prevailed over Anthony Alvarado, the GOAT legend, and now oh, she's facing she Pro 8. I would think Vegas would just kind of be like Hat but the trap decks and none of the combo stuff. Here we go. Poke Rapper versus Silchus. This will be good. Okay, so Poke Rapper's probably playing Diva Frogs, and Silchus is probably playing Diva Zombie. We may see some water monsters summoned in this duel. Ven says, "Don't watch me." I know. I'm not gonna watch you. Oh, heavy for one. That's seems... heavy oh, for heavy. It's a heavy. <laughs> we don't see that often. All right, his opening turn must be absolutely cracked. It's gonna be. Yeah, like... I was thinking that too. I mean, you might just want the. It's gonna be like the future fusion. Results? Future fusion summon Diva or something. Ooh. Snowman Eater is interesting. Is it just Diva Hero? You Could... wonder if he's playing Diva or if he's playing Snowman and Zombies. I feel like Snowman and Zombies is a little bit strange. I mean, people do attack into your. Nah, this recruiters. has got to be Diva Hero. Yeah, you're right. The Gilman. I don't think he plays that in his zombie list. I think I'd have gone so Battle it's... Phase first. Just not going to respect doors at all. Maybe he's got Mirror Force, too. Alright, that's a pretty cracked opening hand. This is like a... This is what Yomero will do to me. <laughs> Every game I play against Yomero, this is the open. <laughs> Poke Raptor is bricked. No way to get to Treeborn. It's just setting traps. as a T-Roar. That'll keep him alive. Not opening Treeborn is pretty bad. Ab-Zero is coming next turn. It's pretty rare to not find Treeborn access. But it does happen, and when it happens, it sucks. <laughs> and that's a large up zero as well. TGU ruins Tengu Plant? That's a... F oh, that's game. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was swift. There. Yeah. Still just had cards. <laughs> I mean, he had, he had the, the, the legendary Diva Hero opening hand of, like... Future Fusion Diva 2 back row. With Solemn, yeah. <laughs> he had Solemn plus something else we don't even know this what is, it was. This is what Fitz would do against me, except he also had Miracle every time. <laughs> Fitz? I thought Fitz just lost with that deck over and over. Only after he started destroying me with it. 
Well, then he went on a losing streak. But he like he would open like Future Fusion Miracle, and then one like broken card like Heavy Dust Shoot Solemn, and Diva. <laughs> Fitz should really preserve his sacking luck for tournaments. I, don't I know, know why he right? Only he wastes it all us. on me. I would respect Gores if my if, oh I wouldn't respect Gores if my opponent set Storm Tournament. Yeah, but like, Poke Raptor is. Like very publicly a frog player, so it could also just be like Trag or Fader. Well, it's also double T War set. No, he's talking about the turn before that, when he stormed the set storm and just hit in. Oh, I see. But I it's see, like see. when your opponent doesn't open the Treeborn, like even if it's Fader, that could like be used to make a Caius or a Ryza. Yeah, but you, there's a good chance play. he had like Mirror Force too. Like we don't know what his other back row was. Like if you have Mirror Force or something. And the heavy's gone, you can just like play into the gores and not care that much. Yeah, but he also just might like drop Fader and Kai as your star list, which wouldn't be great. Yeah. But he had the Solemn for that. Okay, he did have I, did he have the Solemn or did he draw it next turn? No, no, he had Solemn was one of the the two that he set on turn one. I guess but so I feel I, like there's just there, no there, you could just there use the just Solemn. There's no reason to respect anything. He just had an insane hand. <laughs> But there's no reason not to, because you could just solemn something else later. It's not that much yeah. less damage. It's like it's like a thousand less damage or something. So this time he does get Treeborn access. Yep, that's definitely good. Going first with Treeborn, although it is post board, so now it's probably some frog hate. Okay, okay. You need frog. being summoned. Really good here. We're about to find out why pulling the rug is a mid side deck card. No, it's deep prison. Even eating the deep prison isn't the worst thing in the world. I feel like Silchus is fine with that. Yeah, also, I think they're both fine with it. <laughs> you like Kai as their Treeborn now if your set's a goblin zombie. Or actually yeah. he's not playing zombies though, he's playing Diva Hero. Ninety nine percent sure. They play Kai's too, though. They do play Kai's. And they play Sangan a lot of times. They do. I think you should always play Sangan in Diva Hero. Just to search Diva. Alright, so he is going to Kai's it. Still worth it. That's one Treeborn gone. I think you have to attack Frogs on, the, on like, Tempo. Because now they have to spend a whole other turn just summoning Swap to get the Treeborn Engrave. You can outgrind frogs if you're playing okay. like a quick draw deck or something. Yeah, normally I, I feel like you still need a way to get rid of the treeborns, or else you still often will get outgrinded by frogs. But nah, because like you have drill and titanium, and they don't care about. The if you can get the titanium, then yeah, yeah, that changes a lot. If you loop drill, you win the game. So there's going to be a Brain Con one for one. Those are some limited cards being expended, though. So it just is down to four. Well, I guess five cards on his turn. But he needs to out the dupe block somehow. Diva Hero has a good bit of ways. If he gets a hero into play, he can. Miracle Fusion or something. I don't know. <sighs> Everyone, be sure to pr press that like button. Press that like br button in honor of the double dupe frog on the field. <laughs> uh, classic Edison format. So... So just could have outs to this. I wonder if the D Prism was a side deck card? Or is it just going to be Prodigy Caius or Prodigy Diva? Or Prodigy Miracle? What could you be thinking on as Poke Rapper here. Is your set like an Econ or something? I don't feel like you would set that card. You could chain it to a Miracle. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. You could do that, but like, I feel like I'd rather just hold on to it and take the Ab Zero. And go for the um, game. Yeah, potentially. They, they can't attack you yet. And let's say like Book Brain, something like that. I should still play Phoenix Wing. Yeah, I think Pokerapper does play those discard traps. Oh, that could be what it is, maybe. I think it's a little odd, though, without the heroes. Maybe it's like Diva Hero Frog. So 
So going for the armory arm. So you can have Brio. Brio bounce one of them, hit over the other one. This would be really bad if it was a Phoenix Wing. Um, a Miracle here would be really... An out zero would be up to 3,500. You could bounce Miracle... If you bounce, if you bounce the, the defense position one and the back row, and then Miracle, then you have 35 over 134, and that'd be lethal if there's no Battle Vader or track. If the set one is Miracle. Oh, he had that. Yeah, see, I'm thinking... Okay. Maybe your back row is solemn and you just go for it. True. That'd be pretty dirty. If you solemned T-Roar both games to go for lethal. Silchus is back on pure Diva Hero, which is interesting. He hasn't played this in a while. We've seen a true hero have six... Ooh. Soul release. All right, the Treeborns are gone. That's pretty big. Two swaps. Do we know he has a swap in hand? He got rid of his oh. Caius? Yo, is this set card RFDD? Oh, my God. You're right. You're right. All right, Poke Rapper doesn't have a response, which means this is almost certainly not Phoenix Wing. This has to be RFDD. This has to be RFDD. Oh, hit the back row now? No, because you can just chain it. I'm confused. Why would you not just respond to the targeting of five? Yeah, you should have uh, chained it. If, if you're going to hit the back row, you should chain it to the solo release effect. I feel like he waited too long here. Yeah, because now it's too late. What? What? All oh, right. oh, okay. It was just said targeting five. You didn't say it resolves. That's what. Okay, we we're mixed up there. Targeting five is good. Sounds like you don't have a response though. Yeah, it does. But I, I understand what he's saying. No big deal. <laughs> that is that is kind of weird to phrase it like that. <laughs> now if he has like uh, he's if actually he special. <laughs> If He's... you can special swap and then summon a monarch, this is back in Poké Rapper's control. There's a lot of top decks for Silchus that would just win him the game. Because he has that yeah, with the Maui Maui. grave. So like Miracle yeah. Fusion or Diva or Caius are all... Or, well, or Plague. Two of the Divas Cause... are gone. Yeah, two of the Divas are gone. Alright, so this it's like get it's going to make maybe? a Cataster. Or, or Android. Android maybe. Android, Android is work, probably too. better. Yeah. Because then... The, the problem is that Cataster isn't outed by Abzero or their own Cataster. Hmm. But if, the, if he draws Miracle here, then Miracle just outs this Android. But if he draws Miracle and you have Cataster, it's not outed by that. Yeah, maybe he should have gone Cataster. I guess he just That's something to... I... I forgot the game I was life. analyzing a game I played against Numero. Uh, okay, rapper needs to gain six. I'm gonna let him know. Okay, there he got it. All right, so it just just passes. Gores would be okay. Getting the Mali Crow kind of sucks. Ooh. Another this diva. One, this one can get the Gilman because yeah, usually Gilman. diva. Diva Fox will play Gilman and Mermaid Archer, so... This isn't lethal. Synchroing in main one is... Strange. Definitely plays worse around Gores. Okay, he's huh? taking it oh, back. Changing his mind. It says less... This is more damage, too. It's more damage, and it plays around Gores, so... Is he gonna hit into it? Alright, no fear. No fear in the heart of Poke Rapper. Now Braincon's dead for Silchus. It's not Gores. He just needs Miracle Fusion or something. I feel like that's about it. Making Cataster. I think you should make Cataster here. Short. Nah, second Android. No, Sea Dragon Lord Gishel Nodon. Oh, he's not going to do it though. Making nothing based. 
Because now, like I said before... The Wait, miracle does Miracle is... kill? No, yeah, no not it, quite. Miracle is huge, though. It does a ton of damage, it... though. It does 33 or something. Oh, he has it! He always has it. Silk just always has it. This is but why he's the best diva here. Fucking Rapper does have a back row here. But if, it's, if, if it removes the zero, your whole field is getting blown up, probably. Okay, T-Roar. Back row. Now if you make the catastrophe, you lose your android. Maybe you can make Stardust somehow. No, he's just tributing... Black Rose? Black Rose the field, and then... Mmm, you better have something. Nope. Well, normal swap now, does it? There it is. Yep. Go into a game number three. I guess it's more exciting this way. No, that is definitely correct. I was wrong at the end there. It's definitely correct to leave the diva on the field if you have that T roar. Well, when you have the T roar to protect, it doesn't matter, yeah. All right, we're up to seventy viewers. That's pretty based. If you're just tuning in now, be sure to like the stream. We're gonna be here for quite a while, watching all of the top Edison players go at it, except for, of course, us. Where we are preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> but we are, without a doubt, top Edison players. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I didn't say how high in the top. <laughs> We're at least top 500. Top 500. <laughs> <laughs> at least top 500 Edison players. Somewhere in that zone. Still just probably like top 10 though. Maybe, For sure. Maybe even top 5. Maybe. He's got a lot of tops actually from... Especially like from... Uh, a while back. Yeah, Still just has been playing a long time. So just I remember one when, uh, when he played at RBT1, that was like his return. <laughs> For a lot of people, that was like their beginning. That was him coming back after a long time away. That was my beginning. <laughs> kind of. Sort of. RBT1 was definitely a hype, hype experience. It was like the mm -hmm. first massive Edison tournament. It's the first that I know that had over 100 players. Maybe I think there, there might have been like one YRS that had over 100, hmm. but... There were like those weird tournaments from early in the E3 Yu-Gi-Oh days, like, I don't know, Rise of Edison or something, and... Yeah. I know there was the one where uh, it was Jazz versus Keegan in finals. Yeah, that was funny. a hype finals. That's <laughs> like, like a... versus Fairies. That's like an old school finals right there. Yeah. Remember when I when I first <laughs> That's a very funny matchup to think about. <laughs> <laughs> when I first came to FL, it was just like MMF Jazz Keegan and Cameron James. and James and that was just like it playing Edison. It Murray. I think Murray was Murray doesn't heard, play Murray Edison. Murray just, Glads. Murray just talks <laughs> about playing Glads. <laughs> yeah, for a long time Murray didn't <laughs> play. He was just he was just talking every day in the Discord. <laughs> Anyway, stuff is happening on the screen. <laughs> Frogs are being summoned. Frogs have been summoned. Silchus is like bricked or something. We did see a rug in game two from Silchus, so it does seem like he's siding those. You gotta and be siding. Release. We saw Soul Release as well. You gotta be siding those fossil dinos and vanities fiends, man. That's what actually. I think Soul Release is really strong. Soul Release is good too, but it came way too late. If you can draw late. it, if you can draw it like somewhat early. It can be pretty strong. Came way too late that game. Well, it would have been insane if the RPD had resolved. But is yeah. this a mind crush that Silchus is thinking on here? If you have it, you mind crush Swap Frog every time, right? He might just whiff on the Moray. It's mm -hmm. like a minimum one for one and maybe one for two. I feel like if he didn't do it, that's a misplay. But maybe he just doesn't have it. Maybe it's like solemn judgment, and he's thinking of judgmenting Moray. 
In which case, what the hell's mm. going? Yeah, that would I would not activate. Imagine if Moray that. shuffled them back for cost, though. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> and your Moray <laughs> got solved. So worse. <laughs> oh my god, it would suck so bad. Wow, still not so just, anything. My guy, can you summon a monster? You're killing me. What is this? I need to see action. I need to see battle phase. <laughs> the only battle phase that's happened so far is attacking with Swap Frog. Sir, this is a frog match. There is no battle phase. Attacking with Swap Frog is like the most boring battle phase possible, I think. It's doing stealth bird burn. It actually is. I'm content to, I'm content to just sit there like for like three or four turns just getting attacked by Swap Frog if I don't have anything I want to summon. Now you turn the Treeborn to attack and hit for 400. All right, we got a brain. 500. Potential Brain Caius here going on. Brain, brain the Gilman. Yeah, Brain Gilman, Banish Frog. You know, Pokeraptor does this, like, setting multiple back row with frogs thing a lot. It always feels a little weird to me because it's like... Now you gotta use both of them before your Treeborn's coming back, but what if they just make one play? Yeah. Anyway, See, I... the nice th The nice thing about banishing this Treeborn is that even though it doesn't actually put them off Treeborn, now any crow does put them off Treeborn, like, permanently. See, he Geki breaks, which is a neg to get rid of the Kai, so now you still can't bring back your Treeborn. Yeah. Unless this is like a MST. <laughs> if it's a if it's another discard trap, maybe. I mean, if it yeah, I feel like it has to be. Okay, it's a dust. You okay, can do it. MST or dust. Okay. Chain dust shoe. Let's oh go. Oh my god, <laughs> that is disgusting. I feel like he should have chained this to the moray. That caused That's the. That's what he was thinking about. That caused the moray to whiff. Would have been so good. Holding dust shoe versus frogs is extremely big brain, by the way. Because it will never well, not be there's live. There's no point where it, it seemed like Poker Rapper was going to commit. So I think Soldiers was waiting for a moment where yeah, you shouldn't do it Poker Rapper was forced to commit. And then was going to, like, after you summon the Treeborn, then I dust shoot you. This was a one in three chance of hitting the dust shoot with the dust tornado, by the way. Feels yeah, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty unfortunate for Poker Rapper here to hit that. That's what he gets for playing frogs. <laughs> <laughs> one second. One second. This is way more than one second. What are you talking about, Silchus? Titanial. We're 20 minutes off of time. <laughs> Titanial? What are you talking I'm, about, Pokeraps? Just take your time. Just take your time. No, no, no. I know what he said. <laughs> uh, crow, salvage, eat you just take the dust. crow every time, right? Do you? Crow is insane versus Diva Hero. Man. You gotta. I know Econ seems pretty. No, oh, you can't take that. I'm dumb. Man, imagine yeah, I mean, society if Dust Shoot worked the way the Snack Pod did. Yeah, it's gotta be Crow, I think. Imagine Dust Shooting and taking your opponent's Dust Shoot so you don't get Dust Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I was, I was thinking Confi for a second. Maybe or Forceful Sentry, I guess. <laughs> what formats are you playing where there's Confi and Forceful? Uh, Android format. Gross. <laughs> Is there a format where they're like they're all at three? Yeah. Well, no. There, like uh, a format there people is play, a format, but it's not on format library anymore because it was awful. Hmm. Joining Frog FTK format in the the, the wall like of a, shame. Yeah, it's like right when that set was released, they're all at three. <laughs> Magic Ruler must have been the worst format ever. Well, uh, was there was there like a three CED format too? That probably would have been pretty bad. There's a three graceful format. It's it's Android format, but with three graceful. People don't <laughs> understand how bad DM era Yu-Gi-Oh was. <laughs> it was like unplayable. It's like as bad as modern. Unironically. As bad as modern, but also like way sackier than modern too. All right, we're summoning Spined Gilman and poking for 17. We could hit for 500 more. Yo, you got to switch that Treeborn, right? 
There's no way you're not switching that tree board. Run it into a deep. You know, if it gets deep prison, that would be so bad, actually. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't do that. Run the frog into a deep prison. <laughs> so is getting kind of low if he just takes this. It's the same one card starters. Does graceful count as a one card starter? <laughs> Graceful into graceful into graceful. Then you know what? Can't people just play FTKs or something? I, yeah, I don't know. They're probably you know I actually don't know of any that are like. There's got to be a scientist, scientist format, FTK, right? Was, there sci is a scientist. There's a there's sure. a scientist FTK format. <laughs> what do you mean no? What? Frog. <laughs> to book the frog. Why are you booking that? He's gorging. He's gorging. He's gorging. I feel like Phoenix winging Treeborn would be pretty good, though. I think he's booking Treeborn and Phoenix winging Treeborn. So the Gilman attack goes through, right? And then he drops score. This feels suboptimal to me. You it might, it, like, he, he had so many dead turns where he did nothing. This might be his only like proactive play he can do. If it's Gores, you were one dark off of his dad being alive. And you just pitched it. Then again, if he's pitching dad, maybe the rest of his hand's actually good. Is this live? Does it say live in the bottom left corner of the stream? <laughs> so, we have 2,700 Yes, it's live. damage. I don't think Soljus can do any kind of like crazy OTK from here. Nah, this whole play was weird. I don't know why he did this. His hand was so slow to begin this game. It's it would be hard to believe that there's much else he's got. If he if he was forced to do book and wing blast there, he probably drew cores after he set all the back row. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't I don't okay. like this play at all. This silches. I feel like I'd have just booked the Gilman and then summoned Stratus and hit over the Gilman, and that would have been my play. Well, he might have drawn Stratos for turn. You just gotta get better at anticipating your deck. I don't know. <laughs> well, he gets in for full damage, so the set card is probably... It's probably just some discard trap he's gonna use on the back row. We know Poke Rapper is drawing Frog for turn. So setting a discard trap would be... Ooh, but that's not what it is. So he's not gonna have Treeborn this turn unless he can Specialist Swap. Doesn't he have Swap? No, wait, he returned it with Moray, so we don't know that he has Swap. And he added, like, Flip Flop. Ooh, that might be Tree Warren set. But I don't know. I feel, like it, behind it? I feel like he wouldn't set the Tree Born here. If it gets Caius. Yeah, that'd be that pretty is, bad. I feel like he set the Flip Flop. He added a Flip Flop, right? I don't remember. I swear I saw, saw it, a Flip Flop get added. Am I crazy? Chat, let me know. Was there a Flip Flop? All right, well, that's just going to be lethal with Brionic. No, wait, make Mistworm, actually. Come on, we need to see it on stream. Make Mistworm. Prove to me that that card is good. Prove to the world that that card is good. Mistworm, Mistworm, Mistworm. Let's go! No! No! He doesn't play it. Oh, my God. He probably doesn't play it. Play Let's Mistworm in your boost, extra deck, people. We have been boosted by Gilman, so clearly. Play Mistworm <laughs> in your extra deck, people. What's going on? Oh. Okay. okay. It was actually Treeborn with Econ to guarantee. Is this the right? Oh. No, he's o right. he's Omega dead. Okay, so Silchus. Game over. Silchus wow. is going to take the match, and fifteen minutes before time too. Excellent. <laughs> Diva Hero goes fast. What can I say? What other matches we got going? Who's still... Oh, wait. This should, this is already updating in real time. Why am I refreshing? We can watch Pui one time. What are we... She's on Dragon Turbo, I think. Oh, we're not watching that. Hold on. Absolutely <laughs> not, no. Oh, Corona <laughs> beat Pro 8. <laughs> we don't need to be watching Dragon Turbo on stream. Good lord. Mm. We got any good matches here? I'm looking. Mm. Dimitri is still playing. That's more frogs, so. though. Yeah, we don't need more frogs. Sorry. I'll scare beat Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, we can watch Shamu. Who's Shamu? Or Hydro Pump. Mm, let's watch Fenn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 
I think Hydro Pump makes sense to watch. All right, we can watch Hydro. He did. He's been having a good year. He's top two, peak of the beak tournaments or something. He won one and got second. So he's on uh, Vayu with God the damn it! Return. There's more frogs. <laughs> ah, they're it's everywhere. A frog in Vayu format here. <laughs> they're everywhere. So we saw Vayu mirror, then we saw Diva versus frogs, and now we're seeing Vayu versus frogs. God help us. This is a pretty good Kai's. Very good. This is looking pretty good for Mr. Frog player, which makes sense because frogs are quite good versus Vayu. In yeah. my opinion. Ooh, yeah, a lot of big cards they already expended for Hydro Pump too in the uh, banished zone. Oh yeah. No more plague play. Garden is gone. He's got more Vayus, I guess. Although He's got two more Vayus, what is what does Vayu actually do into the dupe? Yeah, and it's smaller than Kai's. You can too. summon some more little vanillas that get run over by monarchs and can't hit into the dupe frog. And like Ryza on a Bayou synchro, terrible. Yeah, it's it's bad. You need to draw some some heat from the sideboard. I think to to be pulling this one out. It's not looking good. Actually, doesn't bring back Treeborn though, so there's not going to be any like swap bounce highest shenanigans should probably just hit over Greffer if you don't have anything else we haven't seen a lot we don't we can't tell if this is junk frogs or hero frogs or hero frogs with junk or or what this is it's just frogs so far they all play Kaius. could be burn frogs for all I know Caius is like the best burn card in Burn Frog. I was gonna say, <laughs> Caius is a burn card. There's no reason at all for Caius to be a burn card. It's so. It's, I know, right? Like, I feel like the amount of burn that Caius does should be on Thestalos. It like burns for more than Thestalos just all yeah, the time. It makes <laughs> no sense. When is. Unless Thestalos hits Tragodia, when are you hitting for more than... Like, Thestalos should just be, rip a card, if it's a monster, burn for a thousand, and then... No, 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 it should burn for, like, 500 times the level. <laughs> just, like... <laughs> that could be really snacky and random, like, hit a track, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Caius needs something, it's not... It's... But the, or... Caius should just be, Caius should have the... Thestalos needs the something, effect. it's... Where it, like it burns for the level times a hundred or something. Vestalos just yeah. shouldn't burn. Like or Caius. That is disgusting. Caius just shouldn't burn. Like banishing the monster would still just make it the best monarch. It would already be better than Ryza. Yeah. But the fact that in Edison so often normal summoning Caius just does thirty four hundred damage. I have a question. Why did Swap go to the graveyard? Uh. I didn't send it. <laughs> what? Maybe he activated the effect and he had to send it from the field to the grave? But he used the Caius bounce thing. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Can anyone explain this? What just happened? Did he tribute it for... No, you can't sub and fail to find. This is in GOAT format. We don't play by stupid playground rules. <laughs> I have no clue what happened. Oh, Junk Synchron, this is looking bad. Anyway, this is like an OTK, right? I. You can. You should be able to hit it. Uh, if you can use this... If you sync with dupe, it's... Okay, no, it's not an OTK. What? Why? Does he play Junk Warrior? Because this could be a ton of damage. It would be more, but you would have to sync with your dupe. Also, yeah, yeah that that's a thing. The Gorns. So you hit over the token... And then you can just, I was like, thinking if you had a, if you could have substituted into like a different level two, you could have synced with that. But I think all of your level twos are gone. Yeah, the, if he, it looks like he's not playing Unicron, maybe. Yeah, you don't always need Unifrog post borders by you. Hmm. Well, why did he not hit over the Gore's token? Oh no, wait, Hydra held it till okay, never mind. Whatever. Yeah, till the Caius hit. 
You still gotta deal with this dude. Hydro kind of needs a Kaius here, right? He does. There are two left. His, his brain con's gone too. He can also draw Dad. Dad is live. True, true. Dad would be helpful. Dad or Kaius, but he does not have either, so... And the thing is, both of those just get... Man, that's by. rough. <laughs> Man, that's rough. The Kaius he coming can just down Kaius, again. Kaius the set monster and, like, Goyo take the, the gorge or something. Man, that is rough. Not looking good for Mr. Hyde. I mean, we can even play a really slow and just Kaius, Kaius the set monster and just bounce Kaius again and say, try again. <laughs> I feel like you're just waiting. But, you're waiting to die to dad top deck or something. True. Yeah. You probably you probably go for the uh, the go you take. Well, if you if you do go you take, then you. Well, oh, this is a play. Oh, this is this lethal. Is better, all of that. <laughs> this is game over. You tribute Caius on the set, and then we well, you... can tribute over anything. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna make make drunk here, and then tribute over sub. Yeah, so that, that should be that card. Should be very much the end of the game. Interestingly, Hydra was playing Gores in the the Vayu deck. But that's yeah, just... I've seen it a lot more now. Yeah. Wow. People have woken up. Gores is a good card. Anyway, that's the end of the game. Tough luck well, for Hydra. I think if you're playing Chaos Sork in return, you might not be playing Oppression. And in that case, like there's no reason not to play Gores. At the very least, I think you should play Sork. Just always. I think it's a better I'm card. Rush trim. I'll be back. It's a better card than Royal Oppression. Okay. Who do we got left? We're coming up on time here, which is scary. Hope we don't have to see more games get decided by time. Who is left that we recognize? Uh, nope, nope. Ben said not to watch. Ludo. We could watch Red Coco. We haven't seen an MMF game. We gotta we gotta check out MMF next round, figure out what they're playing. Let's watch Ray Coco. Is anyone playing Disaster Dragons? I haven't seen it yet. It's not a super common deck. Alright, we're tuning in for game three of Ray Coco, who's on Hero Beat, looks like. Very uh flavor of the month deck right now. Everyone's on Hero Beat these days. It's been all Hero Beat by you everywhere. Probably why we're not going to see a whole lot of Black Wings is because Hero Beat's a really good matchup. Alright. Dingo Sig is like being weirdly rude in the chat. I don't know. Alright, Coco wasn't taking that long. What? Oh, okay, he's going to spark on an uh, battle step. Understandable. Probably shouldn't have flipped that on us so fast there. Oh, Raikoko laying down some facts on, on Dingo Sig here. I like it. Like, he literally just summoned a guy and went battle phase. I don't know what slow play you're complaining about here. Raikoko was a, versus a goat champ. This guy's a goat champ? Average goat player. All right, what is this? We don't even know what he's playing, actually. So it's, it's got Honest in it, and Cyber Dragon Gores could be... It's probably Light Sworn or Fairies. Here beat and Vayu Turbo, two decks that you and Keegan put in B tier. I did not put Vayu Turbo in B tier. Hero beat... Wait, I put, like, one build of Hero beat in B tier and one in A tier. I put the D.Va build in B tier, and I put the other one in A, I think. And I stand by that one. I might even, I might move them both up, like, at one tier or something. What happened? Uh, I don't know, Raikoka's playing Hero Beat versus some toxic goat player. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're playing. It's got Honest in it, so kind of narrows it down. I hope the other one's Starlight Road. That would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happened. 
I know Dingo Sig. Dingo Sig has, uh, I think he played a uh, return, Chaos Return in the last uh, Goat event. You're just bad. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Oh man! Wow! Holy! <laughs> You're just bad. I am. Maybe they're both toxic, actually. But what's going on in this game? Did I miss some context via before? I it could it could be friendly banter. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no! You missed this part. Like he was like complaining about slow play and Raikou. Oh gosh! Let me see this. Like Raikoko was like not playing slow at all, and he was just like complaining that he was playing slow. And then Raikoko called him bad or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's nothing that cruel. What would have happened here? Wait, is the game still going? What happened? Did he, he called Gores back, so Raikoko couldn't attack through that. Raikoko, like, left for a sec. Whatever, I guess he's staying alive with this Call of the Haunted on the Gores. What the hell? Are we ever going to find out what he's playing? Is this game three? I am also toxic by nature once you let it out. I try not to be toxic. I try hard, but DB randos make it difficult for me. <laughs> you can only remain non-toxic for so long while watching a frog player take 10 minutes to do their sub combo. Why did he not do that first time? Dude, there's some serious salt going on in this game. There's 19 people watching, too. It's one of the last games left on the <laughs> round. <laughs> Man, these guys are so mean. Just cool off for a sec. How can you sustain this level of, of salt for so long? Looks like he's going to bounce the Stratos, get rid of the call. Unless he has some kind of follow-up play. Alright, he's going for the back row. Which one hits call? Yeah, that's about what we expected. Five-year-olds. No, no, no. I know for a fact these are not five-year-olds. These are average Yu-Gi-Oh players. Oh, man. So this has got to be fairies. They think us think is playing. I feel like at the very least I never actively flame my opponent like this. <laughs> well, right. It makes you feel better, man. <laughs> looking right i feel like this is a good matchup for fairies too how are you losing i don't know who i should be more mad at between these two i i feel like i missed a full entire two games of banter <laughs> he's not gonna pry on this wild you do not sustain salt you grow it what <laughs> All right, torrential. That's an issue. All right, he's, he's scooping to that. Which, I guess maybe if he's back row, just don't do anything, I guess. Okay, well. I'm glad I don't have to watch that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, who's, who's still alive? Is anyone? Hold on, if Fen is still going. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Fen's match ended right as I was about to look at it. All right. <laughs> Bullet equal dodged. What about... What about Giorgione? Whoever, however that's pronounced. You can watch this. Holy crap, this match is going into time. This is 100. We're the just starting game three. What is going on? <laughs> what, game, what game are you watching? I'm watching Giorgione versus Death Grip 
zero. I think Giorgion plays Hero Beat. Yeah. It's probably with some like long matchup type of deal, like we were talking about earlier. <sighs> Giorgione? There's no way that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced, Giorgione. It's I'm just going to call them Giorgio. <laughs> Giorgione. <laughs> we call him Giovanni Giorgio. Rate my Italian accent. <laughs> this is another goat player, isn't it? Too many goat uh, players in... Giorgione plays goat and Edison. I think he's topped multiple Edison events. Multiple, huh? Because I, I, th I think he topped um, deck dev 3 and something else, but... Neat. Well, there's a lot. Of, there's enough set cards for this to be a long match. That's for sure. Oh, if this boy. is like Hero B versus an Avarice deck, I understand why it's in game three. Oh, turn one of time, it seems. My god. Whatever. I need a sec. <laughs> Bonjourno. <laughs> like Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> Arrivederci. <laughs> three. They're, they only go zero, one, two, three. That's interesting. Alright, so this is turn two, it would seem. Turn two of time, and they're both at 8k. I mean, it would stink to <laughs> go into the third t the third game, approaching time, and draw like zero monsters. <laughs> it might be what happened to Death Grip. Yeah, we'll see who's sighted in Secret Barrel. <laughs> Magic Cylinder. Anything that can make Android really quickly, <laughs> you have the advantage in time. Ah, that's disgusting. But wait, Joy Boy said earlier the first person to take damage will lose. I don't. I don't know what well, you're talking about. I think, I think that's like after turn three, if you're still tied on life points, maybe. Oh. I have no idea. That's a total guess for me. Man. People should have like sideboarded some weird time rules. To, I okay, guess so this is turn one according to the Android players. and the extra kind of solves that issue though. So at the end of turn one, Death Grip is down 1,500 life points. Everyone, be sure to like the stream. Like the stream if you support time rules and their toxic impact on the game. Ben says she nearly bought, brought Burn Frog. Well, I, I guess you're feeling pretty stupid now, aren't you, Ben? <laughs> Should have brought Burn Frog. You're the one in time. Play Burn Frog, just like stall and burn. Yeah, that sounds horrible. Oh, I should be looking at this instead of looking at the bracket. Wait, no, I don't need to because these two play really, really slow. <laughs> They're checking something, which might be a ruling. This is like turn two of the game, right? What's going on? What was it? Did, did, did George Yoni went first? So Jorboy says 
Death Grip only has his next turn. Dear one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Death Grip has to get Georgiani below 6,500 on this next turn, or else there's, like, no way that he can win. Good luck with that. What does it end at the end of Giorgione's turn? Yeah, it ends, at, it ends at the end of Giorgione's next turn. I feel like we should have given people an hour. But I don't make the rules. I'm gonna end phase dust and oppression. What the thing we... is, like, when, like, uh, at the death of. Oh, His giant this... true name? No. That is wild. That is wild. What could this be? <laughs> I don't you dare solemn that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, can't <laughs> you cannot solemn. 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 You actually have to side out solemn going into game three because that card is actually useless. What? Super Polly. No, I, I hope it's brain what? control. That would be so funny. He confused with his face You're just down. Just summoning Ab Zero here, just because it's hard to deal with and still do damage through. That's hilarious. Okay. In defense mode to play around brain control, you gotta love. Man, that was such a bad play. If it weren't if it weren't for time rules. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like I'm gonna go insanely mad. You cannot get my life points lower. <laughs> what is this matchup? Why is what he is... a giant true name? Okay. Yo, if he has He's searching out a hero, he has to somehow special summon. I'm... I have what? no clue. What is the plan here? Well, he, actually, he can brain con and just hit for 18. Yeah, but then you're still lower. You're right, because the brain con. If he has mind con, mind con would have done it. <laughs> mind con actually would have done it, yes. This is game over. Yeah, he, yeah. George and I can just end his turn right here. That's game over. If you thought you had another turn, what were you trunating for? Whatever. Well, uh, Ace of Spades, he's saying, like, since it was summoned that turn... If he got brained, he wouldn't be able to attack with the Ab Zero. Why are you playing out your Dark you Calling? You wouldn't be able to change its. Uh, uh, yeah, you, couldn't, you couldn't swap it. You would have to have Mind Con. And hit for I don't three. think you can. Because, like, with Mind Control. Can you, can you do that with Mind Control and Hamster? I no, you can't. On that. You can't swap it to turn it someone. Well, you could just Mind Control hit for 18, and then you'd be in the, the win zone. But that's the end of the game. I think they had a weird ruling, actually, where if Hamster summons Raikou, you can actually mind control it, and the other person can flip it. I'm pretty sure you can't. Someone in chat, tell me. I think the... Aris told me this. Aris is full of shit. I'm saying it right now. <laughs> There's no way you could do that. So you might be... Uh, Ace of Space might be right that it doesn't actually play around brain control, even though it definitely should. If rules work the way they should. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it does. Who knows, mind control might be, like, a special case where, like, set monsters or something. I don't know. Nothing is consistent. All right, apparently you can change it. Joy Boy's saying you can change it. I don't know. That's so weird. Why the hell can you yeah, change Yeah, only it? the turn player can't change it, which is weird. That's stupid. <laughs> Bad rule. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Is this, is this round done yet? Who's... It looks like everyone's done. That should be the last one. It was some kind of... That guy was playing Dark Gaia. It's a shame he lost. That is a shame. Carpath is noob. No problem. Hey, I got a 100% on the rules quiz on the Edison Format website. <laughs> that basically qualifies me to be a judge. Wait, isn't defense worse versus Dark Calling? Because they can change no. it to attack anyway. Why would that be worse? That's just the same thing. I guess it's the same, world. yeah. It's the same, right. But I was thinking it was, um, it's worse versus Black Rose. Because Black Rose would turn it to zero attack. <laughs> okay, but how the how is he making Black Rose and how is he getting a plant and grave? Someone is apparently uh, still in game one, according to Fen. Who is someone? Every game is done. Simply Foolish Burial, Debris Dragon. Easy. <laughs> There's no, everything is reported. Is this? Am I being gaslit, Fen? Fen? Are you you lying to me here? Are you trolling me? Look, the pairings are up for next round. There's no way I'm. Carpet, you should mod me in your chat. <laughs> I, I can do that. I'm, I'm <laughs> modding Beast Bros chat or something. 
We don't need moderation yet. Wow. Haven't seen any slurs yet. <laughs> now you're gonna tease them. <laughs> now someone's gonna post one. Yeah. Why did it you bring this up? <laughs> Let's watch MMF. I wanna watch MMF. Nope. I don't see them on. Well, they're supposed to play. Wait, are they not like online? Or. They might be on a different. Uh. TV name? I don't know. Who's their opponent? Oh, wait. Round three. We have round three now. Yeah, we've been looking at round three. Oh, I haven't been. <laughs> Sizzle? Who is Sizzle? I'm gonna do... Oh, we could do... Mm, no, I am going to watch game. MMF. <laughs> it's it's where, been decided. Where, where, who are they playing? Sizzle. Oh. Who is Sizzle? MMF usually has some really cool decks. Don't worry, if their deck is lame, we can move on. But I think, uh, actually, I think in tournaments, they usually play Blackwing, though. <laughs> if it's Blackwing, we'll watch someone else. Carl but they do White. have a lot of really cool builds. Is Carl White playing in the Edison tournament? That's Carl cool. Waite, yeah. Pro Waite. His name is Waite? I thought it was... Okay, never mind. All the, you're learning so much about pronunciation today. I'm learning all of the wrong pronunciations thanks to you, Snack. You're welcome. Is is this match started yet? MF's not even online. I don't know what the hell's going on. Is Sizzle... Is Sizzle's DB name Sizzle, or are they one of these people who... One of these animals with a just completely different DB name? Hmm. Ooh, Gwari's playing. Yeah, I think I saw they were playing. What are they? Are they just saw on Hero Beat or Frogs or something? Probably one of the two. Tengu plant format. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not clicking on that today. <laughs> today we play Edison. It is Hero Beat, it looks like. <clears throat> Hero Beat versus Fairies? Alright, I'm officially tired of waiting for MMF. Who else is there? Sultai, Tree Hero, Phil. Is there a good matchup here? I don't know. Fairies are pretty hype. <laughs> yep versus Chico is a good one. Oh, that is a good one. That's got fairies that, in it. That's Bayou versus Fairy, yeah. Wait, I don't think they started. We could see what Rodox playing. I bet him always oh, playing the field spell deck. Let's go. Okay. So, Gear Town. Gear Town Frogs? It's, it's Frogs, but with Gear Town, yeah. I don't remember what his latest build looks like. He played it at the Peak of the Beak, right? Something like this? He played a build at Peak of the Beak. It was like Frog KFC. I don't remember if he played this one. Oh, maybe he played this one too. But... You, you'd think that field spells would conflict with uh, Treeborn. You'd be right. So I don't play this deck. Solex. You just main Solex. That's wild. That's a way to get a lad. Oh. Well, and it negates the saying in effect. <laughs> it does negate the saying in effect. Is there gonna be a chain like three bottomless though? No, don't prompt him, Ronok. He might out your lap. <laughs> you don't have to ask. Just go battle phase and hit. Oh. Ronok is apparently maining lad in Soul Exchange. I don't know what year it is, but... That's a thing. It's also Gear Towns, so, you know. Gear <laughs> We're simultaneously in 2010 and... In 2022. Year Town's pretty hype. Challenge Link? I posted it. Oh, okay. It's a good thing somebody did. It's a good thing somebody reads the chat, because I don't. <laughs> the chat can wait, simple. 
All right. So no, there's just some back row. Was there no attack on that last turn? It was a Solex. Oh, you're right. I'm. I, you ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't play Solex, so. I mean. I always get thrown off. By I that. empathize with not playing Solex. The only time I ever lose the battle phase is if I use Ancient Fairy Dragon's effect. This is pretty good. You get to mill, and you just eat it. What? You're also playing Solex? What even? What is this deck? What deck is that that plays? It looks like zombies. But Solex with a, in a, like a tomato deck? I can't think of what it is. It's just, just like a random one-off Solex with three Kai's. I don't and... know. And Trooper? You can play Trooper and no, Zombies. I, I it's have like no acceptable. idea what Death is. It's not great, but it's acceptable. It could be Zombies, but Solex and Zombies still seems kind of wild. Uh, Maybe Solex and Econ? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Solex. So is... Solex, so you can Solex and Econ tribute one of their monsters to take the other one. And then summon <laughs> Kaius and get rid of the third one. <laughs> <laughs> The Seems slab's very. It's getting kind of small. It's a puny lad. It gets back Gadgeltron, though. Think about how good. That's like so much better than what you would bring back in frogs. It's funny, you know, like. This lad doesn't seem to have traded with that many cards. Normally, it, it trades with a couple. <laughs> Actually, normally, it just gets outed easily, let's be honest. Oh, <laughs> like Bayou or Quick Draw or something. Yeah. Normally the lad gets eaten by something. <laughs> this is why no one plays the lad. Just run it over. Yeah, it just got like killed by a tomato. R.I.P. But he does get back Gadgetron. That, that's pretty good. Joy Boy is leaving until talk cut. Lame. Oh my god. Creature swap! Gotcha, Wait, this buddy. Might the, this might be the tomato ah. deck that uh, plays like lots of creature swap and stuff. Isn't that a deck? No. <laughs> like the macro deck? Why didn't he can... attack? Um, what? He already, he already attacked the lad. That oh, time. okay. Never mind. Never mind. All is well. Well, why did you creature swap then? I guess... I'm not even... So you can summon another monster and give you that one instead? I guess. Well, Thanks, Joy Boy. You can just hit over this dupe for some brain. Ooh. Brain the dupe? I swear. You... This would better be a good play. Hit the back row? You better hit a back row. <laughs> okay, okay, it's all okay. good. <laughs> it's all good, he knows what he's doing. This this might be a treacherous. Oh my god! <laughs> you that is so unfortunate. That is, oh, oh my god! He has road. What? That this is a nuts. This is absolutely. What is your nuts. deck? You're playing. This is an amazing choice of a match. No, to it's. Watch. it's... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Just completely random shit. What is going on? Is, you, is this a Highlander? Dude, no, this wait, is this, like... This, this could be so much damage, right? This is lethal. It is lethal. Anything over 600 kills. Uh... Oh, no, he could... He, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait. Anything over 500 it, kills. Anything over 400. Or, yeah. No, no, no. 500. 500. <laughs> Right? Don's a Lug, what? <laughs> it's a tomato target. <laughs> it's a bad tomato target. Dude, this entire deck is just like tomato stuff. Like it's it's just a tomato deck. What's the right? win con? <laughs> tomato? C creature swap. Creature swap is your win con? It's, you're probably playing Mark of the Rose in here, right? End phase MST? You start us that every time, yeah. He knows. Bring it back. Oh wait, there's Twilight Road, never mind, I'm dumb. Just cheat, just cheat, just cheat, no one will notice. Simply cheat. We've seen one back row so far, and the one back row is Starlight Road. What is this gonna do? This... 
I, I don't know. Do you have another fader? Does he have another fader? I better have another fader. So he is playing Treeborn in this field spell frog deck. I mean, you gotta play Treeborn. You did not just tribute your Caius for another Caius. Oh, even worse. Okay. Okay, that's funny. That is. Really Why are you funny. playing Thestalos? <laughs> what is this deck? You can't just put hit random. The fader, hit the oh man! Imagine if he hit a fader out of the hand. <laughs> that would have been amazing. You, just, you can't just shove random it's stuff like, in the deck. Like what is going tomato on? Tomato hand control. <laughs> tomato hand control. That sounds like the worst thing ever, and it's winning. Okay, so he's losing that card up his hand. Maybe it's Gore's drag. Maybe it's Gore's. You're wrong. Aren't you just like? Oh, it's another lad. You play two lad. <laughs> you're. Wrong. See, I was thinking I would almost just like scoop right here rather than show that I'm playing two lad. <laughs> no, Ronok believes he'll top deck the Dark Dust Spirit or something. I don't know. That would be pretty nuts. Deck is a meme. Also, sub does it. Sort of. Oh, oh, ah, I said it! Oh my god! I spoke it into existence. <laughs> this game. Oh, is it back? Oh, so oh, long. Damn. That's just no fair. There's nothing it could have top decked. That, imagine if it was another road. <laughs> if it was another road, that would have been... The, the second Starlight Road. <laughs> this deck is a meme? Absolutely, this deck is a meme. I can't believe he actually topped like, the best card and it didn't matter. <laughs> like the stream of Casper Groves playing the new best deck of the format. <laughs> it's so true. Absolutely ridiculous. He has every out. Yeah, because he plays every card. I don't... <laughs> Just draw them at the right time and not at the wrong time, or... I don't know. That's wild. I can't believe I just saw that happen. It's, it's literally like tomato hand control. It's, it's just literally like a Reaper format deck. Yeah, honestly, like, unironically, it is very it's like, close to a Reaper format like, like, deck. It's like Strike Ninja, but without the Strike Ninjas. It's, it, it's actually, like, scary close to Reaper decks. <laughs> He had the Reaper in there, so... Reaper, Don's Luke, Tomato, Creature Stop looks very Reaper-y to me. Even Solex is a Reaper card. Solex, Festivals. And Thestalos. Yeah, like, th those are all Reaper, <laughs> Reaper formats. Just, like, took a deck from Reaper form and made it in Edison. <laughs> okay, but what if in Edison... The Starlight Run was, like, the only non-Reaper card we saw. <laughs> we saw Kai. A card trooper. Card trooper, too. We saw Kai. Okay, okay, okay. Forget that. <laughs> Take it all back. Pana saying I lost to this too. <laughs> Man, some some top tier players getting taken out by Tomato. Yeah. I mean, if it's completely unpredictable, that is an advantage. It's not unpredictable, it's predictably dumb. I mean the Festalus was pretty unpredictable. <laughs> Alright, I didn't see the Festalus come off. Oh my god. See, this was completely predictable. He plays Donzalug and Reaper. Okay, he's got Fader. Never mind. Never mind, Ronox got it all figured out. I wonder if he's playing New Doria. <laughs> Sark? What are you Sark for, bro? I would play New Doria in here, 100%. Okay. Sark for Brain Con. Sark just to get Brain Con. Why not? Brain Con's pretty good. You contribute for That's Festivals. That's honestly, like, totally fair. There's so many times when you just literally cannot play around Brain Control. Often you, like, can't commit a single card to the board. because I don't brain feel control. like it's worth to just throw Sark in a deck because of brain control. Cliff yeah, the trap the remover? Brain control with the Sark. Someone has suggested Cliff the trap remover. I've played that in progression. <laughs> and in goat format. I played this tomato deck in progression. But mine had Strike Ninja in it. That sounds pretty based. Oh, Black Garden. This is a Carpath Classic. Garden's a sick card, actually. I don't remember if this version has Kuraz in it, though. Tiny Gores. Tiny Gores, yeah. It's a lot better when you can out your own garden to revive Kuraz, but you can just revive a Monarch, too, so, like, I guess it's fine. Just revive, like, Kai's. Anyway. 
Garden's great for this exact because like you use it with the Gadgetron to play around Gores, and uh, yeah, yeah, and like it, it becomes extremely hard for them also to clear your monsters. Also, stops them from like yeah, like clapping back on your field without outing it. Yeah, the first thing they have to do. <laughs> it's really good versus frogs too. They can't like make any play without just giving you a bunch of tokens. It's scary to play that on an empty board and they just like fill your board with the rose tokens. <laughs> yeah, but you play a bunch of tribute monsters. True. You just like summon Karaz and pop two tokens or something. Yeah, that'd be pretty good actually. It's like pot of greed or something at that point. Like, you pretty much can't clog yourself. You play double Gadgetron plus Titanium plus triple Curse. And, and with tuners, too. Like, if you can get close, you can sink them all. Yeah. Someone's messing It's not like Goat where the Yojama lock is a bigger deal. Is Top Cut streaming tomorrow? Or is that going to still be today? They're talking about it being a single day, but I don't know. I think they said maybe, wow. All right, so he is on the Ancient Gear Engineer. You can summon this off Gear Town, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Ronok just picks a random engine and throws frogs in. Yeah, that's, that's basically accurate. So this can out the back row. Oh wait, that's just that's just game though because of the casual tron over the token. That's funny. That's clever. <laughs> Using Garden to summon. This is another target. <laughs> another reason Garden's great with casual tron. Yeah. You can just, like, keep hitting them for a bunch of damage, even if they set guys. Yeah, 2200 every turn. Someone's asking if I'll be in YCS Philly. No. Alright, T-set on turn one from Casper Grove. Is it a tomato? Is it not a tomato? Is it a set Donzalug? <laughs> Yo, imagine they like summon swap and hits and it's just a Donzalug. I was thinking that exactly, <laughs> but I don't think you do that. I mean, you would but never, thing is, you would never attack. But then if you like, go swap and then you just send and bounce it back, then you're still punished the same way. Because <laughs> then I just flip it and attack you. All right, there's gonna be a gear town over a gear town into a, well, we don't know what this is. Flip, okay, it's engineer. That's interesting. Imagine if you could get beast off of gear town. That would just be the dumbest, stupidest thing in the world. Who's the other person doing commentary? No one. No one important. <laughs> it's me, uh, Snack. It's Snack. And yes. From Crow's uh, Nest. The channel is Crow's Nest Yu-Gi-Oh. I thought it's Crow's Nest Retro Yu-Gi-Oh. Wait, am I... Eh, I think that's correct, actually. <laughs> I'm on my own tag. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were activating right I'm like, you can't wreck that. <laughs> you should be able to find it if you just search up Crow's Nest, Yu-Gi-Oh, or Retro Yu-Gi-Oh. Gonna summon Kai's main too. Wow, that's that. That was so cool. <laughs> he outed the frog with the the guy, and then just Kai's the same. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. It's like a jank unifrog. That's why I never <laughs> side rogue. I hate this card. They just get rid of it. No, this card is better than unifrog. You get it off Gear Town, and it's fifteen.
All right. Is there? And they can't. They can't like deprison it either. So it's like guaranteed to hit something. <laughs> yeah, they can't. They can't battle trap it. It's pretty good. Pretty funny. <laughs> All right, they say they found your channel. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Now, you've got to think Casper has Cyber Dragon sighted in. Maybe. Maybe he doesn't even side it. Can't get it off Tomato. Why would you side it? <laughs> All right, terraforming again. Tomato. Get another Gadgetron. You know, Garden is really good versus the Recruiters. They just wow. go Recruiter, and you get a token to hit over whatever they're summon. Yeah. Alright, it's not a garden, though. It's a Reaper! Ooh, Ooh. That's gonna counter the Gadgetron a bit. Okay, he can make swap. Bounce oh, the interesting. Caius. Just... He can go swap bounce Just Caius. using it as a free summon there. Yeah, I mean... It's pretty neat. This is the cool way of playing Gadgetron. You know. Small brain people use it in, like, aggro decks. Big brain people use it in control decks. <laughs> Did he search- he searched on another gear town, or...? I don't know what he searched. Because if he did, that means, like, when this goes, he can just revive it back from the grave. That's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, they're both down there. He only plays one and one, I think. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I don't I don't think you'd play two gear You should, you should actually, like, bring in Crow versus Roanoke. You can mess with his gear towns. <laughs> True. Alright, Kai is gonna be summoned. That outs the dupes. That's pretty funny. If you played Sacred Crane in a garden deck, you could revive it and draw one. <laughs> the issue is Sacred Crane is so bad. Yeah, there's, like, not enough ways to special summon it. Maybe, if, what if it was, like, 1,500? Yeah, I mean, it, there's a reason why it's not a Shining Angel target. <laughs> if, if Crane was, like, 800, you could play some, like, Shining Angel garden deck. Soul release. Uh, <laughs> now, is it okay? Is the target? You no, know, he's gonna get rid of all the Gear Town targets and the Tree Borns. <laughs> is, oh, oh, wait, he screwed the, it up. What the hell? Is the targeting good? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not targeting any of the Gear Town things. Why? I think you should hit. What? That's. Was no, it, no, oh, no. One of them was already banished. Okay. He should have gotten rid of both of them, though. The Gear Town would be dead. I think. Uh, getting rid of the swaps is fine because then, like, he can't add the swap from grave, I guess. Yeah, but Gear Town would be dead. See, he had to go no effect there. He might have a swap in hand. I feel like between Gear Town and Dupe, you would rather stop Gear Town. Um, yeah, but getting an engineer, and like, that's not that bad. He's got a Caius. So I'm not sure how much he's worried about engineer. You should be worried about Engineer. <laughs> play like some Synchro deck with the, the Gear Town and just use it as a fodder for... As a five? Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of sick. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You use it as a five in a cat deck. In like the you, field spell can, cat deck. Then you can make eights. <laughs> so yeah, you have Garden Cat, which can already do the cat play really consistently. But you also play Gear Towns, which gives you free little fives for Arabellum. I like it. <laughs> Alright, I'll build it. That actually sounds kind of sick. <laughs> you could what? go, you could go Gear Town, set Garden over it, activate Roanoke. Garden, and then do the whole play. Might play two Swap. Yeah, it's possible. I think he usually plays three. Creature Swap, that's so good. He's gonna get the Don's Oh no, it's over. <laughs> Oh, no. This tomato dick is kind of taking names today. Tomato pile. There's, like, no... <laughs> I don't understand. It's, it's, it's just tomato it's control. Tomato deck. <laughs> it looks so, like, power crept, but somehow... Hmm. Rodok should have taken some damage there, right? Oh, he took a yeah. thousand. Okay, never mind. Do we know what the set card is? He should tell the stream. <laughs> what the set card is? I... I have no, no clue. 
Can't be Treeborn or Dupe. Watch well, it be like Could Morphing be... Jar. This deck is kind of disgusting. The third dupe. <laughs> Why didn't he? Of the tomato. Where's the Don Zalug? Maybe he sided it out. No shot you side out Don Zalug. The hand ripping is so good versus Frog. Maybe he's scared of Fader. Honestly, Tomato seems awful against Frogs, but because of this kind of stuff. Alright, that was a good play. He's got to at least play Dark Armed in here, right? Yeah, you would think. I, I mean, you've got to play Mark of the Rose, right? Mark of the Rose, Dark Armed. You don't got to play Mark. There's, like, no evidence of, like, any lone fire going on here. You cannot play Mark with just three tomato. That's... But if you play lone fires, then you can. But if he did, he could. But he's not. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> I do know that, actually. Beast! Shut up! What are you doing, Ronak? <laughs> Ronak is the best. Knight and sorcerer? No, you gotta play this card. This is this is like the sixth that's, or seventh that's best tomato card. So targeting. good against frogs. <laughs> this card is actually insanely good against frogs. You gotta main deck this card. It's it's like it's solid. You get it. Knight and sorcerer does work. I played against uh, Yomero the other day, and he was playing a, a, a spellcaster deck with this card. <clears throat> the exemplar one. That is wild. Well, he's going to get back that engineer. That I was assured would not be relevant. <laughs> well, don't you feel ridiculous now? <laughs> well, he's not even gonna get the pop. He's a hundred short of game. What the hell? <laughs> you don't have a monster, Ronak? Should have held he's that gonna, sub in he's here. He's got a limiter on the beast attack. No, he's not. <laughs> <clears throat> Once again, Garden is completely. What, what? the <laughs> Bro, you're not even Under dead. That. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, he actually misclicked. <laughs> ah, we're not trolling. We just misclicked and revealed our hand. Uh, yeah, so I guess there's a Kai's coming down next turn. It'd be That's a lot better hard. if he wasn't under Garden. Yeah, it would be. Unfortunately, all of his monsters are just going to be smaller than than all of his opponent's monsters. But he's yeah, just gonna, like, chill on the defense mode gorge or something. I think. That's, like, the yeah, only Yeah, because it only has their attack, right? Yes. I think. Yeah. Should probably just chill on it until you have some kind of opening. Yeah, Ryan Eyed. Avarice. <laughs> Ryan Eyed saw, saw Yumer and I playing... Exemplar versus Uriah Aliens. How on earth are you playing Avers in this slow ass deck? <laughs> Is it just like a random one off? Is that what's going on? Is everything in this deck a random one off? <laughs> I got no clue what's going on. The Avers seems bad for real though. This was a great match to watch. <laughs> It was something. <laughs> Some insane stuff. Bluff knock, what the fuck did I just click into? You just clicked into a, a match that just represents Edison format. Okay. Just random shit. <laughs> wait, wait. It's halved. He doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. He doesn't know, know. He, he, doesn't know. Know. he doesn't know. No, not like this. Okay. Damaged. <laughs> He doesn't know. Okay. Jeez. Oh, maybe he did know. <laughs> he does know. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just saw you had no plays. He had Rona. Bro, Ro had and... brain gores. That is wild. All right. Yeah, that was over. He could have sat on the defense mode gores and he would have like not died. Yeah. Well, he couldn't know because he contributed the gores and then brain con for lethal. Oh, I guess that would have worked. Normal. Oh, yeah, you know, just getting then... the token on the field. 
would have yeah. killed. Okay. Well, that would do it. Anyway, who's this is actually a pretty early to end match. It sucks to see the tomato deck go down, I guess. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Corinna's 3 and 0. We can watch Alice. Yep, there. beat Chico. Hydro Pump 1. Wait, is MAF there... lost to Sizzle. We're watching up. LWRS, aka Alscare. He's up against someone who's playing Dekoichi, so um, should be an easy dub, honestly. Oh, wait. He's, he's playing Vayu? Never mind. This game is lost. <laughs> is it, uh, what's it called? Black Salvo? Oh, it's like a weird Machina. It's Machina Salvo. Machina Chaos? Machina Salvo Chaos Sworn something. Well, Haskar's up one game. You just play the same mill engine with the Koichi Salvo and the Machinas. It's probably fun. So you crash a Machina. And then you can play a lore the, the sword. Reaper. That's just the end, right? That's just game over. No, wait. He's alive on a thousand. Not quite. Not quite. What could he possibly draw? No limiter. <laughs> Lag, sorry. I don't think there's anything Haskar's drawing that's going to keep him alive here. Uh... Debris Dragon. Machina Self. Debris? You know what? You got a point there. Didn't we figure out that the gear frame doesn't protect if you Black Rose, actually? Yeah, it doesn't. Man, so for a long time actually... we thought it did. Yeah, for a very long time. Kind of doesn't make sense that it does. There, that it works. Oh, <laughs> yep, he says, uh, my match was a precursor to Warly Ground 1. Ring of Destruction versus Get Ragged, because he played Chico. Oh, that's cool. Oh, thank you, uh, Ronok. How many teams are in War League? We saw some hero players earlier. Where are the hero players? We there, saw, we saw multiple hero beat players, yeah. We saw Raikoko was on it, and, and the, the Italian person with the hard to pronounce name. And I think there was another. I think. Oh. Oh, we've seen a couple of I diva like, heroes. I sound like as well. Mystic Elf. <laughs> we've seen Sorry. like at least two diva hero players as well. So definitely some hero decks around. What does Mystical Elf sound like? Me apparently. I don't think Mystical Elf has ever spoken in in any in anime. I I don't think so. I mean, did it, didn't Taya like cosplay as Mystical Elf? Once? I don't I don't know. <laughs> DM was a long was time ago. Where, like, uh, what was his name? I don't even know what his name is. Bakura? No, the, the one guy with the Millennium Ring. He That's was Change of Heart. Yuki was Dark Magician. I thought, no, she was Magician of Faith in that episode, I think. Oh, was she? Yeah. I'm hearing that she was singing in a duel. Alright, so we got a gear frame. Gear frame's pretty good. <laughs> Turns out. Gear frame is just like... A very strong card. I, I think this Machina deck is absolutely legit. I know Machina you're not deck. a huge fan. It's like good enough. <laughs> I don't know. Is Mystical Elf looks Celtic, right? I have. I I I don't know. I guess Celtic Guardian is is Celtic. Yeah. Why isn't she Celtic Elf then? Huh. <laughs> But they're both like elves. Because Celtic Guardian's got the ears. Right? He's got like pointy ears. I'm sure he does. Anyway, we got a bunch of back row being set. We got an allure being activated. Haskar has been saying that, uh. He's been playing a lot with Vayu, and he said the deck I feel is bad for him. I don't know. It always feels a little bit mid to me. Hmm. 
but I think the deck is pretty good. Both Vayu Trenchling and... A, Trenchling a card trooper? Both Vayu and Mach and I would just call, like, pretty Wait, good. what's going on here? Uh, he torrentialed the trooper. It's not a terrible torrential. You go one for one and you avoid taking a bunch of damage. Ooh, well, it must not have been because... <sighs> this is oh. a questionable solemn and gets solemn back. Not often you see the Judgment Wars. I don't think I... I, think, I think there's no way out of solemn that, but... I mean... Mm. <laughs> I can make graveyards. Then again, your solemn is just going to get solemned eventually, unless... There's some of a good chance that... that... Loof Bone has some way of getting Machina Fortress on field. Yeah. So he does. Now, an, anything more than 1,500. Oh. Looks like we're but playing around force, Starlight Road. Do you have a Machina Force here? Pitching. Force Normal Summon? That would be so toxic. <laughs> yeah, Force Normal Summon would be disgusting. Force Summon Gear Frame. Or summon. Oh my god, this too. Oh no. And Okay, okay, he's Okay, alive. Just, just that. Okay, whew. That was really scary. He's still not a great Ooh, spot. probably like a Raikou. Especially if this is Raikou Hamster. Storm. Okay, Alright, that okay. outs the fortress. That's a way to get rid of it without losing much. Okay. <laughs> Having the out for fortress is good. Now they're both getting kind of low in life. <laughs> Isn't Celtic Guardian her baby daddy? <laughs> uh, maybe maybe Mystical Elf talked in 5Ds as a dual spirit in the spirit realm? I wouldn't know. I didn't watch much of the anime, honestly. Uh, I don't think she's in the 5Ds anime at all. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay. Come on now, Scare. Well, they're looking pretty even right now. He's just got to get a Sirocco in the grave. This is not looking good, though. He could just die to something here. Yeah, gear frame, force, any of those draws is pretty... Normal summon to Koichi. <laughs> <laughs> Normal summon to Koichi. That is the traps hard. are all bottomless. Well, one bottomless is gone, so I don't think that's particularly likely. <laughs> this game has been in a state of, like, it could end at any second for a long time. If this card is Dekoichi, I'm going to be mad he didn't normal summon an attack. Into three back row, though? I don't know. I don't know. It might not actually be worth it to normal no, no, attack. No. They're all fake. They're, they're all... One is, one is bottomless, at, and the other two are Book of Moon. At least one of them is fake, yeah. He's gonna have to end up Book of Mooning it like he's <laughs> playing progression. Bottomless for... Book of Moon, <laughs> Trap Dust Shoot. Oh, you. Yeah, there was, there was. <laughs> you cowardly. <laughs> oh my god. I'd have gone for it 100%. Watch. Okay, he's got deep prison. See, see? No, so no. Now no. you got the. Now you can use your book to book your Dekoichi back down. <laughs> oh, okay. No. So, see, setting it was correct there. No, I, you gotta go for it. You would have ran into the D prison. <laughs> you gotta go for it. There's no excuse. Go for it. Just do it. Uh, let me look at something. One is Rush Recklessly, and the other two are Toy Magician. I played Toy Magician when I was like 10 years old. How scared? How scared is playing Reaper, last I heard. So, this could stall out a few turns for him. If that's what yeah, it is. If that's Reaper. And if the opponent doesn't have a Caius. All right, setting the monster. And if there's not a right go to remove it, <laughs> wishful thinking. And if um, well, there's no more judgment, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, okay. Raiko on the set monster. Oh, is a hamster. Nice. nice. Oh, there we go. There's a. <laughs> nope. There's <laughs> He's a... got the Taroko Bayou. That's so freaking. Oh. He already had the Bayou, but Fla yeah. Flashback to Yep. Yeah. For this real. is just like that game with Yep. 
What do I know about the Toy Magician? I played Toy Magician. I'm telling you. I pulled it from uh, from some Duelist Genesis pack. Okay, that hits the bottom. And I just like put it in my deck, and my friend always space typhooned my Toy Magician. Just always. Oof. Does he have a burial? Because that would be pretty awesome. The OG. Uh, artifact. Burial. <laughs> just really... clearing the Raikou with your own Raikou. Raikou over Raikou feels so wrong. All right, you're dead to a fifteen hundred normal summon. That'll be. So I would be kind of concerned about that. Gear frame is crazy too. Gear frame or force yeah. at any point. There's a mirror force still, so maybe he's got that. Yep isn't yep. Mm -hmm. It's yup. Wait, it's yep a. Uh? Yepa. I'm not calling him Yepa. Yepa. I'll call him Yepa. I'm gonna call him Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so that gets bottomless. But then what do you have for the force? Or for, for the fortress? Oh, you oh, are dead no. as shit. Okay, That's book, book, it. book, 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 book. It's you gotta... have to have honest. Oh, yeah, please be book. <laughs> no, it's over. Oh, uh, that was game three? Yeah, it was game three. Yeah. Alright, well. What was it? We got book, eight minutes till time. Had, it couldn't have been book, because if it was book, I think he books the armed wing, probably. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Who do we got left here? Corinna's done already? Corinna needs to stop winning. What's going on? She just wins too fast. Wins too fast. Ghost Rider? Hydra's done. All right, Coco. Blah, blah, blah. Who are who? Voldemort. Gwari, we can watch Gwari. We can watch Fen. <laughs> we gotta watch one Fen game. Where's Gwari? She... Oh, there he is. Uh, Tengu plant. <laughs> Gwari needs to seriously like fix his name. What is? He's got like <laughs> ten of them, and they're all just ads for different bad formats that no one plays, except this one. <laughs> Tengu is a good format. But... Now his Discord name is like an ad for a completely different card game. What? <laughs> Just have a name, dude. What, what is going on? <laughs> Alright, anyway, Gwari's playing... Hero. Hero. The opponent's playing Fairy. It's one-to-one. -one. He's gonna steal the Ab Zero. Oh my god. That... Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's pretty but good. It's not that insane, because if, it, if the Ab Zero ever leaves the field... Yeah. To watch your opponent's board. It's probably gonna hit into a deep prison right now. Or a mirror. Or a snowman. Okay, it is a snowman. Can well, you, you outed his track. field. You, it was a two for two, basically. Unfortunately, you would rather have a good normal summon here. It's gonna hit with honest. If one of these is decree. You're Solomon the Honest. Hmm, we are judgmenting the summon. So the, honest. the other one is absolutely nothing that stops a monster. Maybe the other one's Decree and he just wanted to use his judgment. I can kind of see that. Yeah. That's assuming he brought in Decree. He has one in the graveyard. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I, I, and I'm seeing the Caius. This is your build of fairies. Pretty based. Yeah, so that we know that the back row are generally not real. <laughs> He's played several real ones. He has a mirror torrential book judgment. Yeah, but, well, okay, but <laughs> there's like all of them <laughs> in your whole deck. There could be a return set, although it's not live. That's true too. We yeah, have return. I also play call. Right, he's gonna light him. Does he have that decree or no? He does have it. He actually he's just drew one. it. Yeah, the one he just drew. Damn, that's really good though. If these are all traps, Guari's essentially on two cards. <laughs> well, if he has a Gemini Spark, Guari's fine. Yeah, but he's only got one left in deck. Ooh, that's a pretty big one. Banishing. Now return. Doesn't do anything. He's, He's got one anything. miracle left. Yeah. You want to just, like, draw more monsters, which is what he drew, so... This is kind of the fairy game plan. 
If the fairies can run them out of monsters. There's one miracle left, and, like, no alias is left. He might actually think... just win because he's out of gas on the... Yeah, but <laughs> that happens a lot with Hero Beat. Actually... There's probably a second Dyna, I think. Ooh, Do you even have two targets, two targets in deck? I am questioning whether you have two either. Yeah, yeah Ocean. Okay, well, maybe Ocean, Ocean plus Dyna is that can make Gaia. Oh my god, he doesn't. Does he have it? Does he have Ocean Dyna? Is that what it is? He's got Ocean. Ocean? Okay, he has Ocean Dyna. <laughs> wow, we called it. Whew. That was a close one. Well, now that's two more monsters you can't that's draw. Almost bad. It's almost <laughs> yeah, bad. I feel like you would rather just leave them in deck. Because what is this Gaia actually going to do? It's not going to out the field. It's not ab zero. Like, if, like, as soon as Brahim poke out Gaia, like, is there anything Quarry has left? You can just spend the rest of the game setting monsters. Uh, does he have a Hero Blast and Call of the Haunted don't do anything either? There's a decree. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And if none of those back row removed decree, then flip summoning this. He, is just, cl he just clogged his last zone too. It's very odd to me that he flip summoned this and attacked. This just puts yourself in danger for no reason at all. But what is he gonna? I guess the, another honest. He's all got right. an honest in deck. So if he can null summon a monster and flip this and attack for game, it'd be pretty good. As soon as guy comes down. It, can do 22 to any attack position monster. He could summon Enrise. <laughs> Enrise is live. Christia is live too. So imagine summoning Christia right before the Gaia comes down. <laughs> that would be brutal. Now Christia's dead. If you had Christia, you'd have summoned. All right, do you have lethal? 19 plus 28 does it. It's 47. You should attack with Goyo first. Alright, he understands. It's over! Wow! Yo, Chaos Fairy is taking the dub. Extremely based. Congratulations to Brom Poke. I, I don't know what's <laughs> going on with people's names, man. <laughs> One is called two, exclamation point 2011 10. the exclamation point is only there so you can be at the top of the online user screen by the way <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway this is, we got like one minute till time who isn't done a, a disturbing number of people aren't done <laughs> oh man who do we want to watch wait isn't ro done though is this updated how did ro not report yet what's going on there all right we're in round three I Oh, poor you lost. That's sad. Right, Coco. Fen isn't done, yo. <laughs> it's time. Fen versus Beats Beats. Should we do it? Should we not do it? I don't know. She's gonna be mad at me if I click on it. <sighs> Weighing my options. Who's uh, who else is there? Who else we got? Everyone's Ghost Rider, maybe? Nope, Ghost Rider is done. Maybe. Who are these two? Let me just see what these guys are playing. Well, I don't know what their usernames actually are. Alright, you know what? It's time. We're watching Fen. Fen is like in time right now, right? Or is time to call? Oh, time is called right now. Oh no. Oh no. Fen's on less life. She's got to do it. Is this a frog mirror? Oh my god. It's a cursed frog mirror. Oh. Looks like. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. The 45 minute time. Fen needs to. Do 22 or 21 or something. She's got two Junk Synchrons gone. She's got... They're only giving them three turns? 
God, I hate time rolls. <laughs> Beast Beats was there when your son was born? <laughs> what? I mean, I guess that's cool. Interesting knowledge being shared. Man, we're up to like 80 viewers. 80 viewers. Everyone liked the stream. We should have 80 likes. And that's how the math works in my head anyway. Let's see. What could Fen have? Is she on triple junk synchron? Man, we got too many frog players on our team now. It's we have many. It's becoming, uh, it's becoming a serious social ill within the crow team <laughs> i would guess that she has more than two junk synchron in her deck we need some kind of like counseling or or something to <laughs> <laughs> so, some Make intervention stop. for frogs like play something else please team <laughs> smash that like button if you like watching fen think I hope I don't get any angry messages for watching her on stream. I figure it doesn't count after we're in time. It's not real Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. If she loses in time, we can't even really like blame her for that. That's just dumb. All right, Junk Synchron's being summoned. T-Roar is like the worst case scenario here. The T-Roars could probably get really dumb. Frog addiction is socially encouraged and beno is a socially encouraged and beneficial practice. You're so wrong. You are so wrong, viewer. Sorry, what's going on? <laughs> She's summoning a Junk uh, Synchron. Frog addiction is socially encouraged. That's Ronok <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't recognize it. It's got yeah, some different now, username. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> you know what? I understand now. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known it was a Ronok account. Beast Beats is thinking. I feel like his back row is probably like Book of Moon or something. Nope, just thumbs upping. So you can go Brio bounce both. I don't know. What do you do? Like Brio target the Prio target the monster and then go for the back row or something. Not sure. She's oh, going for a Quizos. That's kind of base. Oh wait, Brio is gone. Never mind. All right. That or Quizos is based. Hmm. I feel like this... So this does 2,000, which is just enough. If this is anything, it's not doing anything. Yeah. This is just enough to... Put... Yeah, okay, I don't... so it's Brooke. I'm not sure about that play. I'm not sh uh, What did she have as an alternative, though? Couldn't she have put this Vestalos to attack, by the way? Probably should have. Just to clear everything, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. What? Now she puts it to attack. Maybe she was playing around. Is there a Mirror Force gone? That's what it was. She was playing around Mirror Force. I don't know if you can afford to play around Mirror Force. Yeah. Wait, so what turn was that? That was turn zero. Okay. So that's not or too something. bad. She, she has to get him lower on turn two. She's got another turn. Yep. But then she has to also weather crops this turn. Oh, I turned myself invisible by accident. All right. Dark dust would be insane, yes. Think. I just... Does Fen play dark arm? Oh, it's dead. Brain is gone. I don't even know what you need. Ben needs like some kind of econ into Caius. Econ would be pretty sick. You could actually 
run it to whatever it is, and if it doesn't run it over, econ take it. <laughs> kind of funny. Whew. Well, they're both big thinking because of time rules and whatnot. Things are going to get super weird in the next two turns. That being said, frog players hover in their standby phase too long, and we can't allow them to get away <laughs> with this. <laughs> what if they're tough? Because they, they often have to think about like their entire turn from start to finish in their standby phase. <laughs> no, I have no sympathy. Play a different deck. All right. Well. The Urquizos is just going to die. Yeah, it's only got 400 defense. And then... But... Oh, that's probably game over. Mm, let me think. Banish, take... That depends on what her set is. Whose Thestalos is this? Wait, we know the th we know the set is Urquizos. Yeah, wait. It'll just get hit over by the swap, though. Exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. I don't think Fen. Oh. Fen needs like a big play here. Then you bounce the Thessalus. Yeah, that's really bad. So now he's got. Oh. Hmm. This might even burn too. Yep, yeah, 200 more. You're down 17. Just to make up the 17 and then survive Crops' turn without getting her life points lowered. Yeah, that doesn't Seems look too good. Ve very unlikely. Not looking good for our hero. Okay. Yeah, it's over. Well, unfortunate for Fen there. Gonna die in time. Is that the last one? No, we still got more of these. More of these slow players. Oh, wait. Okay, Fen's done. Is the Poke Raptors match is done? Let's check. Looks like they're done too. Alright, I think everyone should be done. So. Hopefully we can figure out what happened to get round four pairings up in a second here. Oh, round four pairings are up. Who do we want to watch? Rodok or Skia? I want to watch someone I haven't watched yet. Yeah. Let me look. We could do Phil. Um, we could do oh, a true hero. Do... Shannon. Dimitri. <sighs> Do we want to see more frogs? <laughs> I know, right? There's been so many frogs this tournament. Xeris? Have you seen Xeris? Xeris versus Rykoko? Alright, we can watch that one, I guess. We have watched Rykoko. We have. Alright, this is a weird ass Xeris salt. It's called Booty. <laughs> Ooh, that's not his alt, that's his main. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's always been his uh, suspect. His name. I would simply pick a better name. Well, we're waiting for him to start.
any second now. <laughs> I guess people will go do shit between matches and stuff. Who do we think has got it between Zerus and Raikoko? Do we know what Zerus is playing? Is it just zombies? It's probably zombies. I've only ever seen Zeris play zombies. Yeah, they're taking a while to get started, though. Did anyone else start? Good question. Zool versus Chinzo, Ghost Rider. Too many frog players. I can't avoid all of them. <laughs> I know, right? Ghost Rider might not be... I don't know if he's been playing... I don't think he's been playing Turbo lately. He's been playing some other stuff, I think. Hmm. Go watch Zyko, he's playing fairies. True. But he hasn't started yet either. Chico. Zyko. <laughs> They're not even hosting. People take up forever. No wonder we have to have time rules. How long does it take to use the bathroom between matches? Guess we'll just wait on these two then. I'm hearing that Alscare played round one versus Diefy Stun. That's a feels bad. That's miserable. With Vayu. That's a feels bad. <sighs> what is taking so long? Start your matches, people. Gotta think about entertaining the stream viewers, guys. What? A... Yeah, don't take breaks for bathroom and stuff. Hold it. Be demand to be entertained. Piss in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a break until three. What? It's three now. <laughs> no matches start for five minutes. Okay. If you had only read the chat, you would have known this. Imagine <laughs> reading the chat. Hold on. <laughs> Not, okay, okay. Ronok told me. I just didn't I just didn't acknowledge it. Didn't read it. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. I don't have anything to do for five minutes. There's no stream activity that only lasts five minutes. Tier list of all the players in the tournaments. <laughs> we got some we got some good players. Who's left? How many have we lost? Uh, what are you? What? What? <laughs> We're down to sixty-four players, so we've dropped like a third of the field at this point. People are hosting now, according to people have been eBay. hosting. Look, Fen's hosting. We can go watch her again. <laughs> Just kidding. I think. Uh... Ren is playing props now. So that's another frog mirror. I do not want to watch another frog mirror. <laughs> I don't blame you. We've watched too many frog decks. We need to keep a tally of what decks we've seen. We really do. <laughs> there has been at least, like, too many frogs. I don't know. Like, <laughs> there have been at least too many frogs. <laughs> I can... It's probably been, like, like, a half a dozen frog decks or something. Just, like, too many. Too much frog... I can think of five off the top of my head. We can watch Zeris versus Raikoko when if, that starts. If only they will start. Then again, we've already seen Raikoko play. Yeah, we've already seen Chico play a little bit too. We barely saw him play. Well, we only saw the end Plus, of that Raikoko right thing too. I never get tired of watching fairies, so... All right, anyway, we resume watching gameplay at long last. Oh, I guess this is Zeris's account. Future Fusion. What is Zeris's build? Does he play Silchus's version? He normally plays like a small Icehorn package with Chaos Sork. I was never a fan of that. 
but he might be on a more soldier's deck. I don't remember him playing Feature Fusion. I don't remember him playing that either. I don't think he was playing. Oh no, uh, he's opened it again. Maybe he's playing Diva Hero. It looks kind of like Diva Hero right now. Pretty neat. This is literally the same opening that Sil just sacked with earlier. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I swear, <laughs> when Diva Hero has success, it does this exact thing. And then when it doesn't, it breaks so hard. <laughs> I don't think Diva Hero is that bad. Hop on RuneScape in the me. Someone suggest Minesweep. Dust Shoot 2? This is what I'm saying. It's always <laughs> Future Fusion, D.Va, and then some broken ass limited card. Say it with card. me. <laughs> Say it with me. Zerus is a sacker. It's, it's always this open. <laughs> Diva Hero is so bad if you don't open Few Few. No. Diva Hero is like. It can be fine without Future Fusion. Fine without but it's, Few Few. It's really strong with Future Fusion. It can brick a lot. But having Future Fusion or not doesn't really like. You know? You got plenty of fine hands that don't involve Future Fusion. It's not like dragons. Yeah, it's not it's not anywhere near. Like Trap Dragon. Your view is like pretty good. It doesn't win you the wow, game. Wow, that's a really good one to return. Hold on, right? Coco's playing Mole? That's so based. It is based. Anyone who plays Mole is based. Gotta agree. I'm a Mole fan. Alright. Right, Coco is playing Hero B, right? I think that's what he was playing. We saw him earlier. He's playing Hero B. He was in that match that went to low. Did he just pass? Does he have Gores? He could have Gores. Mole is actually OP. Yes. Mole is so, so good. All right, we got an Armonite. I think a true hero prefers to play Greffer over that card. Maybe I should switch yeah. up my. Speed. I know. I know. Mero plays that too. He'll play Greffer as well. I could probably switch up my Spatian build to play Greffer, but I kind of like the Phoenix Wings. It means you don't have to worry about oppression as much. Oppression destroys that deck. Destroys Diva Hero in general. All of your Miracle Diva Mali plays. Alright, he's gonna try to hit over these two, I guess. Of course, why would it not be exactly Mirror Force? Yeah, so those are the two broken one ofs. <laughs> Alright. Right, Coco, you should have scooped on the dust shoot, actually. Just don't show him what you're playing. I'd have probably done Looks that. like it's it's probably like Hero Beat with Maul. Look, I, I like Raikoko, this is just what happens. Sometimes you play Diva Hero and they just open exactly like that. <laughs> I'm still traumatized from all the games I played against Fitz where it was like three matches in a row every single game. One hundred percent it was a misplay to not scoop on the dust sheet. <laughs> Shouldn't have given him the info. I mean maybe he would know you're playing Hero Beat, but Can I move my face? Or you can read the chat fine. Wait, where would I even put myself? If I put myself over here, then we can't read that chat. Well, I guess you kind of can. Also, you're the only person who here who's interested in the dialogue between the players. Literally, who gives a fuck what the players have to say? Intense over there. So the people who are currently undefeated are Ludovico... Crush, Karina, Raikoko, Xeris. I don't know Dubai. what I'll do if I can't read the drama of Raikoko complaining about how he got <laughs> sacked after we watched him get sacked. Papai, Ramak, Loofbone, Crops, 
Gia, Rick. Put it in the top corner. And Giorgione. I don't want to cover up the player's name. You can actually read the chat down here. Maybe the bottom corner down there. Hold on, let me see if that works. In the bottom left? Yeah, we could put me down here, I guess. Does that cover anything up important? I guess we're gonna find out. I can't see yet. I'll let you know. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta resize the chat box. All right, there we go. Maybe this works? Hmm. I don't know. Now you can read whatever Raikoko is saying. Did you draw the best hand you possibly can? I guess solemn. <laughs> Could have drawn this solemn too. I'm like I'm watching the stream. It looks pretty. Well, actually, you are covering up the extra deck, I think. But whatever. who cares about the extra deck? Though? Oh wait, wait, wait. I can see the extra deck. Only thing we're back. only thing we're covering up here you're is. You're ahead of me. Um. No, you're fine. You're not covering up anything. We're covering up like the private chat and the online user things. I yeah, nobody well, cares like... about who's watching the game. All right, this is probably a good, probably a good place to to leave my face. Anyway, now Raikoko gets to open Future Fusion. <laughs> hold is on, this... hold on. This is where Zerus starts complaining. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I you opened Future Fusion. I hope he like actually copies and pastes the same. Please. Same message. Hold on. That would be it? pretty great. Not a bad turn one, I fear. <laughs> <laughs> Macaroni and cheese says. Just put yourself across the middle of the monster zones. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just put yourself where the link monsters go. We're going. Go. Oh, whoops! I moved the board. <laughs> right where the link monsters go. This is my car path field center. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Setting some cards. The opponent's setting some cards. Hmm. Well, it was Zerus' turn to brick. Yeah. Alright, end opening phase... Five, opening four back row and Diva Hero is kind of wild. I don't know if I approve of this MST. You gotta hold that for... Oh, no, wait, no, wait. There's no oppression. I'm thinking the other way around. If you're Diva Hero, you gotta hold it for oppression. I still don't know if I approve of that MST. Maybe you're just trying to snipe their MST or Dust Tornado for your future fusion or something. Like, yeah, or hit, like, yeah, I don't know. I can see that. <laughs> hitting, hitting the bottom of this isn't terrible. Someone said L face placement. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Where else am I supposed to put myself? It's like... <laughs> no, they're, no, they're saying your old face placement was bad because they're oh. saying the chat is pretty lit. Oof. The viewer was right. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is so dumb. <laughs> This chat, reading this will lower your IQ by 5 to 10 points. <laughs> Who's not going to get their question answered? What's the website to sign up for these in the future? Uh, uh, these are on, on FL. Format is... Library Discord. There, you got your question answered. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, technically, you can sign up for them... Um, there's like multiple places. There's like three different Discord servers that do that do these types of tournaments. But I obviously don't stream the ones that are in Keegan's Discord because he streams the ones that are in his in his Discord. But then there's also the ones that are in the Edison format Discord. Because they have tournaments every now and then. It's a real complicated situation we've got going on with with these. Nice job, Animatic. I want a I've game. I've seen Animatic in the uh, Beast Mode streams. Congratulations on winning a game, Animatic. Thank you. <laughs> Carpath, can you move your face? <laughs> Hold on, wait. We can read Future Fusion, right? Here, I'll, I, got, I got this. Boom. Wait, wait, wait. Can we not read the bottom part of Future Fusion? Hold on, we're missing the bottom line of text on Future Fish. <laughs> well, wait, isn't this thing a rat? It's You're not just... even. It's not even the correct. This text. is the wrong card text, bro. <laughs> I 
Oh, Ooh, another, another This is the third time Dude. Future Fusion has been activated. Dueling Future Fusions. <laughs> oh, but this time it gets counted oh. Also, we found out that Zerus is actually playing Zobius and not Diva Hero. Okay, he's judgmenting the oppression. You're right. It's it's like a he's zombies. Wow. Wow. That's two Another points in the judgment war. <laughs> Where's our bingo card? We, we just wasted a bingo space because it happened twice. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, well, I think Ryan I gave me one, but I just I, I never used it. I forgot about it. <laughs> I don't know. It was like yeah. kind of so be ripping off zombies. Zombies at that point. Like hero zombies with he's on Gilman. Gilman. And shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gilman. I don't, I, I don't hate Gilman, honestly. You're correct, this is the wrong t card text. You should move your face to cover it. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I, I, we're going to be missing part of the chat. I'm going to have to make the chat smell. <laughs> Ron Ronald says, can you please add another car path face on screen? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have one car path face over here, one over there. Ooh, that's a really big hero blast. I mean, How, what if, it's not that big, okay. but I just love hero blast. It's, I could, like, anytime it resolves, it's big. I can move this chat over so it's on top of this chat, and then you can't read either of them. <laughs> and then we can put a car I, path face on top of this one so we're covering the card text. I think you should cover both players' avatars with car path <laughs> Well then, where's Carpath versus Carpath. Where's the TCG player ad gonna go then? All the cards are actually powered by TCG player. You replace the picture of all, every card with the TCG player ad. I think I could do that, but it's like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is this the same stack Harpy from pet, before? Harpy pet dragon. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Me neither. Maybe no <laughs> make the car path cam bounce like a Windows screensaver. <laughs> I I that technology is beyond me. What on earth could you be thinking? Gem Spark. He's got Gem Spark. Everyone, Rikoko's got a set Gem Spark. Field spell car path. Hold on, we could put me in the field spell zone. You're right. Um <laughs> Just Wait, like shrink yourself very, very there's, small. There's there's two field spell zones. Where how are we how are we gonna do that? I could like replace the DB background circuit screen with that. That would work. <laughs> yeah. you, sh you should put a half your face in one field spell and half your face in the other field spell. Well, that's just gonna look weird. Wait, what? Oh, I, I cannot believe he actually sparked that. <laughs> he sparked a minecon. Is that what happened? Yeah. What was he gonna do? Summon Diva? Synchro? It's so bad. He's under oppression. Nobody plays field spells. We watched Ronok earlier. He's playing field spells. Yeah, I'm not sure what the plan was there. That does Cyber not seem... Valley. I don't think the gem spark. Cyber was Valley was the plan. Car path field spell has the same effect as Umi. Why? <laughs> My field spell should just be treated as Umi at all times. That's true. It, it should have a completely unrelated effect to water monsters, but just also be treated as Umi at all times. You know you can't play more than three of the cards that are treated as Umi in a deck. Right, so you can only have like one Umi and two Legendary Ocean. It's really dumb, too, because there's like that Phantasmal field spell that's also Umi. There's like so many Umis. Well, only for the ones that say they're always treated as Umi. And this ruins, like, the the NEX cards, too, the Neospatian thing. Because the, the extra deck guys are always treated as the same name. So you can't play, like, the dolphin with three dolphins in your main. It's super That's annoying. That's very it's weird. super weird. Like, you can't have three copies split between the main and the extra deck, either. You can't have more. Did something happen? What? What is anim animatic talking about? Or, yeah. <laughs> Maybe both the players should be powered by TCG player. No, or only the perspective that we're watching should be powered by TCG <laughs> player. The enemy should not be. <laughs> 
You could just move it depending on who we're rooting for. <laughs> yeah, but then but like, I... right before somebody wins, just change it to whoever is winning the game. <laughs> who are we rooting for right now? Uh... Zaris or Raikoko? He has Gores. That's actually pretty good. I think we got to be rooting for Zaris here. They're both undefeated so far. Then again... Nah, we'll stick with Zaris for now. I don't want to move it. The mind control? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're thinking uh, that the mind control was more of a threat than it was. Like. Yeah, no, it's... Mind control is pretty much only a problem with, like, Wait, was Cyber that... Valley or a tuner. Is that why Raikoko sparked? Wait, is that Raikoko in the chat? I'm confused. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not? I didn't think so. Miracle Fusion. You can't afford the oppression. Oh, no. That is pretty big. All right. What's got to happen? I have, I've seen no way for... For Zaris to win this one, actually. I see no way. It's not happening. Another back row. It's funny because zombies are actually normally a pretty... Not like a super easy matchup for Hero Beat. Well, he did win game one. Without any zombies. Yeah. One game one with the, the Diva Hero sack turn one hand. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. How many limited cards was it? It was, it was Future Fusion, Future Dust Fusion, Shoot, Miracle, Miracle Dust Shoot. That might have been it. <laughs> what do you have that you're banishing the oppression here? There's no way you're playing Miracle in here too, right? Is it just like full-on Diva Hero zombie? I guess maybe. It could be, it could be Diva Hero with like a small zombie engine. His double hammer shot in hand? Oh, you mean the worst one of those spells? <laughs> It kills your own guy. Well, there's like a maybe small but not impossible chance that cowering behind the defense mode Gores keeps him alive. Honest. Honest. All right, RIP. We're going to game three. All right. I hope we... I hope we see more future fusions as a game. That would be. <laughs> I want to see five future fusions activated this match. Future fusion hasn't been resolved enough yet. Honestly, we gotta we gotta see more of it. Someone needs to resolve some kind of weird card that shuffles everything back into the deck so that we can activate it more than twice. Rainbow this match. Neos. True. That's it. <laughs> like both of them summon Rainbow Neos, and they. <laughs> Or, or, or they could, one person could Rainbow Neos and the other person could steal it and use the effect. Yeah, Rainbow Neos brain con the Rainbow Neos, and then for some reason neither one of them want to use the actually broken effects of Rainbow Neos. Rainbow Neos will put their whole field back to the deck. But also you can put back their graveyard if you want. Why would he bottom us that? Um, because he's way ahead on card advantage, so you might as well just take the trade. Although the game is over now, so... Yeah. Zaris claims I'm being oppressed. Ah, oh, this is why we have to have the chat here. I'm being oppressed, lol. What would we do without these insightful comments from the players? <laughs> Truly. Why can't oppression negate Gorus? Because it's in the battle, or in the damage step. And oppression, uh, oppression fast doesn't enough. work. You basically can't stuff. activate most cards in the damage step. Except for things that you wouldn't think you could use in the da no. Like you can't, uh, you can't do it on like a recruiter like Shining Angel. You can't, you can't do it on Gorza Trag. You can't you can oppression in the damage step, but you can randomly use like Stardust and Orange Light in the damage step for no reason. We got monster effects that negate. We'll monsters are monsters that negate. They're just different. They're just built different. Titania works there. Spell speed two monster effect that negates. It will work in damage step. Spell speed two spell trap effect that negates. No. Well. If, yeah, spell speed two. 
But you can use counter traps whenever the hell you want. Yeah, you can use like counter traps in the damage tap. Only time you can't use a counter trap is for in Super Poly or something. Spell speed four. It's kind of spell speed four. It's like spell speed three and a half. <laughs> or maybe it's like some non-existent number. It's funny because it's like uh, <laughs> it's four in the sense that nothing can respond to it, but it's two in the sense that you can't respond yeah. to a counter trap with it. <laughs> You can't respond to a counter trap and you can't use it in the damage step. Yeah. It's like you can't people, use it when you could use people, it. People uh, use it slang, call it spell speed four. You cannot use my body and damage. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. You should be able to. But if you could my body and damage, then people would be able to oppression and damage, and then oppression would just be broken. You'd also be able to my body oppression and damage. So really. But then if you couldn't, like, Stardust or Titanium on damage, Raikou would be broken. Right. <laughs> so I don't I don't really know the answer to this question. I think it's fine the way it is. <laughs> I love how the game is balanced about bad rules. Really great how we, like, constructed the card design of the game around, around the rules that don't make sense. Can you... Okay. That has been answered. What are you thinking? This time you obviously spark. <laughs> yeah, this time he's actually got the threat that this you were is, worried about last time. This is time. the most obvious spark in the world. What do you... Come on. You spark you the Reaper. You think about what to hit. He might no, no, no. It's it. obviously Reaper, though. Unless uh, Zara says Book of Life. Then you would feel bad. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Yeah, hitting the Reaper sucks so bad for Zerus there, actually. We haven't seen too many zombies this game out of Zerus. You would also Just be able to road... Zombie and Reaper. Roading Ab Zero in the damage step would be good for the game. <laughs> Change my mind. <laughs> Ab Zero is, like, way too uncounterable. That's why you love your boy Grandma. Yeah, that's true. Grandma just puts the ab zero back, puts himself back so he doesn't get ab zero. It's gonna summon ocean. Not looking good for Zaris here. You know, I kind of like this new location for my face cam. <laughs> Thank you, who, whatever viewer suggested this. I like being below the chat. It's hard to actually read the chat on my screen through this, though. It definitely looks nice with no background. Well, you gotta out that, um, that ocean or it's gonna be trouble. Crash Fortress and the what is a one for one? Is a plus one? Yeah. Crash Fortress is pretty good. Although it depends who controls what. Because they'll both go off technically. Crash and Fortress can be a plus one, can't it? It can be. If they have another monster and you don't have another monster, it's a plus one. Zeris needs to get rid of that ocean. Like. Alright, we got a zombie master. If he uses this effect, it's gonna backfire, probably. Unless he's got the Mizuki. You are below us. Literally, not figuratively. <laughs> Can't let the chat. Start feeling all high and mighty. Is that a prio? There's no way you prio here.
odd. There's no way you think here. Just do it. <laughs> the only time you pry with zombie master is if you want to get a zombie in grave, usually. If you want to pitch Mizuki or pitch Maui. Alright, there's a crow. That was a pretty mediocre crow. Let's save the other card in his hand, maybe. Good synchro here. You know there's no bottom unless it would have been used. Is there a battle trap? There's a deep prison. Is there an RFDD? Call. Oh, that's why. That's why he prior pitched it. That makes sense. He wanted call to be alive. That's yeah. He he wanted to be able to call something that could run over the ocean. Good play. Does he have another he doesn't stop? Want this he doesn't want an ocean to recur the alias. So Is he gonna think. solemn that call of the haunted? I can feel it. <laughs> yep, beat Silchus. Yeah, yeah, yeah wow. yep. <laughs> Jeep, yep. Jeep beat, beat Silchus Ruin. That's crazy. <laughs> Going through Rod as a warm up. <laughs> I've run into Rod a lot of times. Oh my god, my, my prophecy came true. He saw him to the call. It's wild. I've played against Rod a lot in tournaments. For sure. It's like really weird how common it's been. They're everywhere. They're in my walls. I don't think I've ever played versus Silchus, though. Never played Silchus, Ronak, or Pro Storm. Only played the other Rod players. The other less impressive Rod players. <laughs> Don't tell them I said that. It was a joke. I'm kidding. They're all <laughs> they're all very good players. Well, most of them are very good players. <laughs> Not surprising when they have 200 members. True, that team is way too huge. There's like a bajillion people on Rod. People don't even know they're on Rod or on Rod. <laughs> I'm on Rod, yeah. Did you <laughs> now you can't. I actually didn't know you were on Rod in the in the in deck dev. Hmm? Who is this? Ace of Spades. Oh right, yeah. Uh, I had no was clue. he was he on Rod at that time? I think he was. I don't know. I think he was on Rod and he was like under wraps or something. He was like secretly on Rod. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you could be secretly on a team. I get. <laughs> wow. Yep's been getting put against all the good players. Feels bad. Hopefully he gets. Well, there's no bad players left. They're all dropped. And that's the thing is, like, if you win, you're just going to keep playing good players. Yeah, but he's played like all like top tier players. Yeah, those are that's a, those are four really strong names. Three really strong names. And <laughs> and one Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going there. They actually they are four really new strong member. names. Wait, you mean in addition to Frazier? Is he joking? I can't tell. <laughs> They added a new run. Now 19? You only have 19? That doesn't sound right. <clears throat> Feels like every other Edison player is on a rod. This is looking good for Raikoko. Hmm. Yeah. Not a lot going on for Zeris right now. I was not going to dump on one of them. It was going to be a joke. I was going to say three top tier players and one Crow's Nest member. <laughs> <laughs> there. I'm allowed to make fun of my own team. Right? 
I think that's allowed. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'm allowed to make fun of our own team right in front of the captain. <laughs> Elite Four Lance is watching this game. Who? Elite Four Lance. <laughs> Elite Four Lance. Oh, wait, he's behind my head, isn't he? <laughs> he is. He's <laughs> behind the car path head. <laughs> See, we've concealed important information. We should go back I'm over just there. Teasing. I'm just teasing the chat at this point. <laughs> should put me back over here. Put, so is Sackbuster Lulger. Put me behind the TCG player logo. <laughs> well, this is going to be game over unless it's torrential. Pop the back row. Or bottomless. Or book of moon. Okay. Well, oh, wow. What can that I say? <laughs> Zerus is just a gamer. Zerus is just an absolute gamer. Very important torrential there. That was a plus two. They're like... <laughs> back to even on card event what, a, what an absolute... almost a plus three if you count the fact that he wasted the stratus effect when's the next cool off meta deck coming like in terms of me we already know what it's gonna be it's gonna be field spell cat with the ancient gear in terms of me thing. uploading or me playing a tournament i don't know i got a lot of ideas maybe i will do field spell cat hold on let me write that one down I have a list. <laughs> I think that's. I think being able to summon a free five is pretty cool. Alright, it's on the list. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, they just made a rule that you're like, you're not allowed to ask this. I know DD Warrior Lady Elias, correct? Did they make this rule in modern or in. Yeah, in modern. Like, you, you, apparently they made some kind of a... They changed public knowledge? What the hell? They, they said you're not allowed to ask for it, basically. I don't know. Well, then what does public knowledge even mean anymore? I have no idea. Whatever. I don't... I would never call somebody on it. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I just have this. I think we divide the camera among the four pen zones. Why are there pen zones? Have this... you not noticed that? Every time you hit classic. Why are there pen, pen, pen zones. zones in classic mode? What is going on? You didn't know this? How did you not notice that? God damn you, Triff. <laughs> this is your fault. Make a play has been called. Actually, unironically, it's been like two minutes in Zerus' yeah, main this is phase completely one. Completely <laughs> fair. Completely fair from my Coco. I would just be hand shuffling. Got one play and I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, I don't like it play? either. I is agree. Is play to make an eight here to make Dark End? No, no, no. This play is terrible. <laughs> this play is so I bad. I think he's sending play, gonna stack for play so he can make Dark End in case of Gores or something? Or... Oh, wait, no, no. This is for DD Warrior Lady. He's gotta play around DD Warrior Lady somehow. How the hell do you play around DD Warrior Lady? I have no idea. I'm not sure what he's going for. If there's DD War related, just this just seems terrible. Is he just gonna go for army armor and an armor and armor? No. What's an eight? Maybe he's top decked a monster that he can normal summon and go for a game if he goes colossal poke. How many warriors? One, two, three, three. So it's thirty-one. He could probably should probably just put him out of brain range with this. That might be what the plan is. You know what? Those Master Rule 3 formats should just, like, have their own mode. Oh, it is Gores. Well, that's just the end of the game if there's DD Warrior Lady, so I don't know. Yeah, what's... it's just the end of the game with DD Warrior Lady. This is not 100 more? What? Yeah. That guy is not a warrior. He's a fiend. Prodigy. Three warrior. Gilman should be a warrior. He's got a stick. Prodigy is a fiend. Prodigy, Prodigy should be a warrior. He's he's a hero. Heroes are warriors. 
the evil heroes aren't. Diva should be a warrior. She <laughs> Rhoda should count as a warrior. Look, she's things. in like she's in a <laughs> she's in a coliseum or something. Rez Reinforcing the army in the grave. That should count. Grandmole is basically a hero, which makes him a warrior. Dee Dee Crow. I don't know how we're getting that one. <laughs> wait, wait. What? What? Nani. I thought, I thought <laughs> no Dee Dee Warrior Lady, right? What's going on? What's going on? I don't understand. Yeah, I were were they just like lying or? That was huh? There's no necro guard now. Like, what is going on? What? If you had warrior lady, you had game. Yeah, I mean, way beyond the game with warrior lady. Through everything. Does anyone know if there was a war? What happened? Is there still a warrior lady? Did it go somewhere? Very weird. Diva is one of the mermaid people from Black Clover. I don't know what that means. But okay. Yeah, but if they could go DD War Lady, Banish, Colossal. Oh, they can't crush it. Oh my god, they're so actually too low. Points. The life points are too low. Okay. We are just being completely. <laughs> Never mind. That makes complete sense. That makes total sense. <laughs> They're way too low to crash. They're on 800. Yeah, I don't know what we were thinking. We've been on commentary for too long. Thank you, by the way, Alex. <laughs> they all start blending together after round four. <laughs> okay, you so yeah. You start That's thinking like evil sense. hero Infernal Prodigy is a warrior. <laughs> All right, now everyone's answering in the past. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone shut up. We really know. <laughs> I don't even know what you draw. Miracle Fusion Caius. Simply honest over with Warrior Lady. That's what we meant, <laughs> surely. <laughs> yeah, just use your... Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about. We, we knew... <laughs> We met you honest, guys. I mean, we had a read. We had a read. <laughs> there was an honest. <laughs> it was a Joy Boy read. <laughs> Is this just a random one off Warrior Lady? For yeah, a lot of uh, hero beat decks will like tech a Warrior Lady. Gotta bring in the Warrior Lady, the Grand Mole, and the Spirit Reaper in every deck. She's surgical with Rhoda. So is Grandma. He's basically a warrior. Why well, is he a rock? He should be a beast. Let me summon Grandma well, off cat. Well, he's a beast because summon him off cat. I know. Me. Let me summon him off cat. I mean, I would love it, personally. Mojo best deck, baby. That would be, it'd be so good because you could just, like, bounce it back to hand and synchro off with the air bellum. <laughs> What are you synchroing with here? Oh, I guess. They're like Monk or something. You have the Monk play. Very Meteor Crush for game. That'd be pretty insane. It'd be a fun way for the... the uh, Kai's, at any point if he draws Kai's, it's lethal. Assuming the back row isn't like bottomless. It could be. There's two of it left. Yeah, also Honest with the token on board is still evil. The Light Fairy Gores token. I really feel like, feel like he should switch the Colossal because he loses to like Ab Zero Crash and Honest. Yeah, maybe he's just worried about another warrior lady. Or if they, or he sounds a Dinah, actually. You may be playing around Dinah. Kind of 
Kai's finished the Colossal. How, oh yeah, if you can if you can put another monster on board for the Kai's, yeah. I feel like there's no good way to play around Dino. They would just set it and kill your Colossal. That's true. They just yeah, you're right. <sighs> Could. I don't even know. You're just like waiting to die or something. You should probably do something. Yeah, I think defense mode is the correct way of Defense doing mode it. is definitely right. Someone someone messaged Zaris and tell him to put the claws No, on. somebody. <laughs> no one do that actually. <laughs> okay, don't do that because it's cheating, but you should still do it. If you want Zaris to win. <laughs> For legal reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> this is not actual advice. <laughs> This is not a real suggestion. This is a meme. <laughs> is there still heavy in Zerus's deck? Yes. I don't know. I don't know how he's been drawing dead this many turns. Zombie Diva Hero must just be like breakfast. I, yeah, that does make sense actually. <laughs> Probably is a breakfast. <sighs> are we close to time now? We are. We're two minutes off or some shit. Or like, I don't know. If we're getting like five minutes at it every time, it might be different. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We have. We have like one minute left. Someone's asking how many rounds. I think it's seven rounds. Yeah, we're going to be at time soon. Wait, if it goes into time, Rococo's going to lose. <laughs> oh, dear. That's that's pretty funny. You should switch the Colossal, dude. You really should switch the <laughs> Colossal. How have you left it in attack mode this whole time? You really think there's multiple warrior ladies? Because honest, honest with that token is... There's at least Abs there's two honest over. there's two honest and three miracles, and there's only maybe one to two more warrior ladies. Nah, I don't think they're they're probably not. But there's probably not any more warrior ladies. Probably not on more than one warrior lady. But they do have a snowman eater. If they find a snowman eater, they could pop it. You can't do anything about that though. Uh, that's true. The defense <laughs> the defense, <laughs> defense mode I'm doesn't help. All the outs. <laughs> Being in attack mode is just so much worse. I don't... Oh. Well, you're losing now, the few, few war, buddy. And now he's going to drop... The, hey, we, we got to our five future fusion activations. <laughs> Holy shit, we did. In one match. <laughs> uh, now, if he sends a dark, he could potentially drop dad. Drop dad and do what? Pop all the monsters. Pop one of the monsters and get bottomless. You pop... I think you probably pop the token. <laughs> Pop the token so you don't lose the honest off the top. Yeah. Or you could just switch your colossal to defense mode. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. In that case, you probably do. If you <laughs> are thinking about that, then you hit probably one of the sets. If you think he should switch his colossal to defense mode, like the stream. <laughs> but the problem is, like, if you're summoning dad, you're summoning an attack anyway. So probably do pop the token. Summon it's dad and summon dad in defense. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did see. Like, I was in a game where summoning a dad in, in defense was the correct play against me. It's a goat format moment. It's, it's so funny because it has such a small defense. So All right, we're in threat. time. We're... We are in time. Yo, has, has he been stalling for time? Is that why he's taking so long? I'm just that kidding. That would be kind of nasty. There's no way. Zerus is just slow. It's the fact. If he had actual plays, he'd be He's playing, playing cards. He's playing very slowly, but I guess it, the... No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter now. Zerus is just slow, apparently. I, it's just how it is. 
Not even close to the slowest in this tournament. Could be worse. He could be playing frogs. Frog players are the slowest. It is a fact. I've like done comp. I've done like rigorous math. It also plays into black rose, Alex. Black rose. If you put it in defense. <laughs> His tomato is banished. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, the, the other player doesn't have. There's no plants, plants in this deck. Unless they're, they're on gonna a... Send, they're gonna send Glow Moss. <laughs> they're gonna Future Fusion send Nosp, and then you're gonna be feeling really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> exactly. I'm so used to Black Rose being able to do that effect, because I play a deck that has a bunch of plants. Some people just play Black Rose because of the good effect. <laughs> I play it for both, okay? Also, that's the best stats of any seven... Which is hilarious. Summon in defense plays into shield crush. Very good point. Very good point. There are people out there with shield crush in their side deck. I've seen them. Most of them play gadgets. Well, you know this is one of the only matches left because there's 24 people watching, which you can't see because it's behind my head. The viewers are missing out. They're really missing out on this important info. So they can read Rykoko type 1 in chat. And then pause and do nothing for a minute in his main phase before setting and passing. He has to swap it before the F0 comes down, right? <laughs> Surely. Surely he will swap it before F0 comes down. What the? What? Nani? Okay. <laughs> how many warriors is there still just there four there's four there's five it's a 33 he can't crash out zero anymore he can just leave it in attack mode it's fine <laughs> that's funny unless he has a water monster in which case you're gonna feel real dumb for leaving an attack mode true and just like flip up ocean or something please put it in defense <laughs> please put it in defense I want to see Storm resolve so bad. I want to see Storm Judgment. That's what it's got to be. Storm Judgment. How's he not drawn a Caius yet? Is he even playing that card? There's got to be Miracle in here if you're on all this many heroes. I don't know. Zeris' build is weird. Very weird. <sighs> Looks like Fen bricked on Soul Exchange. That's unfortunate. Black Rose having two effects is broken. True. It's broken because there's two of them. Black Rose did not need a second effect, actually. Sometimes they just give cards a broken effect and then give them another one. See you, Substitute. <laughs> Substitute has one effect. Right? No, it has no, two. two. You're right. Damn. Yeah, that card's a pretty good example, actually. <laughs> There's like, uh, and also you just can't get your cards destroyed. <laughs> Pretty good example. I should just say once per turn, for God's sake. Going on two mins with no move. I don't know what the actual rule is. Pretty sure it's just their turns allowed to be arbitrarily long. How is this the world's qualifier? It just is. <laughs> I that's that's what the tournament is is called. I think there's gonna be multiple. Yeah, there's gonna be more than just this one. Kind of just copying the ribbits format, I think. Especially since they just like announced this one the day before. We only got like a hundred people. 
when they asked me to stream this, it was called like Edison Cup One. Edison <laughs> Cup, yeah. Yeah. Well, and, then, and then they just pulled a switcheroo on me. Okay, he figured it out. He figured it out. <laughs> Three minutes to switch it to defense and set a back row, and not set a back row. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. This is turn two, right? I don't know. It's turn too many. All cards with two effects are broken? No. Cards that have, like, an insane effect and then just also have a bonus effect are broken. Dust Tornado on the Future Fusion. Ma neither one of Macro's effects are good enough to like meet that qualification. That is... Okay, this... You, you Solemn as if you have it, because you have to win on this turn. Solemn? Good. He doesn't have Solemn. It's gone. Well, then you can't do that. <laughs> Does, he <have> bri <laughs> Does he have Bribe? No one plays Bribe anymore, surely. That is... In fact, I'm going to pull my Bribes out of my binder right now and sell them. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me... This game has gone on for so long. <laughs> I'm grabbing the bride. Where the hell are they? Ah, there they are. See Fortress these? These are super rare as dark bribes. Because of Cyber Dragon. These are going on TCG <laughs> player right now. <laughs> if Fortress These cards works, are useless. <laughs> if Fortress weren't as good as it is, the Machina deck would not be playable. I'm gonna go figure out how much my dark bribes are worth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait a moment. Hold on, did I? Did I accidentally? I hope I didn't minimize the window there. Okay, so we have Alias is an attack. These dark bribes are seventy dollars. Good lord. No, 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 no. Wait, that's dark legends. Where's the hide a low button? These are the supers from the game. Okay, these are only seventeen dollars. I'm still selling them. That's, okay, ocean. That's still cash. Okay, well, and the token. What's the plan here? Uh. Maybe he's got Spark. Gem Spark, yeah. How many Sparks left? Two? Probably a Spark. Wait, this is like, oh, okay. One. No, no, he's this dead. This is just to game spark. over if he has Spark. He's dead to Spark, 100%. Yes. Yeah. And Raikoko wins the match. <sighs> well, it was bound to happen eventually. I'm so You bad. had the Caius? Wait, you had Caius? You or absolute just... coward. Wait. What was... Yeah, wait, why don't you Kaius target Colossal? Yeah, you wait, he could he could literally have done it. Was there a Torrential? Torrential wasn't gone. Torrential was like, the only stop. I don't even know it. if they play That's that card. That's still worth it. You go for it, right? I'd go for that every time. Because they have to be playing Torrential and Hero Beat, which isn't even that common. It would have to be Torrential, and the Torrential wouldn't even be that good. <laughs> right. Like, they'd have to Torrential and then have a monster next turn. A monster that can do 28, right. or at least 2,000. I think I think you should have gone Kai's target Colossal uh, there. And that... Colossal obviously should have been in defense for so long. Some questionable decisions were made, for sure. Anyway, you could have even Maui banished Kai I mean, summon Kai's. Or you could have, no, nah, you could probably just Kai's first and then Maui banish to defend yourself. We would, we would have ran DD War Lady into Colossal, so. <laughs> There's no way I would have actually done that as in the yeah, game. Yeah, I know, I would have. All right, we got pairings for the next round. I think that was like the last game, probably. So... Oh yeah, if they have spark, it it punishes that too. Actually, that's good. But if they had spark, they'd have sparked the colossal already and killed yeah, it. Yeah, you already lose the spark with your colossal, so you might as well just go for it. I think there is no way. What are they just like chilling on gem spark this whole was... time? What was Sirius actually looking for? Like, there's no way he was ever going to push through that board. If they had Spark, why were the aliases face down? 
True, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't actually spark with Wait, it face down. They couldn't even so. spark. Yeah, you can't even spark there. Alright, what what matchup we want to watch? Shamu vs. Ghost Rider, or True Hero vs. Roanoke. Ooh, Alex is in the tournament. You could watch some fairy gameplay with Psycho. Gia playing. Gia's alive? Gia's undefeated. What's Gia playing? Gia vs. Karina? We have to watch that one. Oh no. <laughs> we have to watch the Crow and Crow violence. Oh damn it. Why does it happen every turn? Hold on. Here we go. Everyone stop friend requesting me. I'm streaming. <laughs> I've got a backlog of friend requests. It's not good. I don't think these people started yet, right? That's odd. Should I accept them all? I guess I can accept them all. There. I have 13 new friends. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put my binder back. I pulled it out on stream just to make a point about Dark Bride. Yeah. Back down there. Everyone stop friend requesting. <laughs> now I have to go back. You know what? I'm not doing this. We're gonna we're gonna worry about it later. So these guys got like a five minute break or something. It starts at four. I should grab food or something. There's no way I'm going to make it for the full stream without <laughs> eating. But you can at least start watching the game before I do that. Hmm. Oh my god, now everyone watching the stream is going to start friend requesting me. Lovely. Yeah, you kind of brought that upon yourself. No, I didn't. Stop victim you blaming absolutely me. absolutely did. This is victim blaming. Oh, they're saying Ramak versus a true hero. No, I want to watch the team We've fight. We've seen Ramak before. We already watched we Ramak. Seen, we haven't seen Gia or Karina. We watched Ramak, and we already know what a true hero is playing, so... Let's watch... Yeah. Well, 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 we got to watch the Crow face off. Got a match of two undefeated players who we haven't seen yet today. Is Gia still a crow? Up in the air. <laughs> I, don't know. I have no clue what happened to Gia. I think she's just taking a break or something. I don't know. She's taking a break. Why is she playing in the... Nah, never mind. Look, I don't know. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, wait. That was don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to accept only the yep one and screw you guys. <laughs> You'll say yep to yepa. I say yep to yep. Are either one of these two hosting? They already start. Doesn't even look like Gia's online unless I'm not friends with her anymore. Which doesn't make sense. I see Corinna online. Corinna's online. Gia's not online. This is true. Sven is online. Is Sven still in it? No, she's. I think she said she's gonna drop. She's two and two. You can go X two and top. Yeah, she doesn't want to. <laughs> she just doesn't want to. Yeah. <sighs> no motivation. Okay, wait. There we go. What was... Ben was playing frogs. Yeah, we don't need to talk yeah. about frogs. We have way too many frog people. This had better not be a frog mirror I'm walking into. It's at least one person on frogs. That's one person too many. Agreed. <laughs> Fairies with creature swap? Uh, that sounds... Probably just worse than regular fairy. Thing is, you need like. Run six recruiters, 
um, you do have Cyber the... Valley and Sangin. Creature swapping them a Cyber Valley isn't any good. No, but you can sh- creature swap them on Ryko after you flip it. I guess. I think you're probably just playing too slow of a deck to play creature swap. Unless you're on the faders. Oh my gosh. Frog best one. deck has been Get called. Get your games. I don't know if I'm on the frog best deck train. I'm on the nothing best deck train. Ronak has a Genjil Tron out. Is Gia even online? A true hero has Gold Sarked for Future Fusion. Torrentially the Gadgeltron. Weren't they supposed to start like two minutes ago? Ugh. Oh, F- Ronak is playing two Gadgeltron. Oh, he's playing three Ancient Gear cards. Mojo best deck? See, that guy knows. <laughs> that guy knows. That guy knows. Mojo's best deck. Mojo's like playable kind of <laughs> it's playable <laughs> i was able to do some good stuff with moja i went on a tear i think my rock cat deck is probably better than the moja cat deck though so it's kind of the issue you gotta rank all your cat decks rock cat <laughs> moja deck moja cat neospatian cat yeah, and then you're gonna make field, field spell, spell cat. cat. I'll make a whole tier list of cat decks. You should. Hurry up, Gio. Where are you? Wah. She's not online. I just want to see crows kill each other. Murder each other. Murder even. each other. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Joey Wheeler in the flesh. You do look kind of like Joey Wheeler with the hair. <laughs> mm, his hair's different from my hair. I don't know, just give me Joey Wheeler vibes. Also, his personality is different from my. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta play Monster Mash to be truly Joey Wheeler. Hmm. No, you gotta play a bunch of like gambling cards to be Joey Wheeler. Yeah, play a... All the dice a, rolling and coin flipping. Do the uh, the Sasuke samurai that flips a coin. Oh, that one. That card is terrible. Hey, it's, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's playable in GOAT. Maybe. <laughs> True. True. It Kinda. is actually playable in GOAT. Say the words for me, GOAT in GOAT format. I don't know if it's good, but... <laughs> Playable. Playable in Duel Links. I don't even know if he's in Duel Links. Damn it, Gia, where are you? I want the game she to start. Just... <laughs> She's a wall. How long till, till Corinna's declared the winner? <laughs> yeah, like, uh... Five minutes until she wins game one. <laughs> oh, actually, it is 10 minutes for a game loss. Yeah, oh, dust shoot now. I got a game loss, and okay, they're starting. Wait, did... Okay. All right. We are commenting on Gia vs. Corinna now. Alien cat. Is that a thing? Uh... I don't know. I know Gia this starts is... off with the lure. I think she's probably playing Black Wings if that's the case. There's definitely an alien dog. There's two Shuras. Well, this counts as like a snooze matchup, right? <laughs> Lots of back row. Okay. Hmm, Shura set four. Corinna has a preternatural ability to always draw Heavy Storm. <laughs> Black Wing Cat. Machina Cat, that's one. Machina Cat is a real one. That is a real one, but I didn't make it. All True. Right. I'm gonna go eat for like 10 minutes, so you gotta carry this. Yeah, I'll carry. Carry, I'll carry game number one for me. 
Hold on, where's my board? I'm gonna get rid of this because it looks weird without my face in it. So, Corinna doing typical frog stuff, sending a tree board, and normal summoning a flip flop. That's pretty cool. But, I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe she has threatening more set to set behind it. Because if Gia tries to attack in with Shura, yeah, I was thinking this might hit an Eden Icarus too in the end phase. Wow. Okay, that's a good blizzard. All right. Does she have econ? Yeah, she does. Okay, book. That's, this monarch is going to walk. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. And Kia has to hope to have another blizzard. And another, ooh, yeah. Frogs are pretty powerful. Targeting a back right now. She's probably th maybe thinking about, I can't figure out what she's thinking about. Solemn, okay. It's pretty aggressive. Gia needs a way to get rid of this Ryza. Maybe like a Kalut. I was thinking Karina could maybe not even bring back Treeborn and Monarch over her own Monarch. To, that way Gia can't Icarus. Man, she's just got a steady stream of Monarchs though. So yeah, now she, she did play into Icarus with that play. But this, uh, this looks like more of a pure Blackwing deck and they're more likely to run out of monsters. So I think, ooh, that's lethal on board. Yeah, Karina just had to fade a few draws. Hope Gia didn't draw a monster every single turn. And that's game one. Pretty basic stuff, I would say. But here's where the deck devastation viruses are going to come in from the Blackwing side. In addition to anything, something like playing the rug, maybe even soul release. You could and fossil dyna. Usually, they will have fossil dyna in the side. If Kia can find Black Whirlwind, 
the often if they can find Black Whirlwind, Dusha is going to help. But it, often if they can find Black Whirlwind early, that significantly shortens the clock for the frog player. Because <laughs> you can search out things like uh, Bora, Gale, that just add, or Kalu, just add tons of damage. Shorten the amount of time the opponent has to stabilize. Two swaps, book, Destinado, Econ. Well, we know that Corinna currently doesn't have any monarchs. She does an econ, but not much to do with it. <laughs> this is the other side, if she can't find some kind of protection. Ooh, that's... Very big. That side hate that we were talking about. Now we know that Krenna does have Buck to deal with the Fossil Dina. And that too. Ooh. Rug another card we were talking about. Interesting. Well, now the swap can run over this Bora if Gia doesn't have some other monster. We know there's an Econ. Two swaps. That's all we know about. Kern is really running out of time. I wonder why she tributed there. I figure out why the tree happened. <laughs> I must be missing something. Because there's still a two turn clock with Bora. Ah, Deck Debbie. That's correct. You figured it out. <laughs> yeah, this, is get this game is getting rough because we know Deck Dev's going to hit at least a swap out of the hand. And here it comes. Oh! No? Maybe she was just getting it in play in case she drew deck that? Ooh. Normal summon gores. Yeah, drawing that gores late, that's like the only way he's going to get any value.
Gia's got a lot of cards in her hand. Makes you think, like, dad, maybe? Or a brain con? That would also make sense. Tributing Sirocco gets Blizzard live. That's probably what it was. Yeah, she just kept the, it's like she had Blizzard's Sirocco in hand <laughs> and then the board gets dealt with. Well, suddenly, like if it's it gets banished by Caius or something, then you don't have anything to do with your Blizzard. All right, so going into game three, this has been a quick one. Karina's is gonna go first. It's, uh, yeah, Junk Frogs. Um, I think it's probably close to the list that she topped Deck Devastators 3 with. She's a big fan of Junk Synchron. Yeah, I think uh, the frog engine works pretty well with quick draw. Interesting. It has to be like threatening roar or something, right? You wouldn't just leave tree one up to get run over by sh Okay. Weird that she set a card to begin with. Alright, I'm back. Hey. Is it still game? So it's 1-1. One, 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 already two games down. Jeez, that must have been fast. <sighs> yep. <coughs> uh, so game one, Krenna just has Stream of Monarchs. Game two, Gia had... Krenna mainly just had Frogs in her hand. And Gia had, like, Dust Shoot, Rug, Dyna. That feels bad. Everything, so... T-Roar is going to stop the Treeborn from getting run over. This looks like this game has started. Kind Seems of. like Corinna set two because she knew she couldn't let this. I don't know why she summoned the tree one though. She's just gonna leave it up. Hmm. She knew she was kind gonna of top deck a monarch this turn. Yeah, but she could have just brought it back now. I guess she's. No. I don't know. She's afraid of. Or she knew Gia would Dina? draw Didi Crow for turn next turn. <laughs> oh yeah, Dinah's Dinah's a reason, I guess. That's pretty good. Collating oh. for one kind of feels bad, but... It doesn't really matter how is. many you cold wave for, unless you're killing them with something. Definitely not in love with cold wave. Now, it's something that... I am. Corinna didn't... <laughs> something that Corinna did in game one was she brought back Treeborn in this situation. Uh, which plays into Icarus a little bit. So you have to weigh the risks of... What? Bring that Treeborn to tribute over the Treeborn. <laughs> Ronok, wants, Ronok wants my face to be bigger. What yeah, is... I saw that. <laughs> or do you... It's the same size oh. as it was when I left, right? It's all good. There's Vayu. We want nothing but Carpath face. Yeah, we don't want to see <laughs> gameplay. No, no gameplay, only Carpath face. <clears throat> Oh man. So she just she just attacked over Vayu? 
Yeah, she did. Could at least bring back the Treeborn and hit over the Vayu with the Treeborn. Well, she didn't know it was a Vayu. You know it's a Vayu. Come on. Last last game she set Kalu. She could just be setting something to... Brain Congress. This is a strange brain con. Unless, unless brain con Soroka. Oh, good. Dinah. Wait, but how are you getting That's rid of that Kai? So strange. <laughs> um, this is actually just is, a brain con for what's damage. What's the idea here? The idea is she has a battle trap to protect the Dinah, I guess, and just wants to end the game somehow. Okay, deck. Oh, that's why. That's actually very good. <clears throat> I didn't see that coming. All right, loses two yeah. swaps. That was a pretty good brain con. <laughs> Mind Crush and Econ. Econ does not do anything. That is highly useless. Mind Crush also does nothing in this situation. Damn. You does... gotta have the Dyna before you can play. Hopefully it's not a T. Okay. That's Kaius, a good draw. Okay. That's a pretty good draw. But no nothing to tribute. Yeah, that's an issue. Um... Unless that said is like Soul X. I don't know. Or book? No, because if it was book, she would have booked it already. She needs to find book. Book would be good. 2k defender would be good. Yeah, that was an insane brain con. Yeah, being Ooh, able to tribute for setting a mind crush? Good. Setting everything. She might have to turn the... You have to send the econ in case... Because it might be your only protection. To like turn something to defense with econ. I wonder what her center set is i don't know about setting the mind crush here yeah i, I don't love mind crush against black wings like it's fine because they do search out things but it's fine but i don't know why she said it here me neither maybe just to protect it from like a from like a blind back row if because right now she needs econ to stay alive unless the middle uh, trap does you something. absolutely <clears throat> econ the kalu because Junk can run over Dinah. It can't run over the Kalu. What on earth is the middle set? Dark Bride. That's it. <laughs> is it like That's game over. Dark card? Bride, just as you were saying, nobody plays it. <laughs> that card still sucks. It's so bad. What were the other ones? Was wait, 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 what if she... Did, she didn't draw off it. She should have wait. Oh, no, you can't. I was, I was saying she could have maybe drawn Battle Feeder, but it's too late. The attack was already declared. Was there no, like, T-Row or anything set? No. What was it the... was just... I don't know what the middle one was, either. What the hell could the middle one be that wouldn't do anything here? Yeah, I have no idea. MST? Nah, you'd have used that. Probably. Yeah, I, I have no idea what that one is. Oh, well. It can remain a mystery. Is anyone else still playing? We can watch. I'm sure they are. That was a lightning fast match. Alright, True Hero and Roadhawk are done, apparently. Who do we got? Monster Gamer? I don't think he's in the tournament. Hmm. Might Ludo. have been Book of Moon? No. If it's Book of Moon, she would have lived. That's what I thought, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rewatching the replay, and she said a book of moon in the middle column, column, but it got picked off. So I'm just trying to figure out what, what <clears> card <throat> she said. It was a dust tornado. Hmm. She should have used it before should have used it ever. Just, Probably just before setting those cards. Yeah, she could have also used it, uh, chaining, she could, she could, she could have chained it to the brain con. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my, I'm like, uh, echoing on your stream, so I thought you kept talking, but yeah. Oh, you are? If she, tribute, if she chained Dust Tornado to the e to the Brain Con and hit the deck dev, that would have been like... Actually, we watched Rikoko too much. 1,000 IQ. Uh, everyone I want to watch is done. All right, we'll watch Hydro Pump. <clears throat> we watched this person before, actually. Oh, they're on Chaos Fairy, right? <clears throat> Looks like Hydra is going to beat them, though. So they're down again. Oh, no, they've got a Gores. Never mind. That is very good. Actually, that's mid as hell. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Why you bounce the token? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you're winning this game. 
Their graveyards look stacked. Yours doesn't <laughs> and they have matter. Necroguard Knight. They even have Necroguard Knight. Nothing's nice. live in your graveyard. <laughs> Death Note IQ, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, like, we were... I guess... Yeah, it was too late. Because <clears throat> uh, I, 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 I expected the back row to be like nothing really and I thought she was just going to tribute over the Caius with Sirocco so it was really good sequencing by Gia to not normal summon until I mean that's kind of normal most people will do that but I guess it's didn't a normal favor until after the brain con resolved so that there is a if favor. she waited for the normal summon and then hit the back row after she realized it was deck dead it was too late well looks like <clears throat> Looks like Hydra is probably going to win this one. Uh, there are five fairies in grave. Yeah, Six. That's not good. So Soul Christia does not do much. <laughs> I don't think they play Soul. No, they just scoop. <clears throat> well, short one. We saw Hydro at the end of winning that match. Who else is out there? That one's over. That one's over. There's a couple fairy players still sticking around in round five. How's Gus Bowden doing? He's playing right Coco right now. Um, Giorgione and Ludovico. Yeah, we can watch the Ghost Italians. Rider, Ghost Rider and <clears throat> Shinu. Wait, looks like Ludo's done. Okay. Ghost I'll Rider's watch. still going. I'll, I'll get in this Ghost Rider game and see what's going on. <clears throat> looks like they're about to go to game number three. I need to grab a cough drop. Do we know what either of these two are playing? I don't. Hmm. Ghost Rod is probably playing some bird deck. I think that's what he's been playing. It's either that or Dragon Turbo. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess it could be Dragon Turbo. Is Pui gone? I think Pui is gone. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Dragon Turbo always feels like crap when I play it. <clears throat> I just draw a bunch of dragons. I can't do anything. So. Yeah, there's Dragon Turbo. There's seven rounds of Swiss. We might be doing Top Cut tonight. We might get through the whole thing. Rejuve Magic Stone? So it is Turbo. Well, I guess we get to see Turbo happen. Yeah. So now three you for three. After he did twice. What is uh, this person playing? Anyone we know? don't know what shit is on. Oh, I think it's probably Black Wings. So now draw, draw <clears throat> six. I think it's six. Yeah. yeah, draw six. Which means you get to keep all your cards. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Gotta love keeping all your cards. <laughs> I don't want to know what happens when a Dragon Turbo game goes into time. Foolish. Send yeah, Dandy. Send Dandy. <clears throat> Why Dandy? Why do you want Let's Dandy go. so bad? Let's go. I think they're playing... They might be playing my deck. <laughs> you think they are? They played it in one of the deck downstairs. Hmm. Hmm. But they could be playing any kind of plant deck still. There's a lot of decks that might fool us to Dandy. <laughs> For sure. It's not a candy, it's a cough drop. My throat's being funny. Hmm.
Well, we are waiting for the Dragon Turbo player to think. <clears throat> a set Ryko. There's a lot of things the set could be. Future fusions being used. That's a pretty good card well, in the dragon deck. You hate to see it. <laughs> Here, I'll be back. L throat. Don't insult my throat like that. Well, we're going to be adding some blue eyes. Only two, because one's in the graveyard. Hmm. Well, Dragon Turbo player's got a ton of cards, so... They could probably just kill somehow, right? Consonants being used. Is that the second debris? No, it's the third debris. No more debris, no more white stone in deck. <laughs> Card D. That's exciting. And now we all, now we're gonna know what uh Vortex like. Trooper, that's so based. Vanities in game three. Mark of the Rose. Okay. Mark. Okay. Is this like it one could, of those? It could be like a Chaos Plant deck. Yeah, I, I think it might be that deck. It could be. Avarice. I think there might be a crow yet? No. Ten cards deep, no crow. Feels bad. Although most people only side like two. Hmm. Well. Ghost Rider might just randomly kill here. Dragon Turbo has been known to do that. Indeed. What does this game become? <laughs> no, no, it's not in the main. This is game three. Yeah. True nade. Yep, yep, yep. Yuck. We've seen future fusion used a lot. And it's about to be usually, used again. Usually if true nade comes down, it's game over. Well, there's probably going to be some red meds. Yeah. I'm going to guess at least two. They got to get through a pretty sizable wall. But they can oh, just Brio okay. it. Okay, might go for a Brio line. I think that's what's happening. It should just be lethal. They only need like one red net or something. Hold on, let me do the math. Yeah, they can do 8k with just one red man. Assuming the face down's a dragon. Or maybe the face down isn't a dragon. Probably got another red med though. It, it could be like a Drago. I don't know. The face down. Format has more broken cards than most others in comparison to the time. I don't know about that. That's not true. That's actually just <laughs> a, subjectively Edison false. Like, <laughs> yeah, Edison is like the weakest, is like the most nerfed format within like two years in either direction. Yeah. From like Phantom Darkness to, to yeah. I don't even know when. There's probably not yeah. a format after Edison. As a no, leader. there's not. <laughs> well, that's that game. I mean, I still don't know what Sherry was playing. <laughs> it was probably just the I'm watching the replay because there's a chance it was the cat deck. But yeah, you have like Teledad. This game is still going. What is going on into, with these like, two? Dark Strike format. Man, I do not want to watch Blackwing vs. Hero B. I want to watch something else. Who else is left? Uh, Who are yeah, Edison is very nerfed. Lone Far, okay. Crops is still alive. 
Yeah, Crops was uh, yeah, I will watch this. undefeated until he ran into Corinna. He's playing frogs. Ah. Uh, um, everyone's playing frogs. I'd rather watch frogs than Hero Beat vs. Blackwing. Yeah, Titanium is pretty underwhelming against Dragon Turbo. Just gets run over by Blue Eyes. Yeah, not that good. I think this is a Chaos Plant deck. Because I'm seeing multiple Tomato, Faded. It looked like it. Dark Strike format. <laughs> Made me fall in love with Cold Wave. Cursed. It's like Teledad format, Dark Strike format, Light Sworn format, which is like full power Light Sworn. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Teledad is like way more powerful. Ooh, there's a cocky Dark plant Strike format here. was way more powerful. Dark Strike format just has full power Black Wings. And also Dark Full strike. power Black Wings, and it's like. And you have disgusting rescue cat stuff with like more than one monk and more than one cat. And everyone can summon Dark Strike Fighter a bunch and just kill You can it. just randomly do. And there's three Cold Wave. 8,000. Yeah. Three it's Cold disgusting. Wave is not okay. Three Cold Wave with the monk cat stuff. Yeah, that's a. Twilight format was a bit more balanced, but you still have three charge of the Light Brigade, so I mean, that's kind of nice. It's three charge, um, three Lumina. It's still way crazy. There's three Destiny draw and two Allure. Yeah, three, three Destiny three draw. Three Destiny draw, two Allure. You can play some, like, crazy zombies and heroes stuff. Too. Three Trag, three Necrogarna. There were multiple Sorks. Were there? Yeah. I think there were two. Shemu's a lover of plant decks. And... I appreciate it. I'm gonna try out this Chaos Plant deck. I've never played it. I played it once for a video. It was alright. No, no, I'm not saying... I'm, it's just somebody was saying that Edison is, like, super broken. Edison is very not broken. It's, like, the opposite. Yeah. Edison has, Unbroken. like, the least amount of broken cards. It's fixed. Which isn't to say that there aren't broken cards. There are a fair share. There's a lot of broken cards. That's just Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh always is going to have cards that are absurd. The thing is, like, you look at cards like Brain Con, Dust Shoot, Cold Wave. These cards are at three and goat. <laughs> it's like, I feel like you, you ban cards and then whatever's the best becomes absurdly good. Whatever's left over. Like Mind Con. Is like this is how you know really... the goat's a trash format, by the way. Yeah, three minecon goat, three brain con. Three the format wave. following Edison was Frog FTK, yeah. Right. That format was not okay. It was all Substitute's fault. Ban that card. Ban it from Edison. But the Edison. funny thing is, like, that, that deck wasn't even the most... Like that wasn't that deck wasn't the only insane thing about that format. You also had like no, it was just the number one X most insane thing. Had, like crazy X savers, infernities. The saber mirror was the most balanced thing in that format. Well, I think I think the thing in Goat is that like they're surrounded by graceful pot duo <laughs> snatch, so it's like the cards seem less insane than they really are. Like, BLS would be insane in Edison. There's a lot of cards in GOAT that would not be sane in it. Like, triple Last Will. Yeah. Triple Dimension Fusion. Yeah, Dimension Fusion? That's, that's That card is absurd. Demok. You could maybe have Demok in Edison. Um, let me think about that. There's not a lot of broken spells. I feel like frogs, frogs would be able to abuse it. They could play it. I just don't think it would be broken. Yeah, it might not be broken. It would just be strong. Be a good card. But like, <laughs> imagine like Brain Con, tribute your monster for my democ, get back Brain Con. <laughs> <laughs> Demox a lot better in formats where there's like way more broken spells. 
And I assume there's, like, there's like two broken spells. And even they're kind of situational. So it looks like... Is this Diva Hero? What is this? What is Jinzo playing? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a Book of Moon right there. Basically just a hard and egg one. Maybe he's got the Monarch out the Trag. But no Treeborn rotation with all these back row feels like not even playing frogs. Dust Tornado using end phase hits the mirror. Um, Ho hovering sure in standby these, phase these on the instant. on frogs? Which yeah. We've got a back row. There's a uni in graveyard, and we saw him playing frogs earlier. But yeah. no treeborn and a bunch of back row makes it feel like not even frogs. I'm Problem. just trying to figure out what his plan to out this track is. Summon a monarch will do it. Feels so bad to summon it over Android. Yeah, but you probably have to. It's a 3k tray. How are you getting rid of it? Whatever. Everyone like the stream. Subscribe to the channel. While we wait for Beast Beats to summon a monarch. She's viewing extra. Maybe he's got another Junk Synchron. You go Red Dragon. It outs the tray. <laughs> It's not good though. It's much worse than summoning a monarch. We need to advance to like 2014, 2015. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, there's some okay formats in early 2014. But I don't like them as much as Edison. 2015 is just pure garbage. I can't name a single tolerable format. Maybe clown format or something. Not, uh, not even. Post Duelist Alliance, there's not a, like, no format that I would really want to play. That's just too much power creep. I don't feel like playing Necroz Mirrors or whatever. I actually just gonna hard pass here with the android. That feels so bad. It's just gonna get run over by this thirty-six track. You didn't have an answer last time. He might have a threat more. But then you've gone neg one again to stop the track from yeah, getting your I android. <laughs> oh it's, boy. I don't know why you had set so much. Maybe it's because he just has no treeborn. All right, well, There's the threatening you are now down, what, three cards? This Trag is uh, putting in work. <laughs> this is why Trag is the best card in the entire format. You guys need to believe me. The Spider Demon <laughs> Boy is not to be slept on. Look at him. Look at him. Fen hates Trag. Fen hates Trag? She hates it. How can she play frogs and not play Trag? That's just wrong. Trag is my boy. Trag's like one of my favorite cards in the format. The Shadow Mirror is probably the most skillful. This sounds like some copium, dude. <laughs> I don't want to play any format involving Shadows. Thank you very much. Exceeds monsters are so cool. That's true. Exceeds are very well designed. But there's a lot of Exceed formats between 2011 and 2014 that are much more playable than like 2015 Yu Gi Oh! I would think that Meadowlands and Vegas would have to be like the best Exceeds formats, maybe. Maybe Firewater is okay, too. I don't know. Yeah, I've played Metalands. I think it's too fast for my taste, but... 
know. Tengu format's like technically an Exceed format, too. Tengu? Yeah. Yeah. They have Exceed, so I mean, it counts. Mermails are just really annoying to me. <laughs> I can see that. The problem with Fire Water format is I don't like either the Fire or the Water deck. But there's probably other stuff you can just play in there. Yeah, I think there is. In terms of, like, most skillful format, I would think that, like, it'd probably just be some modern Tier 0 format. Yeah, it's probably issues of Like, Tier is probably the most skillful format, right? What? Uh, issues of tier? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I. That's basically what I've heard. I didn't play it. Unfortunately, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players can't grasp that a format could be skillful and still suck. <laughs> Wait, this actually just doesn't out the track. <laughs> Is the track gonna solo the whole game? We gotta send this to Fen. <laughs> this man is just losing to Trag. Only Trag, <laughs> nothing else. There's no other cards. If this goes to time, crops will have accumulated a lot of life points. He can just stall out indefinitely with one threatening roar per turn. Lightning oh. Vortex, what? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> And you still have a 3k track. He's gonna hit for 3k and then you're losing in time. What do you do? <laughs> oh, wait, isn't Aren't we like three minutes into time? I have no idea. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's funny how one Android is 600 and then jumps to 2400 when you have the second one. You're making the track small. No, nah, I think he's just going to sink with it at this point. Although, he should have maybe have made two eights. Did he make it a six no, already? No, he can still make He can make it six again. If he wants. He should have done it before he summoned D.Va. He should have said, track six. Why is it matter when you do not. it? You want to, you want to get the Mally out of the deck, probably. I think you just go, like... I mean, yeah, I, th I think this was probably... Go fine. two eights. I think you'd probably go Mali first, then Diva, but other than that, it's fine. Whew. I mean... Right. But yeah, like, a t tier format isn't supposed to be, like, based on combos. It's, it's like, very... Tier is not even that combo heavy compared to... No, it's, it's players. like, uh... Is very adaptive, like depending on like what gets milled, how you order chain links, all this kind of stuff. It's not when just like to, the same when line to every game. spend your interruptions, all this kind of stuff is what issues in tier formats all about. I'm sure the people really... are right that it's like hyper skillful, but yeah, I don't. It's not really like a I just don't just a combo better format. Anyway, he should make a level eight here. I think. Make thought ruler so that then you wait wait. Thought you ruler. Make it <laughs> I was like, make a thought ruler so that then you can make Android in game. <laughs> nah. Twelve hundred. He should still just make the thought ruler though. All yeah, right, not gonna. Very chain link heavy. Thought ruler is funny to make in time. Time has uh, been a bitch today. Uh, is crops really gonna win on time? <laughs> Oh no, this is this is Crop's last turn. And then Jinzo has a one more turn to try and get him below 74. Yeah, and there's no more T well, there's maybe one more T roar if he plays three. <laughs> Wabaku. How many turns left to Beast Beast's turn, then Jinzo's turn? I feel like forty five was too short. There's way too many games going into time today. You should need to be like ridiculously slow to go into time or something. Just 
Soul okay. Links on Stardust. Caius? Caius the Trag to burn. Nope, just Darn. Eliza. But that's really good. It's going to be hard for Jinzo to do damage. Hmm. If he, if he monarchs his rise and attacks directly, they have the same life points, right? That'd be funny. They're literally tied if he monarchs his rise. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's actually gonna happen. So then, is it just sudden death? I think so. I don't. I, somebody was saying that earlier. It might just be sudden death after this. Can you? Yeah. Any other way special summoning a monster? Be pretty good. Miracle fusions probably alive. Crops has a one card. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's game. That is game. <laughs> Anything no with fader. Yeah, if, if it's Fader, that would actually be hilarious. <laughs> if the last card is Fader. Yeah, I'd be so And he too. went through zero cards, essentially. <laughs> well, just attack with Ab Zero and you win. <laughs> Seems pretty yeah. good. It has to be Ab Zero first. It has to be Ab Zero first. Okay, good. <laughs> What are you thinking about? <laughs> I'm thinking of... It's like, if you have anything, you drop it no matter what. Either you have Battle Fade or you lose the duel. And it's... Well, he has another turn. Oh, no, no. This is the last turn. No, this is it. If he takes his yeah. 25, it's over. So it's, it's, yeah, if you take 25, you lose. I think I'm gonna declare the Jinzo is one. <laughs> like, what? Is, what are we thinking about? <laughs> what is it? What? Uh, Karibo? What? Like? <laughs> yeah, is it Karibo? Oh yeah. Oh, not, why would you slow roll that? Why did you think so long about that? That's so dumb. Why would you slow roll that? Yeah, that's kind of a dick move. That was so weird. Just like slam the fader every Figure time. Out. He, I guess he didn't know what the. I, he, he's, he's saying he didn't know what the rules were. Eating. Oh well, that one's over. Anyway, who's left? Is that the last one? I think that's the last one, right? Oh no, yeah, it's the last one. All right, they get a five minute break and they're gonna post the round six pairings. That's a sucky way to lose, honestly. There was, like, no way yeah. he would have lost that duel. He just... Crops just had, like, a million stall cards. <laughs> just, like... It's like a Final Countdown deck. <laughs> T-Roar, T-Roar, T-Roar. Fader. <laughs> yeah, that was, like, not even a real game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because of the time rolls. Ugh. Yeah, it's real bad. They should make the rounds, like, a little bit longer in the future, I think. I swear, like, a quarter of the games are going to time. It's just like, I'm going to sit on Android and install cards. <laughs> Which, like, I understand that's, like, the meta for this format, but... Yeah, it's not real I, bad. I don't have to like it. <laughs> real bad. One-hour rounds are definitely better. Then it's just, like, like two really slow people or something just go into time and no one else has to deal with it. Definitely feels like a huge portion of people go into time that wouldn't otherwise. Just because it's a little bit shorter rounds. Anyway. Are these next rounds? Is that, that's everyone, right? They just need to report or... 
and then we should be good to go. Okay. Well, we're getting down to the end of Swiss. We'll have plenty of time if we want to do top cutting um, today. We probably will have plenty of time anyway. These rounds are going to be done by 7 or something. I don't know how long. We could probably play out top cut. It'll just be up to whatever the players want to do, I think. What's going on with these standings? On that round 5? Shouldn't people be like 4 0 5 0 now? What's going on? Did some people go like 3 0 and drop, or is this just wrong? This has to just be inaccurate, right? Seems like that's the case. Oh, there we go. So, who all is 5 0? We got three 5 0 players Gia, Gospod, and Ludo. Corinna's 4 1. Giorgione is 4 1. 4 1. Ghost Rider, Hydro, Zeris are all 4 1. Ronox 4 1. Yep's 4 1. And then. There's a couple people with 3 2 that might hang on. Crop should be 4 1 now once that gets reported. Yeah. Alright. For some reason, it hasn't been reported yet. I don't know. What are they? Are they like arguing in FL chat? What's going on? Dinner. Oh, they're supposed to start in like a minute. Hopefully they get it figured out by then. <sighs> Gotta keep the keep the matches coming. Only two more rounds. I don't know how long do they think top eight would take to play out. Assuming they do it non sequentially. It'd be like I don't know, what is it, one, two, three, four matches or something along. We'll see what, see what happens with that. Just top eight get invites? Uh, is it top eight or top 12? You know? Uh, it's, no, it's going to be either top eight or top 16, depending on how many people are in. But I don't know. It's probably top what eight. They... There's only nine, There's six. Like... A little under 100. 96 players. I would think it would be top 8. 16 seems like a lot. Wow, someone actually played going 0-4. Dedication. How many people are eliminated at this point? Or have dropped? A little over half. Then we got a bunch of like Three twos. Well, it doesn't look like three twos are gonna. Well, you could maybe go X two and top still if some lucky shit happened with these top people. There might be someone. It said invites for top sixteen. Two invites per sixteen. Two invites per 16 would be 12 invites. That sounds like a weird number. I don't know. What do, what do we round 12 to? That's literally equidistant from 8 and 16. <laughs> I don't know.
They're still arguing in FL chat. Oh, wish they would work this out faster. So we can move on. Round seven was supposed to start by now. They're still just debating time rules. Is this Buchol's thing actually accurate? Because I've been told Chalong does it wrong. No, uh, they, they use the Retrobot, which is the... It, like, calculates it correctly. Oh, okay. Well, that's neat, I guess. Wait, look at it. Who's the highest in the 3-2 category? Not sure. Sizzle and Rennie. So it would be one of them if anyone goes X2 and tops. Highest in 4-1 is Rykoko. Actually, there's a big tie in the top 4-1. Corinna is doing well. Corinna might top. I guess it could still go horribly wrong somehow, but it looks good for her right now. Don't want to root against her. Ah, they finally figured out the pairings. Good. <laughs> Who are we watching? Uh, let's look. I want to watch Zyko. I need, I need some fairy gameplay. Sounds good. Oh yeah, they're still in, actually. Did they drop? Um, I don't see them. R.I.P. They're gone. <laughs> Tragic. We can watch Gia versus Giorgione. Nah, I don't want to see Blackwing versus Hero Beat. That's like... <laughs> uh, what else is there? We can watch Shamu playing Chaos Plants. Who's Shamu versus? Big Llama. <laughs> Alright, I'm down for that. <laughs> I, think, I think the DB name is like SK something. I gotta re-log again because my thing's SK broken. SK789. Big Llama, come get it. <laughs> Intimidating Chad message, I like it. <laughs> come get it. Alright, we just gotta wait for Big Llama to get in here. Ace of Spades says that Zyko is out. And Ace of Spades would know because they are Zyko, so that makes sense. True, true. Match starting. Nice. We shall get in there. We begin with a humble tea set from Big Llama or whatever. <laughs> whatever their name is. I don't know, they're just called WZ for some reason. Gotta love when their DB name doesn't match their Discord name. So they're both gonna tea set. Just tea setting back and forth at each other, I guess. I think we know that 
Shamu is playing some kind of chaos plan. Oh, yes! Fairy gameplay. You love to see it. You love to see it. We got exactly what I wanted. You're welcome. This is all I need. <laughs> fairies fairies and quick draw are like... The MVC most, is a good player too. The most exciting matchup, or the most exciting decks to watch. Actually, the fairy what? quick draw matchup is fun to watch too, though. This is uh, Chaos Plants, though. Yeah, but it's still a hype matchup. <laughs> We, we picked the best one for sure. This has got to be the coolest thing going on right now. Way better than Dio versus Georgion. <laughs> I'll tell you what's going on in that game. Georgion summoned Stratos, and Gia summoned a Blackwing monster and set trap cards. That's what happened. Here we're going we're gonna to get to see things occur. Things go down. Let's go, fairies. We have another based fairy fan in the chat. Ah. Fairies are so fun to watch. All right, we're just passing. See, this is peak gameplay. <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> this is sure. peak gameplay. <laughs> If there are at least a couple turns past, you're not in a real duel. No, no, no. This is uh, Format Libraries hosting their um, Edison World Championship thing. It's not related to Konami. Yeah, I don't think Konami has, like, an official thing for that. It's just Time Edison's Wizard side stuff. events. At least not yet. <laughs> not yet, but soon. It's going good, Joy Boy. Keegan knows people at Konami. He'll, he'll work something out. He has Konami connections. It's probably Pro Storm's build because it's on the Legacy of Yada. I'm not sure how I feel about the Legacy of Yada and Pro Storm's build, to be honest. It's like okay. I like Legacy of Yada in general. But I don't know about throwing it into fairies. I feel like it's too slow. Mark, let's go. So, Tribute this for a monster. It could be a Book of Moon. No Book of Moon. That's rough. Gonna take 14. Tribute some of the Titanio that I know is in their hand. Okay, never mind. Copy plan. That works. They're thinking here. Is it a Torrential? Hmm. Six I feel like... Six. I it's would hold. Six. No, no, no. You can copy the level one and then make a six. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <That's laughs> you can make a six or... Or a five. <laughs> this is actually really good against fairies. Catastrophe. Catastrophe can be tough to deal with. Alright, there's a bottomless. I hate this card. <laughs> I don't play this card in anything. But at least they got rid of the Catastrophe. Another Nova Summoner. Let's go. The endless line of recruiters. Fairy gameplay. Is it normal for this plant deck to play Copy Plant? I feel like it's not. Is there Gigabyte stuff going on in here? Or... I have no idea. Gonna Mirror could, Force. Could... I guess that's an okay Mirror Force. Getting rid of a recruiter, recruiters, pretty good and stuff. Plants versus fairy, yeah, that's what's going on. All right, we got a warrior, warrior lady. lady. Not the, the one I thought would warrior be summoning ladies. warrior lady. <laughs> Deep prison gameplay. <laughs> Finally, no frogs on the screen. Finally, screening. gameplay is occurring. <laughs> Look, it's like I summon a monster, and then and then you summon a monster, and you out my monster, and then I go, and then <laughs> this is what it's meant to be. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! as Kazuki Takahashi intended. <laughs> Just summon the Dim Elk. I know you have it. 
Another legacy of you. They drew both of them? Wild. Well, they're kind of up two cards now. Yes. No, no, no. This is one and a half cards. Yeah. <laughs> Card advantage is weird. If you think about it, we should always keep track of it in terms of halves, but no one ever does. No one ever does. I feel like in standard fairies, I would just play six recruiters. We're going to see a Lone Fire. Lone Fire to Titanium is so bad versus fairies. They have infinity outs between Honest and everything turning into DD Warrior Lady. They're like 15 copies of DD Warrior. <laughs> An orange light going to be used, maybe. I feel like you should have orange lighted the first one. But maybe you just don't orange light at all here, because you D Warrior Lady just still outs it. Probably better to save orange light for like Okay, he's going he's actually just gonna use it. Well wait, the honest would have outed this by itself. Right? Unless you just fear Giga Plant, but if you fear Giga Plant, just wait for them to do that play and then orange light that. I don't know. I think that was a weird orange light usage. I wouldn't have done that. But maybe there's maybe it's like depends on what they have. All right, they're going for DDR to get back the Cataster. Probably is the best one. Yeah, you need an answer to that now. How many fairies in grave? There's four. Man, you really don't want this to die. Now your Christie is dead. That's not good. You need an out to this Cataster. Cataster is putting in work. Four fairies? He's got five fairies, right? All right, call. That could put him down to four. He could bring back orange light. Nah, that's not a good play. If he had Christia, maybe just bring back. Ah, see, now this adds back orange light, and then you just stop the, the Cataster. Okay, now I don't know what's going on. Do you have an out to this? Oh, well, there you go. That's probably going to be game over. That was just everything they could have possibly wanted and more. Harold did put him to four, yeah. It's going to be real tough for Sky to come back from that one. You could maybe have Mark Caius. Mark Caius hit over Freed. It's not terrible. But we're just going to set two go for Blind Allure. <laughs> that does not radiate confidence to me. <laughs> Did they miss? Oh, no, they found Gores. Okay. Mark Caius would be really good. They'd be drawing a dead Christia and you'd out their whole field. So they'd only have, like, two cards. Mark is pretty nice as an out to uh, Christia. They have Honest in hand, actually. You can't out their whole field with Mark Kais. No. Hmm. That's tough. I don't know what the heck you do. I think this game is over. Unless one of those sets that you set before Blind Allure. No, wait. Mirror Force is gone. I don't know what you do. I don't know. Kind of seems over to me. Even... No, never mind. Because two fairies got banished by Freed. Set a monster, flip needle ceiling. That's your best plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's about all this is going to do, I think. I don't know. Seems like they're very dead on my screen. Dead on my screen. So there, is, there is Mark on the Rose. All right, they have it. Did they have two light monsters? No. It was too much to ask for. I think you just got to take Christia. Christia, 
hit yeah, over. You, could, you can't hit over anything. They're just honest. Yeah, but honest isn't lethal. Yeah, but it's gonna leave you on zero monsters. Well, you maybe you have a maybe your card in hand does something. I don't know. Like they just honest, and then they're drawn Christian next turn off the top. Yeah, but the Christie is dead. Sure, but this is still fine. I think. I think you should still honest. Pretty much half the. Or maybe just, you could call I, their bluff and say they don't have Kai's, but. If I had done it. Yeah, that's probably how you have to do it. But then if they do have Kai's, you got issues. Yeah, if you if you do have Kai's, you have to do it. Where you hit over the freed and then banish the angel. Nope. All right, well, is it Caius or not? Are they actually that good that they drew the Caius off the Allure? No. Cyber Valley. That's so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Fen hates this card, too. Fen just being proven wrong right and left. Fen just down bad after this stream, honestly. Tragodia and uh, Tragodia and Cyber Valley are the MVPs of the stream. Yeah, that tra that track in the other game was like sitting at over three k for like four turns. Well, down to seven hundred life is scary. Maybe they shouldn't have played around Torrential there. They could have just won the duel. Well, if it's like a herald, it's, it doesn't win. Well, I guess you could. If it's a herald, it wouldn't be set on yeah. the field in defense mode. <laughs> you could just summon honest and poke for game, right? Yeah. The only time honest is worse than Kalut. Okay, it was Raiko. Just target the monster, man. Yeah, know. you target the monster. Watch it be Sangan or Dandelion. Oh. Man. <laughs> it is. They can search the battle fader. Do they play that card? Oh, I get. I think they do. I think they do play battle fader. Yep. They can just tribute some Christia. They can. <laughs> that, yeah, that's a good point. That's that would be point. an issue. That's a good point. <laughs> they can. Just, they can just tribute someone for Christia. They better do it. I'm gonna be mad if they don't. <laughs> Fen when proven wrong right and left? What? <laughs> oh, wrong right and left. Oh, I, I get it, I get it. I misread you. Yeah. Fen in shambles, honestly. What? They didn't do it! Help! They're really worried about this back row. It's a, it's a set spell, man. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? Just go for it, man. Wait, which Christie is this? Oh, that was in their grave. Clearly that back row is not that valuable to Shemu. <laughs> and I swear, when it turns out it was a freaking brain control out of him. It'd be funny if it was a dead brain con. Ah, there <laughs> Well, don't you feel ridiculous now, WZ? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Wait, how many fairies? That's four right fairies, now? though. I think you should lose next turn. Okay. D does he, unless he has, like, a D person to set behind it. Or a light monster. But you know there's a Christia, my friend. You've forgotten. Ah. <sighs> Just summon, oh, yeah, you're dead. You're, you're just just summon the guy. Here. Summon the dude. There it is. All right. You, you, you add Honest back. You're dead. Let us not forget that they still should have won a turn earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> what do you mean you forgot? No, no, no. I, he's, he's not saying that, but oh, he forgot he's typing the... something. I'm like wondering what he could be saying. I forgot about the Christia. I am dumb. Well, the opponent did, too. 
<laughs> yeah, both of them forgot. <laughs> they both forgot about the Christia. Big Llama forgot that you can tribute summon Christia. God forbid He's that a... card be even slightly difficult to enable. <laughs> Oh, look, Joy Boy's back. He is. Welcome back to the stream, Joy Boy. We really missed you dearly. Beloved audience member. It hasn't been the same since you left. Truly, it hasn't. Has not. Well, this is an interesting matchup. It's probably the coolest matchup all day, honestly. No frogs involved makes everything a lot more fun to watch. Agreed. Oh, welcome to the frog hate stream, everyone. Be sure to press the like button. Press the like button if you too despise the frog menace. Plaguing our format. This is probably just Pro, Pro Storm's list card for card, right? Does he play Triple Book of Moon? I feel like he has to. Maybe he only plays double. Triple's really good in Fairy. Or at least in Pure Fairy. Protects you from all those dumb marks. Looks like a turn one power tool is happening. Nope. It's a lone fire. The turn one power tool play loses hard to orange light. It would like suck if it got orange light. Going for a tomato? So he is going to go for the power tool. Let's see if WZ has it. Or Big Llama or whatever. People confusing me with their Discord names. You have the Herald? Nope. We're thumbs upping. All right. Well, probably going to grab a Mark of the Rose off of that. Liking on an alt for Frog Hate. Nice, ryan -eyed. That's extremely based. All my homies hate frogs. It's a two-for-two two trade, but you like completely stopped their turn. Two-for-two two plus tempo. So it's basically a win for the fairy player. Anyway, they don't appear to have any monsters, and this power tool is just going to get the go plus again. So not looking good for Big Llama in game number two. All right. Well, we know they have a power pickaxe, which I, is kind of questionable to be siding that against fairy, I think. Like, they don't actually get any value out of any of the cards in their graveyard. They just help set up for stuff. Maybe they just main one, though. I don't know. D prison going to be used to get rid of the power tool, but you're still down two cards. Or one and a half. Whatever. They got to go plus off this power tool twice, right? So they're on seven here on five. But making the power tool is inherently a neg. So they only really went net plus one off the power tool. Gonna end phase Legacy of Yada. I don't know why you would end phase that. Because if they have Dust Shoot, it's better to hold it. Hmm. If they have Solemn, there's no chance they're Soloming your Legacy of Yada. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. What about Dark, like decree. Dark Bribe, the Legacy of Yada? <laughs> Decree is like the only thing you have to worry about. Does this deck side decree you? It could, probably, right? Maybe that's something to be scared of. No, the real thing to be scared of is Dark Bribe on the Legacy of Yada. <laughs> Dark Bribe on the upstart. Well, the Dimalk's good here. It gives them a monster, but it's just going to get marked, of course, predictably. 
you have an answer? Is there a book? I don't know if you should have summoned this if you didn't have a way to deal with the mark. That seems questionable. Because you knew it was there. They added it off the power tool. Oh well. These two are good friends and they play locals together. That's cool. Explains why they're talking about uh, voice chat <laughs> at the start of uh, the chat logs, which the viewers can see now that you've moved here. It's great. Oh, Shamu plays. I didn't know Shamu and James were at the same levels. <laughs> yeah, bribe the legacy to assert dominance. If I was playing bribe in my deck, I would definitely just use it on a legacy. Well, that torrential's not terrible. Does make the Ronak. demon this time. Ronak, we're trying to limit the frog games. We've seen too many. <laughs> no more frog games, please. No more. <laughs> I physically cannot handle it. It's gone too far. I just need to side more frog hate, for God's sake. Start just playing, like, Mask of Restrict and everything. Even if you play Kaius, just, like, side out your Kaius for Mask of Restrict. Alright, Angel's gonna be summoned. That's pretty good. Fader. So maybe a Kaius. Kaius wouldn't be bad. It would at least force an orange light. Looks like that's... Oh! Vanity's Fiend. Honest? <laughs> Honest or you're feeling bad here? Ooh. Ooh, you're feeling bad. That's not good. <laughs> Looks like you're feeling bad. Das ist nicht gut. Rota for Warrior Lady as well. Man, you gotta get rid of that thing. I don't know. It's not good. Not good at all. <sighs> Might be a set Raiko. Chances are pretty good, honestly. They hit him with Warrior Lady, you Raiko, their Vanity's Fiend, you're not feeling too bad there. Mm. No, that's not good. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's that is not... real bad. <laughs> that is not an encouraging sign. <laughs> oh, man, that's not good. What are your back row? There's got to be something. Maybe you have, like, Book of Moon, and you just hit over it. It's like when people start summoning their Vyus and Crows in defense. <laughs> like, <laughs> did Carpath Not become German good. for two seconds? Yes, I did. You you weren't you didn't mishear me. I spoke some a simple German sentence. I took like a bunch of German in high school, but then I forgot it all. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it feels bad. Allure. Allure always feels good to resolve. They get rid of the second Vanity's Fiend. Well, now you just gotta out this one, which you apparently seem unable to do with three back row. Come on, it's... This deck plays triple DD Warrior Lady and double Honest and, like, D-Prison and Book of Moon and Mirror Force and you can't out a Vanity's Fiend? That ain't right. That shit ain't right. Okay, that outs Vanity's Fiend. Let's go! They did it! This is even a plus one. It trades with both of the monsters. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Come on, you know it's Warrior Lady. Just hit him. That's real good for Big Llama. How come fairy players always draw freed at the exact circumstance when it's good? Can anyone explain this to me? Use duo lingua. They're just that skilled. They are. Fairy players are the most skilled players by far. It's not even close. Mirror force. Yeah. What? Is that not DD Warrior go, Lady? They might be trying to go for game next turn. What goes for game? This plus another normal summon? Does not work. You need an 18. But they have two back row. What is your... Do you have Storm, maybe? Okay, well, now you just... Yeah, now you just feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> now you just look ridiculous, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> don't you feel ridiculous now? <laughs> is he saying this motherfucker, or is he saying this mirror force? Who's to say? I don't know. It could be either. I know which one I'm saying. That was a questionable mirror force. <laughs> so greed. You gotta go for freed, right? Gets over the warrior lady. Yeah. I hope the other one's RFDD. <laughs> it is just warrior lady, though. Very weird. Yeah, that'd be funny with the other Yeah, their one is return. Oh, they don't have game, though. They could do... They could still get in a great position. They could do 51 and make a synchro, and they can, they can make Brio bounce their call and reset it or something. Yeah, that could be neat. But they don't have it. They're setting their other back row. Shamu's still up one and a half cards. They never draw Freed into Machina Fortress. They always draw their last DD Warrior Lady instead. Sounds like a, a very Ryan eyed themed problem to me. I mean, if you had Storm, I'd get why you would mirror there every time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if he had Storm, he would have activated Storm. Yeah. So I don't think he has Storm. In fact, he doesn't have a normal summon either. What are the five cards in your hand that you are not playing anything? Hey, Carpath, how are you? Yes, I am. Breaker. Breaker? I guess because of limb, people said this in fairies. Well, you hit a bluff minecon. It would be hilarious if it was Gores right now. <laughs> you would just... <laughs> imagine. Imagine if he had Gores. You would feel so betrayed by their play. Said minecon. Oh, come on. You know, Breaker's really good against these two, actually. Yeah, it is. But not when he is the one being yoinked. But the weird thing about those is, like, uh, you only hit them when you while you control them. <laughs> yeah, but at least it stops it from getting snatched back. All right. Oh, <laughs> Vanity speed number three. Thing. This is overkill, man. What's going on? That's disgusting. It's just... Why do you even play three of this? Does that mean they main triple Caius? I have no idea. I mean, if you play three Mark, maybe you can justify it? I don't know. Three is a lot. It is a lot. Three is like a, a playing against frogs ratio or something. See, this person has the frog hate in the side, which is why they're up here where they belong in Pop Cut. All you other people clearly don't hate frogs enough. Ryko, 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 nope. What does back row? What are your back row? They don't do anything. <laughs> ah. Play trap cards that out Vanity Sphine, please. <laughs> oh, I just realized that guy who asked me how I was called me Cat Path. entertaining typo we're the only people watching this game how is no one else watching this game this is the best game going on right now <laughs> you guys just want to watch frog gameplay what is this whatever thumbs up the stream while they're side decking
It helps out. Mm. James, which person's list is similar to yours? Shamu or WZ? WZ's list looks like it was net decked off Pro Storm. I mean, I could be wrong about that. But... Wow, Phil is a great player. One of the Bongo Boys. <laughs> is that a team in War League? It is. I see. Pretty stacked team. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know James even had a... Oh, you know what? I did see some replays of him playing against someone on our team with that deck. I think Alskair was playing like some KFC thing against him. I don't know why Alskair was playing KFC. Because it's a based deck for based individuals. That's an age. <laughs> Carpath, can you remove the wig now? The joke is over. There's no wig. Stop it. <laughs> Carpath, can you move your face somewhere else on the screen? Carpath, can you remove your wig? I think we're in the optimal place on the screen now. I think so, too. Any streamer who has their face anywhere else on the DB overlay is just doing it wrong. All right, so we got a T set into a Rota for Twilight Rose, into presumably a normal summon Twilight Rose, into a, I don't know... They could go Black Rose here instead of Power Tool. That might be neat. It's like a two for two. No, not great. Okay, they're gonna summon Dandy. What do you make? Goyo is just so bad versus all these fairy recruiters. Queen of Thorns, let's go! That's so based. They have to take a thousand every time they summon over their recruit. That's pretty based, especially. <laughs> is this game three? This is game three. Well, That's especially funny then. Time isn't called for five more minutes. By the way, it's Big Long, funny. play faster. It could, it could come up. <laughs> it could I cannot believe you are playing oh. this card. I cannot believe you're playing this card. Would you have deprisoned this if it weren't for time rules? <laughs> oh, good yeah, lord. Yeah, like, uh... I guess... Like, is this actually better than, like, Gaia Knight? I don't know. No. No, this card is terrible. Don't play this or in anything. Or Urquizas. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's so much worse. Urquizas is it literally... absolutely is. In time, it's insane. <laughs> Urquizas is, is better, though. It would have done 13. And then it would have gained 3. It would have been 24. Oh, it would have also gotten deprisoned, maybe. No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. All right, we got double recruit. The wall of recruiters is getting bigger. Help. <laughs> this is where it starts getting super obnoxious to play against fairies. Yeah. How do I deal with all of this crap? Okay, that's one way. Now you know I'll summon Vanity's Fiend. Please have honest, 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 please have honest. I want to see this play lose the duel. Come on. <laughs> it's it's insane that it's just walked every single time. No, what? <laughs> you play infinity outs to this card. What? Just never has honest or DD War, I mean. Oh my god. Hey, wait. What? How does this? How does this help? He just wants to pop the back. Oh, so heavy. you know what? That was pure genius. <laughs> how did you know? Why are you setting there bluffs? Books? There could be a book, and run this over with book, maybe. No, no, he's never drawn book one time. The book is really good against the equip. 
I haven't uh, seen him use Book one time in this match. Have you seen Book get used? It's like the best card in his deck in this matchup. It's never been used. Maybe he's fighting it. He should have brought them in. If he's mating it, he should have left it in. <laughs> True. What do you have? Dark Honest? What is this? <laughs> dishonest? What's he called? No, he's just called Dark Honest. It, uh, oh, wait, really? I thought yeah. it was called Dishonest. No, no, no. The, Konami's not smart enough to name something like that. They call him Dark Honest. Not Deceit. Not Dishonest. What the frick is it? To see honest and deceit. That'd be pretty funny. Can you, like, play outs to Vanity's Fiend in your fairy deck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently is... not. That is What's so... going on? Your deck should be, like, 50% outs to Vanity's Fiend. We're just running over Orange Light again. I should look at every card in your hand, and it should just be all outs to Vanity's Fiend. This is so bad. And the back row is never... This has to be... Either. This has to be a siding error. There's no way. There's no okay, way. It's just swinging through the back row, too. It just has to be a siding mistake. I refuse to believe it's anything else. That's true, Ramak. It is not difficult to out Van Ace Fiend and, and Fairies. Oh, my What? God. That's literally an out. Why are you <laughs> setting... That is a bit odd. But I, I mean, normal summoning something is a little bit telegraphed, but I mean, like, what other plays do you have? I don't know. You should have, like, endless plays. <laughs> what are all these cards? What are all these spell traps that don't out Vanity's Fiend? What are they? This reminds me of when Corinna summoned Vanity's against Dimitri, and it just walked <laughs> while like, Dimitri was drawing, like, eight cards. <laughs> What do you mean? You're scared. He's never had an out one time. What are your back row? Normal summoning into a potential torrential. Mirror force, one time. What? Wow. That this is, is the worst I, thing I've ever what, seen. What? <laughs> what on earth are these back rows? I, I'm, I'm watching this replay because... How? This is a side decking skill issue. I ref there's no I refuse to accept any other explanation. There should be triple Book of Moon, there should be triple D Prison, there should be Honest, there should be triple DD Warrior Lady. What is going on? How did Book never get activated? Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm probably not playing it in the entire fifty five. Why? It's the best. I it's such a good card. Oh my god. Maybe they just never drew it. Maybe maybe it was actually just I don't know. I really don't know. unlucky. It could it could happen. Queen right. of Thorns carried. Queen of Thorns <laughs> didn't carry shit. Uh that's Wait, Wait, isn't done. Wait, what? Okay, Trenchel is already no, let's game two, never mind. Alright, let's go see what the heck happens with Yep's game in time. No, it's wait. funny. They're done. It's funny that like <laughs> This is the best game, <laughs> and yet <laughs> it ended tragically. All right, well let's watch. Let's watch Corinna. She's against Vayu, so like easy dub, I guess. Unless she gets dust shoot deck dev or something here. Which could happen. Does she side the Dark Dust, or does she main the Dark Dust? Uh, I'm not sure. Call RFDD Salt? You should just not have RFDD call in Game 3 after you've seen Vanity's, triple Vanity's. After you saw three Vanity's, yeah. That's a skill issue if they're in there. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're thinking, like, Call helps me Turbo Christia out, but... No. Don't think it's worth it. Can I see a gang? 
So we've got Corinna versus some Italian guy. Oh, she must have searched out a card or something. She's got like eight cards in hand from dupe search or something. I don't know. Frogs will have eight cards in hand, but then only two of them will actually be relevant. <laughs> Can be like that. She might lose in time. Oh, she is down on life, and time has been called. Oh no. Not like this, Karina. <laughs> How big is this Gore's token? They only took a thousand, it's like a 1k Gore's token. Oh my god. I need to remove the cube roll and... <laughs> from my uh, profile in really big Yu-Gi-Oh! Discord. The back row was Dust, MST, Call, Rain Con. I mean, the Call being there is definitely a mistake. I think the Brain Con against Plants is kind of a mistake, too. I guess it's okay versus some of their cards. Corinna tells Luigi to hurry up, which... There's not actually time in this event. No, there is time. What do you mean? There's time. Many, We've many seen like three time people lose in time. time rolls. You watched my matchup comparison video and got a headache? That was the point. No, no, there are time rules. There are annoying time rules. Alright, Econ is being used on the gores. Deck Dev, we saw that one coming. <laughs> That is only Gore's not getting hit. <laughs> Chain and Crow. So it's going to hit two swap Toad. And but one. she's still going to be able to get the other enemy controller. She can do that. To take, to, to take the token. But how many... How many... Wait, what? wait, doesn't she have two? Why she... did she activate the next one? Attack with the token and then normal summon Gore's over it. Uh... Well, that's no, the end of the game. It's game over. <laughs> that's game over. She could have, yeah, she could have taken the token. He's the second enemy controller. And then brought out Treeborn, attacked with the token, and then normal summoned Gores over both. Yeah, nice frog deck. See, that's this like the only way you're going to get your hand live, you know? See, all these people in top, top Cut have all the frog hate. They know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There's Junk, which gets hit by Deck Dev. <laughs> It would have hit over both of those monsters, too. Unfortunate. Yikes. Anyway, this should just be the last turn. Or yeah, I think she needed to activate both Econs that turn. Depends on Right? What Am I crazy? No, nah, that's probably right. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I'm missing she something. She could have hit for 1k and then tribute set the gores. Yeah. Anyway... That okay, well, this doesn't do, anything. doesn't do anything. Nah, it's a game over. Shouldn't shouldn't time shouldn't we be in time? Um, was time not called, or did it like end up a little bit later because of whatever happened at the end of last round? Looks like time was up six minutes ago. What is? Did these two just not pay attention? Was that what happened? You know what? If they didn't, based. <laughs> Pretty, I mean, based, but like... <laughs> but I think time should have been called and Corinna should have lost by now. Well, it's unlikely that she wins anyway, but yeah. Well, unfortunate ending for Corinna. That was round six. Round six should be up. Yeah, that was the last so, one. Is that her second loss or her third? It's her second. She still has a chance. You can go X2. Mm -hmm. She's really high in the book. Time list was too. extended. Time got extended? That's what I'm reading in chat. I don't know. What? I don't know. It doesn't say that anywhere in FL. I'm just reading it in the YouTube chat. I don't know what's going on. The YouTube chat doesn't know what they're talking about. 
Uh, number one rule of streaming: always trust the chat. Absolutely not. The chat is gaslighting. Everything, me. everything they say, is. I trust members of the chat who like the stream and no one else. Everything they say is binding in a court of law. If they can prove to me that they've liked the stream, then I will listen to their opinion. <laughs> Otherwise, they can go away. All right, that should have been like the end, right? Is there? Oops. What the hell are we doing the way down here? Round two, round three, round four, round five. Oh, there's one person left. Wait, that's just Shamu. They're done. Oh, uh, yeah, that game just didn't get reported, I guess. Go report your game, people. God. Always report. It slows down the tournament every time you don't. What's that? Problem ex extended the match? What? The matches are over, right? Hello, Mr. Carpath. Hello, Mr. Good thing with, Edison good Format thing Italian. Was, uh, fewer people every round. Crows is top that five and win loss. You're unlikely to go into time as much. So know, it's just fewer total matches. What's the standing say? Where's Corinne at? 15? She's 4 and 2. She needs to win next match to have a chance. Is it, and it's top 8, right? I think so. I don't know, actually. I've heard conflicting information on that. Let's look back at the bracket. Ludo is the only undefeated player currently. What's Ludo playing again? Do we even watch? I think we saw a Ludo game, right? Probably Vayu, but I have no idea. What do you mean one minute before time is called? Every match is up. I don't see anyone still playing. I mean, this one, we, we literally watched this one, and we know that one's over. And everyone, everyone else is reported. Everyone in the top ten has one or fewer losses. Yeah, but that's about to change. <laughs> right. Because they're all going to play each other now. Presumably it should be possible to top with X2. One of them's going to play Ludo, and then the other eight are going to play each other. Yeah. So half of them are about to be X2. Mm -hmm. In which case, some of X2 people should get in. What's Corinna's boo holes look like? 19. That's like the highest. If that's right, she should be good if she wins next game. But she does have to win. Ludo's on Blackwing. I know, I think we never saw Bluto playing then. So Ludo's on Blackwing, Giorgione's on Hero Beat, Ghostwriter's on Dragon Turbo, Crops is on some kind of frog monarch deck. I think it's just pretty Gia's standard. Gia's on Blackwing, uh, Luigi's, Luigi's on, on Bayou Turbo, Phil is on I don't know. What's Crush on? Do we know? Uh, we saw their game once, but I forget. Don't I have loop think... on either. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, looks like next round pairings have been determined. Who do we want to watch? Ghost Rider vs. Ludo. Crops or nah. Let's watch someone we haven't watched. We can watch Alex Demand versus Simply Zerg or something. We feel somebody who's like fighting to top. I think both of them are. are Hold they, on. Where are they at? I think they should both be 4 2. Alex is. Alex is 4, four two. 2. Yeah. Let's watch that one. That one looks like fun. Is Alex on? Alex is on Frogs, I think. What's the. Oh, goddammit. Phil versus Krish? That's a mashup. What's. Alex is DB. You could also watch Yep versus Ronok, but. You could? Nah, this is Frogs again. <laughs> what is Simply Play? They, they play a lot of Quick Draw, right? I have no idea. I've played against them and they've played Quick Draw, but I don't know what they're actually playing. I have no clue. Curse is also in Blackwing. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to see that. <laughs> 
We don't need to see that. So like... Kind of predictable top decks with the uh, Hero Beat, Blackwing, Bayou, and Frogs. Yeah. You can pretty reliably see those topping. All right, let's get into the game. Simply, okay, now I know Alex's DB. Your worst, your worst nightmare. Pretty lame DB name. Got to, got to get a new account, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say it. I mean, if he's playing a frog combo, it's not why. Are they playing combo <laughs> or just regular? I don't know. I just know they have done that in the past. I remember them playing it once before. Diva frogs, perhaps? Oh, wait, this is Simply. Never mind. <laughs> Simply is playing something with Diva. Could be Diva Hero, could be Diva Zombie, could be Diva Hero Beat, could be something else entirely. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen as many androids in the same day as I have today. Yeah, people be making android turn one. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, well. Everybody, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. We have been marathoning through the entire tournament today. Is this round seven? This is this round is seven. The last round. The final round. The final round. Oh, a hero frog, looks like. Okay. Nothing we haven't seen before. Ryza. Alright. Getting real aggressive attributing the sub for Ryza there. I'm confused, actually. They, okay, they won for one for sub and then went in the swap. Okay. I have no clue what Simply is playing, actually. That's a very aggressive they, turn one. Did they change their profile? I thought they used to be Volcanic Rocket. Why are they the dumbass Fluffle Dog now? They're, they're my profile picture now. My profile picture is the best one. Let's be real. If you're not you're de decoy dragon. If you're not decoy dragon, what are you doing? It's weird seeing my face. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I can make it smaller. <laughs> but some people want it bigger. And some people want it over there. Uh so what is the chance they got another monarch here? I'm not sure if they're doing top eight today or not. I have no clue whether they are or not. I did Jazz said they might do either, it depends. That's the last I've heard about it. Thing is they don't want to do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Mother's Day, I guess. Right. So if it's not today, it's going to have to be scheduled at some weird time. Gregory, it's been a lot of what you'd expect. I'd kind of rather uh, just marathon it. Blackwing, Bayou, Here Beat, Frog. Yeah, it's, there's been mostly those with some zombies and, like, some fairies. fairies. Yeah. On the fringes, as you would expect. We haven't seen, like, any Machina. Yeah, we saw, like, one Machina whoa, player. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are not playing this deck, bro. This is so bad. Man, you're oh gonna lo you're gonna lose game one with assault mode, and then game two they're gonna bring in triple crow, triple banny's fiend, and you're gonna. Ooh. Yeah. So this deck, this deck is just assault mode turbo, I think. This deck is non good. Setting Arcane Apprentice doesn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they did that. 
like you just take the damage and then next turn you would have had if you had a Mali in hand you could have specialed the Greffer, normal the arcane and made the actual well i guess yeah all right going for caius you could have made the assault mode guy i think I... this is weird because you're like trying to play assault mode but you're also trying to play a semi-real deck and i just don't think that works that might explain why Alex went for such an aggressive turn one. He's like, he's like I just gotta kill him before he does assault mode shenanigans. Yeah, maybe he knew. From scouting or something. Yeah. Because normally you would not tribute that swap there. You just like bounce it back and chill for a bit. Yeah. But, yeah. This isn't... You should go go you here? Probably. Goyo take, and then even if they make Stardust Assault, they're, like, under a lot of pressure. Because if they negate, they might randomly die. But I don't know how they're doing it with three card. Maybe if they... I guess Mally, and then a two-tuner, and then set Assault mode could do it, but... They got back row to if, play if into. If they have Mally and Arcane Apprentice, then they have the whole thing. Oh, Storm is good. T-Roar probably is going to get chained. No. Bro, you set both of these? Just hold the econ, man. Definitely a bit strange. There, there might be happening. <laughs> That's so questionable. If you held the econ, you'd just be fine. Right? No, what do they do here? Oh my god, they're doing it. This is the whole thing. <laughs> this is assault mode. I feel like setting that econ lost in the game. You can just run over Kaius here, and then set Assault Mode Activate in the end phase. Or in main phase two. Wow. The econ would have forced an Assault Mode Activation, but then you hit for 28. I don't know if you have enough to... Maybe don't, but it would You would have had a it would chance. Have been better. It would have been better. Not proactively activating it? That just seems wrong. This definitely seems wrong. But I guess... I'm trying to think of what the punish is here. I don't know. It's like if you had Econ, and then you had Miracle Fusion, you would just win. Yeah, but I, I think they're just going to try and chain the act, salt mode activate to something. I can't think of what they need to, what they, what that would be punished by if you're waiting to chain it, so. I mean, it's fine. But they know it's there. There's no way they're ever going to fall for that. Yeah, but it's a, you, you are going to force the, you basically get two negates instead of one. But you just attack and force the Econ. Yeah, you just attack and force it. <laughs> Also, if you summon, like, Dark Dust, that's not going to work. Well, they could use, yeah, Stardust, the Dark Dust. <laughs> yeah, they would have to do that. Anyway, I think setting the Econ just, like, makes it really over now. You're just nega an entire card for no reason. being potentially x2 at the end of swiss is neat hmm. they set a monster you got a side out of all the assault mode stuff right uh probably frogs has a lot of hate that they could bring in I don't know what this back row is, but it doesn't really matter.
They need to like resolve Miracle Fusion or something. Yeah, that's like the end of the game, right? <laughs> that has got to be. Well, we don't know what was in their hand, but... Playing into that storm was definitely bad. Am I in the Edison group on Facebook? No. I didn't even know there was an Edison group on Facebook. Well, presumably a lot of hate being brought in here on both sides. It's funny, like, <laughs> I almost wouldn't want to, I, I, would, I think if I were Alex, I wouldn't want to side too heavily for the assault mode stuff. Uh, you should definitely put, bring in Vanny's Fiend and Crow either way. Yeah, they, they, they usually will side out of the assault mode stuff going second and then side back into it going first. Yeah, but the anti assault mode hate is like good versus versus the deck anyway. Yeah, but like the uh, pro is just gonna be good against like a diva hero deck or whatever you're playing. Good enough at least. Yeah, so flow. They're four and two. They're both, they're both four, and two. four and two. I think it's going to be hard for them to top, even the winner. What's the blue but, calls number looking like? Yeah, I, I, I think it's probably going to be tough. But Are either one of them, like, able to top? I don't know. I didn't calculate it or anything, but... I can double check. Alex demands... Yeah, they're both kind of low down there. Seems unlikely that either of the will top. Now that I think about it. Yeah, but it's fine to. I don't mind. <laughs> we can watch it, it anyway. We get enough of the top eight when we actually get to the top eight. Yeah, true. Swap frog being summoned. Is there going to be a vanity's fiend? Nope, going for junk. <laughs> Do okay. Hmm. I feel like Make Goyo would jump. have been better. I gotta go for Junk Warrior in here? I'd have gone Goyo. So it's at 33. Because you can get a free plus. That just seems pretty good to me. Take 15. Maybe they just want to do more damage? I guess. Which I get, but... What's funny is... Alex is playing Hero Frogs too, so you could actually, yeah, you know, search out the. You could hero. just like take the Stratos and get a plus. Two. Yeah, a plus search two. Ocean. I feel like that would have been a good play, but. I guess he figures the thirty-three Junk Warrior will just carry him. Because now can actually beat over. It just gets assault over assault mode, assault mode. Like he can't yeah, make that's it. Like... <laughs> One of the only ways to beat it is to summon something bigger than it. So. But then you also figure maybe you just sided out of that stuff, turn game Yeah, two. I was. I, I think he probably did, but... I feel like I'd have gone for the greedy Goyo play. But what do I know? Smashing... Ooh. Yeah, I mean... Goyo play looking better right now. <laughs> Why don't you just make assault mode right now? <laughs> Special Greffer, normal. By pitching Maui, <laughs> normal. The uh, arcane thing. <laughs> Post board, you should have outs though. 
Yeah, you should have Crow and stuff. I remember playing against Assault Mode with the Fairy deck, and that was hilarious. It was so terrible. Because, <laughs> like, Orange Light and Christia both out it. Just inherently. <laughs> I will negate your negate. It's It was extreme pre, not gonna lie. Gladiator Beast is probably, like, completely free matchup, too. War Chariot owns that card. And Ready Ari owns that card. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, Ready Ari is pretty nasty. Yeah, GBs should just, like, win. Of course, I've seen people who, like, don't even play Ready Ari. If you don't play Ready Ari, that's just a, that's a skill issue. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Maybe, I guess in, like, at least not in game one, they'll, like, side into it. No, 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 that's a skill issue. <laughs> I will not hear it. <laughs> what are you doing? Play Ready Ari, please. You're helping Gladiator Beast players now, huh? <laughs> we gotta, we, we gotta take pity upon the, the lower classes of society. <laughs> Well, he's going to make a five. Is it another android? Please no, please no, please no. I've seen too many androids today. No, ah, let's go. Catastrophe. <laughs> That's not android. Nice. Isn't android like a $7 card or something? Android is more than that. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I just like sold a bunch of androids for $10, and I was like way undercutting the, the market price. <laughs> Yeah. I have a handful of them, but... If they're, like, near I've... mint, they're probably at least 12 or 13 of those, I think. <laughs> Solely because it is the second best five in Edison format. Yeah. No other reason. They need to reprint <clears throat> that and Iron Chain. Android's got reprints. Well, they need to reprint it again. I think it... It's like a, doesn't it have, like, a common reprint? How many reprints do you want of Android? Enough that it's, like, really cheap. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, we gotta... We gotta fact check this. How much, is, how much is the lowest rarity printing of Android? I bet there's, like, a $1 Android. Maybe. You should check on TCG Player... Yes. And while you're there, who else wants to check on TCG player should use your affiliate link. <laughs> Definitely. All right, let's see. Okay, actually, every printing of Android is just absurd for some reason. Right? <laughs> They're all just over ten dollars. Just every one. Every Android out there is fifteen bucks. I don't know what to tell you. That's what I'm saying. It needs another reprint. <laughs> How are they all expensive? <laughs> They can't, they can't all Supply be expensive. That's demand. horse shit, man. Supply and demand. Gardna? What is this deck? You're just playing stuff at this point. I... <laughs> stuff. Playing stuff turbo, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, the cheapest one is like dual terminal 5. The that, DT like... is the cheapest one. That's so cursed. <laughs> Miracle Fusion. Yeah, I'm just playing Diva Hero now, right? So now we're just playing, yeah, I, I guess. You can make an 8, but look at all these cards you're down by. Even if you make an 8 and have 0, aren't you just going to get clapped back? Kind of feels like it. I feel like this assault mode stuff's a little too gimmicky for me. For you, that's saying a lot. <laughs> hey, I play I play legit decks, so <laughs> I think. I don't know. My decks are not gimmicks. Looks like we're going for a goyo to take 
The Shadows? They're just weird decks with, like, a sane, normal play style. This is just, like, like Norlaris dragon-level dumb stuff. Like, you're basically trying to FTK. How did Assault Mode do in your Clash of the Jink tournament? I don't think it's in there. Really? Yeah, maybe next season. I got a bunch of ideas for next season now, of course. Because <laughs> I've, like, <laughs> thought of a bunch You're... of things since then. This, this current tournament is still going on, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost done, though. Speaking of which, I need... I haven't played the Cat Plant deck in so long. I need to do another episode. I think we're on the the whack bracket again. I'm going to do one <laughs> bracket next time. Two brackets, too confusing for me. I'm going to do one bracket and single a limb. We're going to streamline it. Yeah, the double even was a little bit insane. <laughs> anyway. This isn't trivial to out. But you've got six cards in your hand as the frog player. And a treeborn coming back, so... I feel like you should probably be okay. Even if it's just one monarch that outs two of these and you just have an ab zero. Android has four prints? Yeah. Yeah, I looked at it. It was like, the Turbo Pack Rare is $12. I don't understand. <laughs> Why the hell is the Turbo Pack Rare Android that expensive? Are they that hard to come by? Anyway, this Ab Zero is like the end of the game for Simply, so we're going to game three. <laughs> Cannot just lose all of your cards. Okay, he's got Gardner. It's all good. It's all good, he's got Gardner. He can at least gain some life when he kills the Ab Zero. Dark Armed is live. It doesn't do anything, but it's live. <laughs> The four printings are like Turbo Pack, Dual Terminal, Duelist Genesis, and the Legendary Collection 5Ds or something. And they're just all twelve, thirteen dollars. I don't I don't understand how they can all be twelve, thirteen dollars, but they are. So yeah. Presumably they're gonna hit over with the Thought Ruler. Well, in 25 minutes, they'll be winning in time, but this is game two, so. Does Thought Ruler... Ooh, they forgot that... Oh my god. ...by the Treeborn. The Ab Zero is big. They did, they, did, they did the attack order wrong. Oh, good lord. Well, that's pretty bad. No, no 25 life for you, buddy. See, I was thinking earlier, I was like... They need to go, before they uh, stacked for Plague and all that, I was thinking they need to Ab Zero. Ooh, yikes. They need to Ab Zero over the uh, Stratos oh. and get more damage that way because it was being boosted by the Treeborn. But... You were down five cards. Well, yeah. You're down four five. and a half cards, my bad. Well, almost. Okay, you're down five more. and a half cards, actually, because the Treeborn yeah. is going to come back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, you're down bad. And you don't even get your twenty seven or your twenty five life consolation prize. Looking looking like this game is going to a third one. Fowler cannot attack over Ab Zero. We did we did just to notice. Yeah, I was not, I was thinking about other things. <laughs> I was thinking that he would attack with the Greffer first. I don't know. Yeah, that would have That worked. was my assumption. <laughs> I feel like the line there Does was pretty Ruler clear. Does Thought Ruler still gains the 25 or something? Yeah. Or no? Yeah. It's like Goyo. No, it's not like Shura. Or, but I don't know what the correct... I guess it wouldn't even... Even no. if it were sure, it would be... Ab Zero doesn't... It's a different step of the damage. Yeah. Ab Zero just doesn't stop that stuff. Like... Right. Yeah. It doesn't happen until it goes to Grave, so... Right. Well... This... This, is like this a... duel should be wrapping up sometime. Let's get to game three. <laughs> <laughs> Does this count as slow play? What's going... 
I feel like the stuff frog players do should count as slow play. Judge, my opponent is like jerking off with, with extra normal summons. Make them stop. Maybe your three cards will do something. I wrote my comment before realizing Grefford could attack with over Treeborn. Wow, just like simply. <laughs> Dr. Fruit Salad says, nice hat. I don't have a hat. We... Hats don't it's agree with me. <laughs> it's like one of those, uh, those like Russian hats that's made of like goat fur. Uh, <laughs> forget what those are called. Yeah, I don't know what they're called either. You do not play a second Gilman. Liar. There we go. See? Uh, what? Why, why is this game still going? Can, <laughs> can the frog player, like, end the, the game? I think, I think maybe they're hoping to, like, stall it out in this, game three, so they need game two to go as long as possible. This, who is going to stall better in game three between these two? I have no idea. Probably the frog Their player. plan is to open D.Va and make Android install. That's the... Yeah, both of them make Andro make a Android really easily. I think we learned that if your deck doesn't make Android easily, you're just not going to do it. <laughs> you have judgmented the summon of Achaeus. Congratulations. And you just get your swap frog to run over you, D.Va. They definitely had to do that judgment, though. Mm -hmm. This feels like bullying. <laughs> this frog player is bullying this this rogue <laughs> rogue deck. <laughs> this poor innocent rogue deck. I mean, it's it's not uh, an innocent rogue deck. It's an extremely <laughs> non-innocent rogue deck. Ronak, this is uh, game two, and it's. Uh... It's so non-innocent that I want... Simply is up. I actually want the frog player to win. <sighs> People are so bored of this game, man. We're down 10 viewers. End phase T-Roar. Like the stream if you find the at the conclusion of game two boring as shit. That's all I gotta say. There we go. Did they even see like a monarch there? They're just scooping anyway. I don't. I mean, they should have scooped like two turns ago. But... Yeah, they should have scooped back when they did the play where they forgot to attack with Greffer first. <laughs> but whatever. The show must go on. We are going to a deciding game number three. Who do we think is going to take it? Are they going to just like make turn one assault mode? Or are they going to get DD crowed? <laughs> Anything could happen. talking they might play top eight today well that's good i kind of don't want to reschedule at some weird time i'm gonna i'm gonna let people know what i want I want to marathon the whole thing, get it over with. <laughs> I might have to tap out after Swiss is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it alone. I care not. <laughs> it's it'll only be three rounds. Three yeah, because it's single OM. So that's not such a big deal. Going for Prodigy into Caius. Oh, it hits the tree pretty, one. That's pretty good. Pretty good hit. Not going to attack into a potential gorse. 
I smell weakness there. <laughs> Prodigy Caius pass. This means they don't have any way to deal with the gores at all. Now they Caius over the Caius and hit the second treeborn. That would be. That'd be pretty good. That'd be comedy. Gonna e call. E call for what? Stratos? Stratos, sorry. Stratos get Maui? Okay, I'm following you so far, Mr. Opponent. What is it? Is it a dupe? Okay. It is a dupe. I'm on point with all the predictions of this game, or today, in general. I know what everyone sets. I know what everyone's gonna draw. Oh my god, they are so scared of gores. <laughs> How can you play the game this scared of gores? I don't understand. The terror in their heart. You must just be like, if they have gores, I lose. What on earth could the hand be? Alright, pretty passive play from Alex here. Just gonna do the standard swaps and treeborn pass. I feel like... Maybe you shouldn't have set this, because they're just like not attacking because they fear doors would. Who knows? I'm gonna go Greffer pitch. Probably gonna pitch the valley, send the Gardner or play. Be pretty good if this was Mirror Force. Unless they make Stardust first. I mean, Stardust. I would crow the plague, honestly. I'd 100% crow the plague if I had it. Okay. Alex is, is on the same page as me here. Correct sighting. Just don't even let them. Alright, T Roar. Alright, so now Monarch just like cleans the whole thing up. Yeah. Alright, no more Treeborn. Oh. Okay, now you're gonna need a little bit more. Like special swap. Now you gotta For do like an a... actual play. Yeah. It requires thought. Rather difficult for frogs. Yeah, setting Treeborn was probably a bit of a screw up. Maybe just figured it wouldn't get Kaiased on turn one, though. Or just T setting? That's not good. Oh no, you're setting Swap? That's so bad. Alex is just losing to, like, stuff. I just... <laughs> just losing to some, like, bad hero deck. Right now. I don't know. It's gonna be tough to come back into this one. We're setting oh my Diddy Kong. god, this is dire. This game is over. Why are you... That's it. Wow. Bruh. What is in your hand? Vanity's Fiend, Vanity's Fiend, Ryza, Miracle, Miracle. This is why we don't play yeah. Hero Frogs. This is why we play Junk Frogs. Good lord. He'd found a hero. He had, he had outs to Vanity's even if it got established. 
If he had a single hero, so he could have just, like, out of the soul board, but he did not see one ever. R.I.P., buddy. Yeah, the miracles can be bricky, though. For sure. Alright. Well, that's the end of that match. We got, we surely got some games still going. We're only 32 minutes into the round. Who's left here? Anyone we want to watch? I do A not. lot of the matches have already ended. Yeah, it's because all good players left. Um... I guess we can watch Luigi's match. I would rather watch whatever's going on there than Hero Beat versus Frogs. Again, Frogs. <laughs> There's like so much Frogs. Big Llama on Fairies. I was Big Llama playing. I thought they were like out after last round or something. Were they five and one? Or four, four and one? We can watch Fairies. That sounds like fun. What is this, Fairies or Hero Beat? That sounds like a cool matchup. Hitting into an Honest. Okay. He's going to Honest over the Honest. Absolutely classic. Oh no, what happened? Alright, I gotta like, leave the page and come back to fix that, because that's going to annoy me. Whoops. Sorry about that. Um, WZ. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. All right, there we go. All is well. We didn't miss a single play. They're just thinking in their main one. Man, these Galaxy Cyclone sleeves are suboptimal. <laughs> I gotta They're say. Cosmic Cyclone? Right, right. <laughs> Whatever. Galaxy Cyclone is the other one. That no one plays. Because it is slow. Well, they've got an ab zero. That will at least answer the board. Second honest? Or are they both gone? No way, dude. You do not have another one. This is like when I was playing. <laughs> and I like ran into honest on like two turns in a row. After they like top decked it. <laughs> honest is so good. It's like insane versus black wings. Insane versus everything, though. There's a Ronok YouTube channel? What? Wait, there is? Hold on. I think there might be. With no uploads, though. He's saying with no uploads. Didn't he upload, like, one thing? But yeah, Vipalmag glitch is Ronok. I love the palm egg glitch. What glitch? It's a Pokemon glitch. Oh. Use a berry to put your HP lower than zero, and then you get to, like, turn a Pokemon into any other Pokemon. <laughs> Gonna get back Breaker. I hope this set's RFDD. Call being used. I'm honest? That is weird. Why are you calling right now? Uh, are we close to time, maybe? <laughs> uh, we're ten minutes off of time. I don't... I don't think that's why. I know, right, Fen? What did Fen say? So basic, not knowing about... I'm sorry. Sorry for being basic, Finn. I think it's so funny that Breaker's like standard in the side deck of fairies. I think it's a little bit suspect. Just a tad. Just slightly. Well, it can't get over this honest. 
What are you setting into Breaker, Yada? Uh. Or sorry, this is Hero Beat. Maybe. I have not uh, the Hero slightest Bounce? clue. It's dead. Wait. There's no alias. It's dead. It's dead. Yikes. Why did you set that? <laughs> I'm not sh maybe you sh Yeah, this is not a anyway, good Anyway, Brio uh, for game, by the way. Yeah, that's that's game over. Alright, well All right. fairy player getting a dub, that's pretty neat. It was wow, that, it was, was no one either. Was that the last game? Damion and Honest. I guess Luigi's maybe still going. Let me check in on that one. All right, these two are still what? They're only in game two. This is going into time. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. What on earth? It's Blackwing versus Bayou. How is it possible? Everyone's watching this one. Your poor viewers can't see how popular this game is. It's a good question. How the hell does this matchup last this long? All right, Bria's gonna have to start us. <gasps> but it's gonna get bottomless. Okay. There's three bayous in the. There are three entire bayous in this graveyard. Yeah, this is kind of inevitable that there's well, gonna be a Soroka. Luigi game. is up a game though, so if we end up going to game three, how do we feel about the Flash Fusion sleeves versus the Millennium Rod sleeves? Are these like, are they based? Are they cringe? I don't know. I think the flash fusion art's pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about the Millennium Rod. Oh no, is he just going for a game? You better have something here. What's that? That's 4K. So, any back row saves you. That is Kogpai. Is that a deep prison? What? What just happened? Put it back, buddy. We ain't seen anything yet. Alright, it is a deep prison. Okay, you can just activate it on the first one, dude. <laughs> Whose combination of sleeves and profile pick do you like? Like this one? I don't know how I feel about Big Eye. I guess he's probably better than Toon Dark Magician Girl. Blizzard is pretty freaking good. He could go, like, Blizzard, and then make Goyo and take the, uh... Oh, we lost Snack. Well, Snack's gone. Go, like, Blizzard to... Oh, no! Oh, no, it can't end like that! <laughs> That's the end of the game. Is there a guard now? So, like, Gores are your dead... And even with Gores, you're still basically dead. So, Blackwing is just taking this one home. Yeah, this this is looking very over, very over indeed. What could you possibly top deck into? What could you possibly top deck into? Like, there's just nothing. BrainCon? BrainCon could do it. BrainCon actually does it. If you if you have like Gores and you stay alive and you have BrainCon, that's the only way it's happening. Oh, Snack's internet died. That's wild. Oh well. We'll continue without her. Alright, so the only way I could ever see Luigi winning is is Gores into BrainCon top deck. That's that's like it. It would be hilarious if it happened, though. It would be painful, but hilarious. Alright, they don't got it. 
it's, it's not happening. Game's over. I guess you could go... Nope, they're just dead. Well, that was the most likely outcome, so GG's. And that was the final match that we were waiting on in round 7. So, I assume we're going to figure out what's going on with Top Cut. I can go read the chat and see what they did. Uh, did they actually arrive at a decision? Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot going on in chat. Jeez. How far back was my message? Hmm... Trying to see... Okay, Yuluto says he can play top 8. Have we asked everyone yet? I don't know if we've asked everyone yet. I don't know, it's up to the people organizing the tournament, I think. Looks like Cam is typing. What was that? Okay. Ugh. Well, let's see if the bracket is finalized yet. These should all be done. I don't see the top eight bracket yet. Oh, well, we'll just give them a second to figure everything out. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. Alright, we are back. What's going on? Have they have they figured it out? There's a three-way tie for seventh. I guess they have to do some like blue shoals math too, or no no wait, it should be it should all be automated actually. Let's look at the bracket. Did they did this update yet that we figured out? We got standings, right? Ludo went seven and oh. Nice. So it looks like if everything here is right, this is the top eight that we have. Uh, I don't know what this guy's playing. Zeris is playing Zombie Diva Hero or something. And we never watched him or him. I forget what Phil's playing. Gia's on Blackwings. Giorgio is on Hero Beat. Ludo was on Blackwings. Am I remembering that right? I guess we'll figure it out. Actually, a surprising number of people in top eight that we've never spectated. It's kind of wild. There's some kind of three-way tie for for eighth or, or seventh, or I don't know. It looks like it's between um between Raikoko, Ronok. No, wait, no, that's not right. 
What is the tie between? They're arguing over something in chat. No, I'm pretty sure it's right. Because the Retrobot calculates everything correctly. Chalong top eight is wrong, but it's the same, isn't it? Hold on, let me look. Let me double check. Ludo, Georgian, Gia, Popeye, Phil. Curse. Oh, I guess Ghost Rider is in there on the right. No, wait, that's before round. Um, it's before the round was over. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Find out when they eventually figure out the bracket situation. Hmm. lost the plot. What are they talking about? There's gotta be like some kind of tiebreaker or Shaolong Toppy is inaccurate because it assumes every drop player wins at each round after they drop. There's like three people tied for two spots. Hydro Pump suggests a three-way duel. I think sarcastically. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to have to do. Have them roll a dice or something. Randage says make them play World Wordle. These are all terrible ideas. <laughs> I don't know what the best way to solve it is, but... um. Probably just like do a, a random number gener generator or something. Konami has a tiebreaker thing apparently. But uh, we are not using that for this event, so I don't know. <sighs> it's up to Jazz, I guess. They gotta resolve this. Give me my top eight. All right, Fen is typing. This should be good. Let's see what she says. Who are the three players, anyway? It's... It's Gospodin... Reek and Loofbone? Or no, wait, it's... Is it the three people below? I think it's Zerg. There's three people tied for seventh. Okay, never mind. It is it is those three. Well, does that mean one of them will not make top eight, but two of them will? Alright, it looks like it's... KRAs is 7th, Loof is 8th, which means that somebody got unlucky here. Who, who is the, the unlucky loser of the, the coin flip? It is Reek636. I don't know who that is, but they will unfortunately not top despite being tied with two other people who will top, so that's a feels bad. Yeah, RNG was like the only way that was going to be solved, so. Alright, 
are they gonna like input that shit and give me a final bracket here? I want to see the bracket. I want to feast my eyes upon it. So this these standings are just wrong. It's gonna be it's gonna be um Loof plus KRS plus um Gia plus Giorgione plus uh, Ludo and Ghost Rider and I think Phil. Is that is that eight people? I think that's the top eight. I don't know what the exact order is going to be. They're probably just going to make a new bracket, actually, now that I think about it. Hold on. Let me, let me see if we can get that up. All right, they need to get all the players in here. But this will be the bracket now that Swiss is over. We can hopefully finally see what the hell's going on here. It's rough when you have to, like, settle tiebreakers like that. Hmm. All right, are they getting the players in here? We got two of them. Almost there. Hopefully we can get things moving again by 7 o'clock. That would be nice. We'd be right on time. Hmm. Unfortunately, Giorgion, Just Bowden. Oh, wait. Ludo, Foof, Bowden, Giorgion, Just Bowden, Popeye, Ghost Rider, Gia Phil. I think that's right. That, that looks right to me. Buy one of those suits? What? You mean on the, the, the ad on the, the bracket website? No. We don't buy suits here, we buy expensive cardboard. All right, we're halfway to getting the top eight inputted. I don't know if it's gonna be seated or whatever at all. It should probably just be random. No, I'm not buying one, Fen. Stop it, go away. I refuse. Well, hopefully within a few minutes, top eight will be underway. We're almost there. We're a majority of the way there. Let's get these players entered. Coward? Coward? Maybe a little bit, yeah. Well, the suits aren't even here anymore. It switched to a different ad. What am I supposed to do? What, do you, what is this even an ad for? Microsoft? Whatever. I need to buy a suit. My old ones don't fit me anymore. Well, that's good. Can you do a stream where you shop for a suit? No. Actually, that's dumb, and I'm not going to. All right, all eight of them are in there. Let's see. Are they starting yet? Is this seated? Okay, it looks like it's seated properly, so it's going to be... Gia versus Phil. Might watch that one, maybe. I don't know. 
What do we got? Is Ludo on Blackwing? I don't remember. Did we watch Loof Bone at any point? I like totally forget. Suit sponsor for the next tournament. <laughs> no. Simply not the case. We're not doing that. What was Pop Popeye's playing Blackwing? Ghost Rider's playing Dragon Turbo. Curse is playing Blackwing. Gear Jones playing Hero Beat. He is playing Blackwing. It's like three black wings in top cut. Or maybe four. If Ludo is also I don't know what I don't know what everyone's playing here. Some players want to play it out later. Who? Who are these some players? Curse is one of them. Looks like Giorgio and Curse want to. That's gonna be inconvenient. Zero frogs in top? I think so. That's pretty funny. I don't know that any of these people are playing frogs. Um, no zombies either. It's like Blackwing Hero be. And then whatever some of the unknown people are playing, a Dragon Turbo, and something else. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hmm. It's looking like we might not play tonight. Well, that sucks. Okay, maybe some of it's going to be played tonight. Alright, now Giorgion saying he can't play tomorrow. If you can't play tonight and you can't play tomorrow, maybe you should just drop. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that seems pretty... Pretty difficult. Beast Mode says he needs to get back into action. Ill Blood is calling me. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't know how they're doing this. Are, like, some people playing? Let me look at the... No one's playing right now, surely, right? I don't think so. If they do it in, like, weird different times, then I'm definitely not going to stream that in some disjointed-ass way. Looks like Phil and Gia aren't going to play, and... These two aren't going to play either. I don't know about these other four. We could potentially watch them. If that ends up happening, but I don't know yet. I'll we'll figure out before, or for sure, before we kill the stream. It's 1 a.m. and playing seven hours. I understand postponing. Postponing's fine, but... If they're just gonna, like, schedule it randomly throughout the week for every pairing, I'm definitely not, like going to accommodate that for streaming. Mm. 
But seems like it's causing problems because no one has like compatible times that they're able to play. Well, we're going to find out if Luftbone and Ludo can play. If anyone plays, I'll watch it today, I guess. So these two are definitely not... I don't know what Phil and Yi are doing. Yeah, it does. I'm not in charge. I, I don't. I don't really get to decide how this works. Frankly, if I entered a tournament, I would have plans to play the top eight either that night or the next day. I feel like if you can't make that work, you should not have entered the tournament. <laughs> and you're, but I don't know. Seems like multiple people knowingly entered the tournament, knowing that they wouldn't be able to play tonight or tomorrow. Which is strange to me. Are these good players in my perspective? Let me think. Ludo's a good player. Gia's a good player. Phil's a good player. Giorgione's a good player. Curse is a good player. Ghost Rider's a good player. I don't know who that is, and I don't know who that is, but they could be good players. So... Yeah, I would say so. I'd say most of them are, are definitely good players. Maybe not like the absolute top best players of the entire format out there, but a lot of those players weren't in this tournament. And all, there's always some randomness. I mean, you can be a great player and you can go 1-2 in a tournament. It's, it can definitely happen. Anything can happen in Edison format. Well, I don't know who's playing or who's not playing. All right, looks like Ludo and Luftbone are going to play. So maybe we can watch that. Whoops. All right, yeah. We'll get to watch something at least. Do you think any of those players are wearing suits when playing? Absolutely not. Ludo's been top 10 on FL Edison Ladder. Ladder doesn't really mean much, to be honest. But Ludo's topped before, I think. His team definitely topped at the Gladiators of Edison thing. I don't know if he talked before that. Maybe he topped something. There's a lot of people that have like old tops that I don't know about. I'm like not aware of what was going on in the competitive Edison scene prior to like January 2022. <laughs> It looks like these two should be playing, so we'll at least get to watch Vayu versus... No, wait, is Ludo playing Vayu? I don't remember. We'll at least get to watch something. We'll get to watch a batch. Um, and then, I don't, I don't know. I think Ghost Rider and that other person aren't playing. I don't think these two are playing. Uh, who is that? Is that Compi? Or is that somebody else? 
I, I don't know who that person is, actually. Seems like Ghost Rider is not playing. So I think this is the only match that we're actually going to catch out of top eight, probably. If these other guys just play random times throughout the week. I'm not like, I'm not doing three separate streams for one single match over and over. Maybe we'll cover like the grand finals or something. Maybe we'll do that. I mean, we got to see a lot of good gameplay today, at least. Yeah, Ludo and Lufbone look like they're the only ones that are going to be playing. I don't know what Lufbone is... I don't know what either of these guys are playing, actually. I feel like we saw Ludo earlier, but I, like, forgot. At least get to catch something out of top eight once. I think Ludo's AFK for like two minutes or something. They should be starting imminently, I think. So. This could be like the pseudo finals since everyone else bitched out. <laughs> Clearly format library players are like two spoiled at this point by peak of the beak just getting to schedule their matches whenever the hell they want because like everyone just decided they weren't going to play top eight <laughs> till later some undefined time well ludo wins rps what is this this is Avatar. Is this like one of the default ones now? It's probably just some modern code I've never heard of. Looks like one. Little anime girl. Probably is some modern card. Alright, so Ludo is playing Blackwing. Pretty good Luf. I have no clue. What oh, is Lufbone playing Fairy? He's on 42. It could be the Pro Storm list. So it's going to go Boris at four. Very interesting. Hopefully Lufbone's playing something cool. I don't think we've seen him yet. That could be wrong, though. We've watched a lot of matches today, and uh, my memory's far from perfect. Okay. Let us see... What shall you do, Mr. Loofbone? <laughs> Set? Well, it's just going to be set pass. All right, playing around dick attack, I understand. So we have no clue what Loofbone's playing. We suspect maybe fairies because he's 42, but I don't really know. Fairies is pretty good in this matchup, of course, if it is fairies. All right, there's going to be a Shura. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's Raikou. Okay. Well, it could be anything if he's playing Raikou. No Plague? That's not a fairy card. The Koichi. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Is this the, like, Dekoichi Machina player from earlier? That's so based. You win coolest person in top cut, Lufbone. <laughs> of course I'm still here. We're not leaving until we get every game in. Every single one. 
I cannot... Ryan I'd said this might be the Salvo player. That is so cool. And I thought there was nothing based in Top Cut, but actually, Aloof Bone is here to prove me wrong. Okay, you got a lot of back row to play in too, but... Got a Plague set up. Machina top, yeah. How's that throat? It's like fine. I don't know. It was it was weird earlier, but it's all good now. It might hurt later though. I've been talking all day. I don't usually do that. Go to summon fortress. The fact that he did this play means he probably has book. Ludo's thinking. I doubt you main oppression in Blackwing. Is this, I think it's pure black thing, so... So he's gonna attack... Into Mirror. Alright, there's that book I was talking about. That's pretty good. I like that play from Luthbone. If he wants to play around Icarus, he kind of just has to leave it there. And you should probably just Fortress pop a monster. appears to be big thinking. I don't know what you're thinking on here. I feel like you kind of just have to attack. Maybe give another monster. Give like a Shura. I mean, you should probably just summon it though. I would just attack. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So you could kill the Bora. It depends on what you have, but you probably kill Bora, and that is what he does. This would be a great time to, like, draw Hamster. You gotta be worried about Ick Attack, though. I feel like you've been playing around Ick Attack all game, so you're kind of committed to this plan. Gear Frame would be really good. Gear Frame would be absolutely nuts, actually. Do we know that this deck is on Salvo? I don't think I ever saw the Salvo, but I feel like you pretty much have to be on Salvo if you're on the Koichi. Koichi is not a good enough card to just be playing. Alright, apparently we're just no longer playing around Ick Attack. It's a little weird. It's probably going to be used right now. Maybe he's just trying to bait it for some reason. He could have just set the call by itself. I mean, a Dust Shoot was useless. I guess he just wanted the Ick Attack to get used, but I don't know why. I don't see any obvious reason why you had to play an Ick Attack there. So presumably this is what he actually wants to set, but it's just going to get spaced. It was a bottomless. Ludo didn't have a monster last turn, though. One of these back row has to be Solemn or Starlight. Probably Solemn. So that's something to be concerned about. Because if you draw that gear frame and it gets Solemn, that would kind of suck. Alright, Ludo's just got full pass. Sometimes Blackwing can be a bit monster light. He might have Dad in hand. That's something to be scared of. <sighs> I 
Which is weird, because in this situation, you really just want to have, like, a good set monster, you know? Like a hamster. But that would, like, mess you up. It's a good bait if the MST wasn't set. I don't know. I feel like I'd have just set the call. Because he didn't even have the MST set, but... You know, he had it then, next turn, so he would have just used it, probably. So maybe it was better to just get rid of the monster. It's fine to get the Acres out of the way, I guess. It's two players are just passing back and forth. Is this some snooze gaming going on? All right, there's that dark arm that we suspected was there. The back row is mirror, that is not good. Whew, that is really not good. All right, Legacy of Yada. So this is the Solemn and or Starlight Road. We now know for sure. Hmm, brain control could potentially be very nuts from Luda or from Luftbone. Because you could take dad, like blow up their whole field and kill himself. Could go dad, like pop both back row, hit over this, commit suicide. Be like a one for four. Seems pretty good. I don't know if he'll have it though. Chances aren't particularly high. Nope, just gonna scoop it up. Alright, rough game number one for a loop bone. I'm not really sure. He just didn't draw any monsters, it looked like. Like, you gotta have monsters. For a bunch of turns, he just, like, passed and didn't didn't set any monster, didn't summon any monster. And then the opponent had Dad, too, and that didn't help. Still hyped to see the... The Koichi deck topping, though. Definitely nice. I'm probably going to play in RBT next weekend, so that will be... That will be exciting. I got a, a deck planned that I think people will like. Again, though, you never know what will happen. Might scrub out. Could happen to anyone at any time. Or maybe we'll do well. We will, I guess we will see. It is next week, right? It's May 20th, there's an RBT? I think so. No one asked. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Hostile Commenter. His deck is planned to swap glad. Probably reptiles. We've got some theories. Players taking a while sighting, but I guess it's top eight, so the stakes are high. All right, we're gonna see Loof Bone starting out here in game number two.
let's see. Probably going to set a monster? There's like a lot of set monsters in this deck. I bet Ludo brought in like Knock. A lot of Blackman players playing that card. In which case, maybe you should side out some of your like Ryko hamster stuff. It's weird, yeah, because if your Ryko gets sniped by Knock, then your hamsters are all dead. And that definitely doesn't feel good. I think Charge would still be alive though, because he's on like Lila. All right, just going, what do we call this? Is this an end set or? All right, dust shoot. That's pretty good. You'll have to see that. Turn one dust shoot is probably one of the most frustrating things in this entire format. It's just so devastating. So we're going to get to hopefully see what's in Luda's hand here. Ooh. L set? It's not an L. Is it an L? I guess it kind of is. Doesn't really look like one though. All right, he takes Cyber Dragon and the uh, Icarus Sirocco Gale Blizzard. I don't know about that decision. I feel like you gotta take Gale there. Is he just gonna make a Dark End Dragon or something? Unless your back row just like stops the Synchro play. We have got like a Bottomless maybe? I mean, the back row better be something. All right, the opponent's not even going for it because they just assume. Is that a set Sirocco? Set Sirocco behind, or a set of Mirror Force behind a Sirocco, probably? I presume. There's, like, no way you're setting Gale. That's just... I don't know, setting Sirocco is so whack, though. Okay, they set the Gale. They set the Gale with the Icarus and just use it in standby phase. Why does this feel like the worst play that Ludo could have made with the hand that he had? Where did Snack go? Uh, she's gone. She's, she's given up on, on the stream and on life. <laughs> no, I think she's just, she's just done. She, she said her internet died, and also she was going to leave for top 8 anyway. So, yeah, she's not going to be here. How many players? There's 8 left. The Icarus actually gets judgmented, which... Definitely doesn't feel good when you get your Icarus judgmented because you've gone neg, but that is half of his life and his judgment spent, so. What's remaining in the hand here? We've got Sirocco, Gale, Mirror Force. See, the thing about this play is it feels like it just invalidates the Sirocco from your hand. Because, like, what are you doing with that card now? Are you going to summon it and beat over to Koichi? Probably not. <laughs> doesn't sound very good. You got your Gale engraved for your Blizzard, I guess. But yeah, see, this, this is just real bad. You're just going to take a ton of damage here. And then he can, like, equip the gear frame or something, too. I, I don't know if he needs to do that. Wait, he can... Is this lethal? Yo, that's that, that's 8,200. You're just dead. Whew, I don't know if there's anything you could have done to not die. What was the back row? The back row was Judgment. Yeah, there's just nothing... Well, actually, if he had gone for the Sirocco Gale, then that would have forced the Judgment. And then you could have set your Mirror Force and not just died. So I feel like that way of doing it would have been better, but hindsight's twenty twenty. We're going to game number three. Personally, I would prefer to see Luf Bone win because his deck is cooler. This is just my bias, but... Could go either way. Playing around blasting the fuse turret. What does blasting the fuse do again? <laughs> All 
All right, we've got some support for Lufbone from Jay Frideris. We got some support from Machina from Bluff Knock. Everyone seems to be rooting for Lufbone, including me. Is he playing Black Salvo? I haven't seen Black Salvo yet, but I feel like there's probably one in there somewhere, right? I... There's no way you're just playing Dekoichi to play Dekoichi, right? <laughs> That's... That doesn't seem quite right to me. Machina OTK potential is underrated. Machina is a cool deck. I mean, Fortress and Gear Frame are just crazy cards. I think it's a solid, definitely a solid deck. I'd put it, like, next to maybe, like, Zombies and Fairies and Diva Hero and whatever in that sort of not-quite tier 1, or not-quite S-tier kind of tier, but still good. I want Machina to lose so people don't start siding System down, bro. <laughs> no one is going to start siding System down, okay? I promise. Cyber Dragon is, like, good enough. It will always be good enough. <laughs> Alright, Allure gonna be used. Banishing Blizzard. We got a Whirlwind. Sure, uh. So kind of the dream for Ludo here. <laughs> in this turn one. But, honestly, Black Wings can lose even when they open Whirlwind. Sure. Multiple back row. Hopefully no dust shoot. Alright. Looks like Lufbone is in the clear on dust shoot. Now he just needs heavy. This is a lot to deal with going second. But if he has the right cards, he could potentially do it. That's not necessarily GG. It's rough, but... It's, like, manageable. If it was Whirlwind, sure, and Dust Shoot, like, okay, then it's GG. <laughs> Alright, the gear frame goes off. He added Kalut. So he's kind of going to have to summon this fortress. Unless he's got a book or something? I don't know. You can pitch Summon Fortress. And then you can maybe force out Ick Attack or something. All right, we are going to pitch Summon Fortress. Potentially, you could have a Force in hand. I think you should maybe... All right, he's going to just attack with Fortress. That's probably correct. So he's going to Kalute. And then, I think you... Okay, wait, he actually just didn't Kalute. That's wild. He didn't collude or Ick Attack or Deep Prison or Bottomless or anything. Are these back row just fake? How do you use nothing? I You do gotta worry about Cyber Dragon now, though. But you can, like, set all your back row, because Icarus Attack is not going to be happening in the end phase. That went, like, really well for, for Lufbone. Just kind of, like, outed it. I'm not sure why he didn't collude. Because you could still get... I guess the monster you get would just die. His, the, the back row just being nothing. Really, really messed Ludo up there. Uh, Alright, end phase, space. That's a little bit rough. Why'd they even search Kalut? Oh man, there's a Cyber Dragon. 
That's painful. Um, I don't know. If they, like... They had an actual back row to stop the fortress, or the back row just intimidated him into not fortressing. Book of Moon? I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Outing Kalut by simply not having it played against them, truly. That's actually what just happened. He would be in such a good spot if uh, Ludo didn't also have Cyber Dragon. I don't know what's taking Ludo so long. You just search, like, Gale or Blizzard. Is the decision really that difficult? Alright, he's gonna summon the Gale. He's gonna Fortress. So that's a lot of damage you're gonna take here. Honestly, with, from this position, it would have been better for him to just search a Bora or something and then search Kalut next turn, maybe. Looks like no gores. Gonna be tough for Loofbone here. That Cyber Dragon really messed him up. He might have um, Force in hand or some amount of Force. The opponent cannot legally collude you without your consent, imagine. They didn't want Fortress to pop the collude because they had the ciders or to pop the whirlwind. I kinda see that, but at the same time. Eh. Loofbone needs something here. Alright, he's got another gear frame. That's pretty good. You gotta figure that this is Icarus attack, given that they just left these two chilling on the field. But maybe you aren't, you're just not able to play around that card here. I don't know. Yeah, it is a good thing to equip. I mean, you always equip post board to play around Sidra. All right, he's thinking now. Is it bottomless then? Book Icarus, you think? I'm not certain that it's book. It could be book. Book would make sense if it was Sidra, or because he had the Sidra. Okay, it's Judgment, actually. Okay. That tells me there's no way this card is Icarus. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I think the book, the book Icarus read is going to be very wrong. There's a 0.0% .0 chance I would Judgment that Fortress if I had an Ick attack right there. What is this, then? Alright, we're just going battle phase. I guess you gotta hit over Gale. You better have some good back row. What's the best to normal summon in Edison? Alistair. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Stratos. Stratos is pretty good. Um, hmm. Do like, okay, Legacy of Yada. Oh yeah, I forgot he was even on that. Yeah, no way you drew Kalut, buddy. I don't believe you. All right. If Loofbone has some back row here, he's looking good. His A back row. And MST is gone. 
So he has a chance. <laughs> he has a chance, okay? DD Warrior Lady? Nah, I don't know. Oh, Caius. Do we. That's like a. That seems like a pretty good one to me. That's probably the best one, actually. Alright, Mirror Force. One time, one time, one time. Come on, Luthbone. I know you have it. Oh, no. He's not that good. But he's not dead. I'm gonna say Caius, number one normal summon. That's where I'm thinking is that. Yeah. Caius is a tribute summon. Okay, so we're not counting flip monsters and we're not counting tribute summons. What is this? <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe I would go back to saying Stratos. What about like Substitute? <laughs> That counts. <laughs> that one's pretty nuts. Debris Dragon is good. Nah, it can't be Prisma. All these. Prisma just loses the like bottomless book, whatever. All right, no end phase ick attack. He has a chance. Cyber Valley, no. Cat, I don't. I think Cat and and like Lone Fire and stuff are just not, not quite on that level. Because again, it just like loses to Bottomless. The best normal of someone in the format cannot lose to Bottomless. Like, that's just that's just how it's got to be, right? But at the same time, it, like, should be big-ish. Maybe. Should be something that gets you something on summon. Karaz Copium. <laughs> I thought we said Tribute Summons were out. Um, what are, like, the other best decks of the format? There's, like, no Zombie Normal Summon that's, that's that great. Do you have a stop for this? If you don't, you are in danger, buddy. Greffer. Armageddon Knight. Oh, wait. Card Trooper is insane, actually. That might actually be my legit answer. It's a 19 beater, but it gets under bottomless. And it, like, trades really well. And it lets you mill, which is beneficial to a whole ton of decks. I might, I might say Card Trooper. All right, it's hamster. Whew. Thank God. Thank God it's hamster. <laughs> All right, my final answer is card trooper. That's my that's my nominee for best normal summon. Especially like going second, that card is like the single best thing you could have in your hand. All right, so what do you hit with this Ryko? I feel like you gotta hit a back row or something and just go for it next turn, but I don't, I don't know. Normal summon tier list, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just abandon my once a month rule and do a normal summon tier list. That sounds like a fun idea, actually. No, we're not counting set monsters, so no hamster. We're only counting level 4 or lower guys that you normal summon. At least that's the standard that the chat has has defined. Alright, so milling a bunch of cards that would really suck to draw right now. You love to see that. I agree with hitting the back row 100%. I think you just gotta go for it this turn. T-King? Nah, T-King is way too mid. Like... It's great versus zombies and diva hero and stuff, but it's like a side deck card. It's it's not really a. It's not like it is in in Tengu format. In Tengu format, tour guide is still better. So, <laughs> yeah. I gotta write that down though. Wait, hold on. Let me let me find a piece of paper. We're, we're putting that down on the idealist normal summon tier list. That sounds awesome.
All right, thank you for the idea, chat. That's gonna be fun when we get to that. Phantom of Chaos, shut up. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Do I have to put like every Blackwing on there? Blizzard's a pretty good normal summon, but it's like just not as good as Debris Dragon, right? It's probably not as good as Junk Synchron and Frogs either. But it is still nuts. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'll just pick like some of the best, most iconic normal summons from every deck or something. For me, it'd be Substitute. Substitute is nuts. But it is only in one deck, and also it doesn't technically do anything by itself. Devo is a good nomination, I think. But it's probably worse than Debris Dragon. That's kind of going to be the deal with all these tuners that get you a Oh, we see the salvo. Oh my god, oh my god. Black Rose into Bring Back Fortress? Please. That needs to be how this game ends. That would be so epic. One time. I need to see that. He's going for it. He's going for it. Oh my god, if he has it, if this is how <laughs> Big Peace Golem, shut up. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna exclude side deck cards like Fossil Dine and Thunder King from the If I wouldn't put if I wouldn't put it in my main deck, we're not doing it. Oh my god. Please have the force. Please have the force. I need to see it. No! He has nothing. Oh my god. Does he have Fader? Do you play Fader? Nope. What was in your hand? Why would you go for that without the without any follow up or back row or anything? Wouldn't it have been better to use your own Starlight Road there and just hit over some stuff? It actually would have been. It actually would have been better if he had just roaded his own Black Rose or I, I don't know. Just like not even use the black rose. Just just hit something with the black rose. Yeah, these, these cards don't do anything. Dang, he was like one card off from being able to summon a fortress. Wait, where where's the other? Oh, he averaged back the fortress. You know, he could have brought back fortress instead of summoning the salvo, right? I'll put Grandma on the list. Uh, he could have, like, brought back Fortress and then hit over one of the Blacklings and then Kaiest the... Wait, what was on the field? Which one of these... It was, like, this in attack. So you could hit over that for 800. And then you, like, Kaiest the Black Whirlwind or something. But you would still just die. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's, I guess there's just no way to do it with this hand. I don't know why you're on Crow. I don't know why you're on multiple crow. It's not even hybrid. It's just regular black wings. That seems like a side decking error. Oh well, too bad. Our hero Loof, Blo Loof Bone has unfortunately gone down in an intense match uh, in the top eight. Top eight. <clears throat> and yeah, that's actually going to be it for today because the rest of the top eight decided to just play their games later, which I guess was an option. I don't know. That's that's what's going to be happening. Um, we might watch finals later in the week, but I'm probably not going to cover the full top eight separately because that sounds like a pain. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed the stream. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Use my TCG Player affiliate link. Become a channel member. I will see everybody later. We are, uh, we are done for now.